for the 35 long months of subscribing Ted Mussolini's Hey Grumbles, what do you call a Canadian bar room singer saloon dying, saloon dying?
Let's get ready to crumble. Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon, good evening, good day, and most of all, good vibes be with you. Let's go. It's Thursday, folks. It's Thursday, then Friday, then we can play this song at Jags. Good vibes, everybody. Let's go. Is there anything like a little bit of Conan soundtrack to get you pumped up and ready to go? Works for me anyway. Good morning. Let's go. Mods on deck. Good morning, Blutnum. Good morning, Viper. Good morning, Piper 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 Piper. It's almost weekend. Yeah, let's go. Uh, good morning, Destiny's parent. Falling into the Jurak trap of here, but not here. Uh, good morning, 10 Bruce Lees are here. Welcome in all of you lot. Thank you for the rowdiness. Over 35 months. Yes, indeed. What a corker of a joke. Uh, good morning, Canberra. Welcome aboard. I believe we have a Maui waiting in the wings. And I'm getting an hourly lily now. That's pretty awesome. Uh, good morning, Tiger's Den. Shuffles in, sits down in the corner with an energy drink and a long rumbly meow. Uh, good morning, uh, Jurak, Mon Tiger. Welcome in, everybody. Let's go. Some more Conan. Uh, I've decided to pick up the battle pass for this one, just the standard one. Because Pixel Cave, who's an awesome set of uh, little group of content creators, and they, they make guides and stuff on YouTube predominantly <coughs> that I've seen, and they did an excellent one on if you do this for eight days in a row, you defeat the battle pass. Um, you know, so uh, we followed their instructions and it works like a treat, so that was awesome. Uh, and there's some really neat looking stuff in, in the battle pass. So I'm going to hopefully breeze through that one. And if it only takes, uh, it takes about two minutes, eight days in a row or something. So yeah, awesome. Good morning, Gamble. Welcome aboard. Almost weekend. Okay. There might be some musical interruptions while I, uh, press buttons outside of the game because the game's silly, but let's play online. Had a fun day yesterday, getting ourselves a little start there. And today, we build the foundations. And or a tavern. Probably just a tent. I love this soundtrack so much. I'm listening to a playlist on YouTube with all the OST tracks. Connect. Oh, it's got to close because the mods had to update or something, I guess. Good morning, everybody. How are we doing today? It's Thursday. Let's go. Typically one of my favorite days of the week. Definitely in the top seven. <laughs> Good morning, YouTubes. Good morning, uh, Twitcherinos. Let's go. That was a fun raid we went on yesterday to Alien Sun. It's so good how you can just meet really like fun, cool, interesting people just randomly taking a chance. Maybe that's why I'm broken. Wow. We build the foundations, then the temple, then take it down and move it three inches to the left. I mean, okay. So I did a little tinkering around in single player uh, this morning, early doors, and uh, it's going to be fiddly. There's going to be some putting it up, taking it back down again uh, involved because of the position that we're building in, but the, uh, it should be all right. I didn't have the uh, <clears throat> time and or energy yesterday. So <clears throat> I didn't get into it, unfortunately, but this, as I said, this morning, full of beans, we got a lovely cup of coffee, a black coffee to start the morning. It's probably why I'm like hyper, hyper. Good vibes, everybody. Good old fashioned vibes. Bum, 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 bum. I'll just be the music while we wait. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> Mr. 
Me working to an offline screen, active chat, and a stream time ticking. There you go. Looks like you and Destiny's parent both got the uh, stiffed by autoplay today. Grumbles OST went. <laughs> it's just me going through lots of different theme tunes. We've already got that one. Downloading dice rules. Okay, awesome. So we saw some really cool stuff yesterday. We got a great assist. Uh, or it's not assist. We got a sneak peek. Thanks to Chum. Having a look in a dungeon uh, <clears throat> instance that, that the admin teams uh, put together. Or in the process of still putting together. It looks absolutely stunning already. And here we are with Oolong. Let's blow our horn. Announce our arrival. Just IT classic. Just finished the cold coffee from last night and put the kettle on. For nice. Okay, so this was what we were playing with yesterday. And I like the mountain idea still. And then I had a little play around with well met, adventurer. our Azir set after I realized there. that I actually had the. Uh, Thank you for the five long months of subscribing. Hey, Sublight. Hey, Sublight. Thank you so much for the Prime Gaming on the line and the five months of support. Good morning, afternoon, evening. Hi to you. Welcome on in. Thank you for supporting all of the nonsense that we do here. I really appreciate it. And of course, our 69%. So, uh, yeah, so we've got these really big things. And the good news, I wasn't sure because I've not really built with them yet. I haven't ever. Um, is you can actually build like uh, ceiling pieces onto them. And therefore, they can act like your big foundation or whatever. So I think that's going to be a fun look. And now I just need to work out whether... I want to go with a standard circle uh, or go with a funky outer edge like that and then go with this for the base inside. And the other cool thing is we could have base, essentially we could have a workshop cellar uh, with, encased within this. That could be pretty cool too. So I need to just fiddle around. So it'll be a little bit of, you know, putting it up, pulling it back down again, putting it back up again, and <clears throat> working out where the positions are, and then probably changing my mind and saying, no, we'll go for a completely different palette. Hey, thank you very much, Supply. That's really kind words. And I just aim to be a fun, happy place where we can just chill and just get through get through the days together that's you know all i wanted to ever do was put smiles on faces sharing them and and we call that good vibes that's that's the whole aim of this thing really was just to have fun together and i'm so glad that it uh, it works for so many folks uh and the fact that we can do some uh charitable work uh to uh, on top of that is uh well it's just it's the best can i make that pool i can make that pool i won with the fast the fastest with me i made it i flipping made it without a diving board oh it's just deep enough where i landed oh my goodness just deep enough wow Okay, there you go. All right, okay. So here's one thing we were going to do is we had, to, we're going to build a, we're going to need a bigger furnace. I know that was so close. That was like millimeters to just death dive. Hey, Danny Hellfire, welcome in. Good vibes. Good day. I thought you were a goner. Yeah, hey, evil little thing. 
Honestly, I was like, I'm 69% dead here. It would have been a good clip. <laughs> I think it could be a good clip anyway, but it would have been probably one of those classic Grumbles clip moments if we hadn't made it. Let's be honest. Um, okay, so. So, 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 so. Uh, I wonder if that one's actually better than the iron pickaxe. Hmm. This needs repairing. Yeah, exactly. Sploosh. Very close to repeat of yeah, 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 yeah. One of one of my one of my favourite silly clip moments. That was just so it's so especially when Everly comes in as well and just adds to it. Wait, why are they both dead? And, and then he's like, wait, both of them? And then he notices our cards. He notices Chad is dead. Oh, so that's such a good, that's such a good clip. I love it. Don't want to blow my own horn too much, but it's such a good clip. Okay. So, uh, righty ho. Let's, uh, I got to gather my thoughts. I'm still waking up here. I really enjoyed uh, the Conan yesterday. I can't believe we did like nearly nine hours by accident. I was like, yeah, we'll do eight hours. We're good. Then it was like a little bit of overtime. And then afterwards, I, I saw the numbers and it was like, oh, wow, I've lost my mouse again. Wait. No. Get a barrel because I can't move. This game is so silly. It won't give me back my. Oh can't do anything okay I can manage to kick uh, nope still still can't get my inventory and now it's not taking keyboard input what's wrong with this game how can it take my left and right click but not oh have I got it back no it's so bizarre Hey Crow, good morning buddy, welcome in. I've just tried that. It won't actually let me tap out of the game at all. Hang on. I can't even control alt delete. This game has taken over my PC. That's insane. Wait, I can't task manager. How am I gonna get out of this? Thank you though, I do appreciate the suggestion. Um, I... I, I've got no... It's, this game has taken over my PC. I can't use the numlock key. I can't use the caps lock key. <gasps> oh no, am I going to have to big red button it? I, I literally, I have no control over my computer. After tabbing out of the game. What? Oh, I got it back. Oh, it's the dodgy cable in my keyboard. It was showing me everything illuminated like it was working. I just remembered that numlock is auto run. Oh my God, that would have saved my finger yesterday. Um, holy bonobos. I might need to uh, splash out on a replacement keyboard. Is the control, the controller is plugged in. That's a good, good. Oh, so it was the keyboard was, that's so weird. How was I able to move? It's like it was getting just enough power to the keyboard or signal to to be able to. But why would it inter? Why would I be able to press the mouse buttons but not turn the camera? Oh no, wait. I could. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, whatever. That's so weird. Whatever. Uh, I apologize to Funcom. It's not your game. It's the hardware issue on my end. <laughs> <laughs> and the hardware is in here. Yeah, that's so weird though. That that my so if the keyboard loses signal normally because it's got this kind of chewed wire thing that's sort of half hanging out uh, that doesn't seem to be replaceable. I um, at least not with my skills. 
uh, it had the numlock light was still on, so it looked like it was functioning. That's so weird. Anyway, what was I doing? I can't remember now. Uh, so, oh, yeah, so I grabbed the standard battle pass. Because I noticed it's got some really cool placeables and building items. And I figured, well, because you've got these fancy new foundations. They look cool. Zingarian Camp Foundation. No doubt tier three. Um... Uh, and then they've got these big wall sections like that with the spikes on top. So they'd actually go quite well for my for my outer perimeter. Uh, and then later on there's like these bits. And oh, Lanavar would be so happy with this. Not only have I got one tent for a mobile camp. We've got this one, the soldier's tent. But wait for it. Uh, wait for it. Uh, it's a really cool looking brazier. Look at this. A captain's tent. Looks pretty amazing. Uh, and all these gates and that look really cool. So I think we're going to build with that once we get there. Seems fun, fun idea to me. Yeah, so I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm fighting the urge at the moment. I, I don't want to give in and get the uh, dungeon set, but it does all. It looks for for me, it's more like the keep, like the bottom walls and whatnot of a of a castle, with maybe a fun sewer system going into it. Uh, I feel like that would be quite fun. If I had it, I would build a dungeon at the bottom of the. Uh, whole built whole structure that we're going to build and I would make that the workshop and the living quarters for uh, for the staff so they can and the, and they I would I would have a sewer system that they have to go through to get in and out they're not allowed to use the gates <laughs> sounds intense nice Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly, my very up. Um, okay, so, but I feel a bit bad that Purpley is still having to live in the, <laughs> on the balcony, even though it's funny, RP-wise. And I know it doesn't bother him either, but anyway. Uh, we need to crack on today. So, uh, first thing, first order of business was to build... Well met. Uh, the Grand Master Flash thingy bobby. And the question is, do I build, start that up here but with the rest of the workshop stuff down there? Do I put us up like a little... Because what I could do is with these tents and that, I think it'd be quite fun to have some tents and have like a temporary um, building or not building but working facility like a working camp to go with the role play of us setting up construction up here and we've also got the move uh, option with the PP in that so uh, that's also cool hey Finn good morning hello original flyboy welcome in and uh Evil Trev's here. Good morning. Disco's just arrived. How do I know, you ask? Hey, Disco. Good vibes, man. How you going? Hope the shoulder's feeling better. There we go. Nice. Giant fire is giant. So we're allowed uh, 0 0.2 smallest and 2.0 largest, I think, on the scaling in the rules. So in any case, it's pretty cool because now we get to have giant brazier. Looks good.
Good morning, Shady. Never have to apologize, Disco. Never have to apologize, but I appreciate you for it. Good vibes, everybody. Oh. Oh. Uh, Beryl, what are you doing, Beryl? Hello. One answer. moment, I need to. I just need to reprimand Beryl. Oh Let me put her Wait, indoors. Uh, get your shield, no. Primo. I don't have a shield. Oh. I got a no, she got out, Beryl. No. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Not like this, Beryl. <laughs> no. Oh. no, Beryl. Bad Beryl. Don't you worry, sir. I had the same problem with the dancer. She got way too excited. She attacked the first man she saw. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, she I, needs I... is a good beating to get her back in line. Well, yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. It has been over 12 hours since her last beating. Oh. One moment. Oh. Oh. How do I? How do I? I don't know how to make her relax. Where the heck did you go, Beryl? She's back out here. Did she, she make it outside again? Oh my god. Mm -hmm. I don't know how okay, she got through the window, but... Right. One moment. I'm gonna get this talking to. Stay. No. Stay there. Good shield on. Okay, I literally don't shut barrel. Oh my god, she did it again. Here she comes. She's eaten a hole in the wall. Beryl. Oh, okay, okay. Stay there, Beryl. I I do apologize. I I I she's a she's a free spirit. I have no means of control over her. She hasn't yet. She's only just joined us. As you see, she's still in her uh, internment acolyte program, and uh, uh, she hasn't quite seen the ways of the light yet. Mm, of course, the ways of the light, you say? Oh yes, yes. Oh, my apologies. My name is Ulon. Yes, I am a, a devoted uh, member of the Bringers In of the Light, or the Light Bringers, as we're often colloquially known, as you can see by the sign. Uh, welcome, welcome to our uh, well, very humble uh, but burgeoning camp. Yes, yes, yes. It's it's a, it's it's definitely not a cult. Uh, just to clear that up. Interesting that you say that. I wasn't expecting expecting oh. it. Oh. Oh yes. Uh, sorry, sir. Uh, my name is Greenbow. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you too. Greenbow, did you say? Uh, Greenbow, yes. All right. Nice and to I'm, meet you. I'm Shiloh. Shiloh. Okay. Nice to meet you. Shiloh. Yeah. Sh Shiloh. Shiloh and Greenbow. That rhymes. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Lovely. Well, it's delightful to meet you. Uh, I, myself and, uh, well, you've met Beryl. Uh, uh, where, oh, where are my manners? This is uh, this is our cook, uh, Bear Grylls. Oh. Yes. He unfortunately ate some uh, a new recipe he was trying out. Uh, double uh, double grilled chili uh, uh, hyena steak, and um, he seems to have paralyzed him. But I'm sure he'll snap out of it. Yeah, you gotta be careful what you eat. That wouldn't have happened to be weird hyena meat, was it? Uh, it might have been. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, there was a, 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 a grasshopper there. I got it. Um, yes, oh, okay. yes. I think it was. Um, I think it was at wear hyena meat, and now he's the worst for wear. <laughs> you could say. He's, uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Uh -huh. We do we at the, I'm at somewhat the, the same way. I, uh, see, I, uh, there was a horrible, horrible accident, and I managed to somehow eat the same thing. Uh, raw. Right. I do not rec recommend it. Uh, I still feel a little bit weird. It really hurt my stomach. Oh, good, good. Well, I'll take that under advisement. Um, a barrel, well, you're, she's going to be on salads for a week after that as punishment. So I'll have to oh. uh, give some to Hubert uh, Cucumberdale when he's around. He's one of my, he's one of my top, 
top four acolytes. We, we used to be five, but we lost our pet dog yesterday. Oh, so sorry to hear that. Yes, yes, it was a, it was a feral wolf, but we took him in and we thought he, he, he looked nice. He had a bit of a scuffle with Beryl and with Hubert uh, and ended up lying down there uh, taking a nap uh, on the wheel of enlightenment. And, uh, well, we thought, you know, that could be nice, a bit of encouragement for newcomers, you know, for trainees. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. well, it's not, you know, it's nice to have them hang out with the pets and whatnot. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, it seems he laid down for an extended amount of time. And according to Hubert, at least, I didn't see it. I'm blind, you see. Uh, but he, um, he uh, uh, was carried off by one of those were hyenas. So they stole our, our dog. Oh. Cool. Uh. Yes. Yeah, so if you see a, a wolf uh, that likes to lie down a lot, uh, whose fur is covered in a lot of blood and... I mean, let's be honest, he might... I don't want to say this when Hubert's around, but he's not here right now. I think he was deceased. But uh, we called him Trinket, and Hubert was, you know, that was that was his first pet. So it's a little bit of a sad story. But if you see a werehyena running around with a, with a dead wolf slung over its shoulder, uh, you know, uh, feel free to rescue that dead wolf and bring it back. Uh, I'm sure Hubert would be uh, would be ecstatic. I'll, uh, I'll be sure to keep an eye out. Yes, yes. Anyway, I I, uh, I do apologise. I tend to ramble when I'm uh, I'm excited, and I got very beryl. You got me all excited again. She is the one for that. No, it's understandable, sir. Yes, I am in the process of uh, gathering up the resources uh, needed to build the uh, Temple of of Light. No, wait, the Tower of Light. That's it. The, the, yes, yes. No, we've had enough of temples. There's a tower. It's going to be. A and uh, I'm just using some uh, some bits of throwaway wood to try and work out. Uh, yes, how it's going to. Uh, but I figured I'm going to be inspired by a big old Mount Doom over there. I'm going to build a building that looks like it rose up out of the ground. Oh. Oh, my. Yes. Either that or I'm going to fail miserably and I'm going to drown myself in that pool. Uh, uh, understandable. Well, you know, if you fail, you can you can just get up and try again, right? Oh, right, yes. If, if at first you don't succeed, go and curl up like a ball and cry in the corner. Isn't that the, the, the saying? I, I don't... That's what I was taught. Mm -hmm. Oh, I do that all the time. But you know, there comes a time when you got to stop crying. You got to start doing something. Oh, that's true. I like your attitude. Right? You're a can-do kind of a person. Yes. Tell me, do you? Yeah. Uh, hey, from whence do you said... hail? Oh, far away from these lands. Oh. You know, part of a caravan, but we got ambushed by bandits. Oh. They forced us in here. So. uh Oh, they took everything we had, of course. So, uh, we started a, oh, we're starting a new year, you know, starting a trade center. So, if you need anything, we can trade you for it. Oh, a trade, delightful. Yes, we do love uh, shiny things and all sorts of knickknacks and whatnot. Um, how much would you offer for, say, an acolyte that can't behave when guests show up? You know, just out of curiosity. Uh. I'd have to ask my associates, but they're asleep at the moment. Uh, I don't know if we need any uh, acolytes as of this moment. I'll All right. Oh, I'll, I'll ask. Okay. Well, it looks like you're mm. you're staying for a while, Beryl. But I'm going to move your bedroll to underneath the hut. It'll learn her. Um. Yeah. Oh, it betrayed and I'm marvelous. Your neighbor. I live just over the hill away. Oh, you live watch. just over the hill? Wait, wait, wait. Are you the? Are you up on top of that? Uh, are you, I do have an ele, 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 one of those lift things. I don't know. That's not me. Oh, okay. Um, but no, it's uh. Have you been to the White Lodge? Ah, no. But I did get a uh, some sort of pamphlet of theirs flitted through the wind this way. I've been intending to go and have a look out there. You see, I always make plans every day. I think you have to make a plan and say, this is the plan, we're going to stick to it. And then I spend most of my days, in fact, all of my days, side questing and never achieving that original plan. Adventure, yeah, I mean. Yes. Why not? Oh, yes, exactly. Adventure. That's the spirit. That's it. I'm going to call it adventuring for now. When I'm accused of side questing and never achieving what I was set out to do, I'm going to call it I was adventuring. I was on adventuring mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. 
Yes. There you go. Very important. Yes. What is your line of trade? Are you part of this trade uh, arrangement? I'm not. No. Uh, I'm. I'm on my own. Uh, I. Uh, I actually uh, was ashore uh, just a couple of days ago. Maybe yesterday. I can't quite remember. My memory is a little bit foggy. But oh. I uh, used to run uh, with uh, uh, entertainers, uh, dancers, things like that. Um, Hopefully, maybe I can get with a couple of the people and we can perhaps put on events and things <gasps> like that, like a I'd, I, I, or I'd love a good dancing event. Nature. Yes, yes. Especially helpful when you've been to uh, dark places and come out feeling a little bit dusted and corrupted. Yeah. Oh, marvellous. Well, perhaps we come to some arrangement. I, I would be more than welcome to entertain or, or to rather to have entertainment put on for us uh, on a regular basis at the Tower of Light. Oh, all right, yeah, sounds nice. Yes, yes. I'm going to build it up there on that hill. Uh, here, if you don't mind, follow me. It's a bit of a, it's a bit of a climb. I can make it to say, I can make it, I can... Uh, 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 no, got to climb. Uh, uh, my weary bones. Yes, yeah, so the plan I have, once Hubert stops being so lazy and eating all of our food, uh, he's a very good gatherer, you know, but you have to motivate him. And the only way I can motivate him is to make a lot of food and then sigh deeply when I realise he's eaten it all already. Um, but I'm going to try to build something that, uh, this is a mock-up, that sort of mimics the look of the mountains behind. Oh, I see it now. Yes, yes. Difficult with only when you only have these bits of flotsam and cheap strings to hold things together, but we're getting there slowly but surely. But yes, if you'd be willing to come and, uh, put on entertainment at the tower once it is constructed. Uh, that would be great, or even to uh, raise the morale of the workers while they're uh, hard at it, as it were. All right, yeah, thank you for the offer. Hopefully I can find other people that would also want to put on the event as well. Oh, yes, that would be great. Well, we would, we would do wonderful. I can send uh, Hubert. He loves going around crying and, and screaming and shouting about things that are exciting. Uh, he's just not very good on details. He's not a detailed man. But uh, we could, if you feed him with like enough information, he'll probably pick out uh, ten words roughly of every hundred you say and go around the world telling people those ten words. And if we include a location... He's a whaler, all right. Yes. Everyone needs that. Exactly, exactly. So uh, he's done so much whaling, it's a wonder he wasn't born on a ship. <laughs> mm. Yes. Oh, <clears throat> speaking of whaling, uh, do you have you made your plans for your ever after once you have passed from this world to the, to the great beyond? Because uh, uh, what are we calling it, Grim? Grieving um, with with um, Grimo, right? Uh, right, right. Uh, at, I mean... at Grimo's cemetery, yeah, for your for your funeral arrangements. Um... I didn't realize. We sort of cemented this idea. I thought we were just talking about it. Great idea. You can have coffins and everything. Right, right. I mean, it sounds like I have the opportunity to uh, to get into this burial business on the ground floor. Ha <laughs> 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 Yes, yes. Well, you. I mean, yes. I'm. I'm certainly intrigued by this. I believe that wherever I eventually fall, my essences will be returned to the bringer in of the lights. Mm. Ah, so it sounds like you would enjoy the explosive bright package. Oh, explosive bright package. Tell me more. Yeah, go out with a bang. Set your body on a nice pillar altar. Ooh. Explosions all around and uh, just go out in a blaze. In a blaze, you say? That sounds absolutely delightful. That sounds very much like me going out in a blaze. <laughs> You have such a way with words, Charlotte. <laughs> yes. Uh, that is, reminds me sadly of the time I had to fight off. We used to run a, an abbey, the Abbey of Lights, and uh, it was uh, across the desert, into the desert from here, and uh, it was overrun by these were hyena creatures. These are uh, these servants of uh, Yabolsak, whatever his name is. 
and uh, it wasn't really the hyenas that uh, ended up uh, forcing us to leave the abbey, Hubert and I. It was more that they came with fleas. We got fleas in the rugs, fleas in the curtains, fleas in the cushions, fleas everywhere. It was, it was terrible. So we decided to uh, flee. <laughs> I didn't think I did it. Anyway, uh, so uh -huh. we flee the flu, the fl the flow. Anyway, I'll come up with something for that in the workshop later once it's built. Um, and yes, and 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 and, and, and here we are. But uh, I, I, I consider me in. I'd love to get into the. Uh, I'd love to get into the bare bones of this uh, grave digging endeavor. Right. Yes. Well, maybe I'll uh, maybe I'll leave you to to take up that uh, that grave mantle. You know, I don't know if that that suited for me. Yes, but... yes. Well, well, you don't want to. If you don't know though, if you don't get in on this business idea that the two of you clearly have worked out fully, it's fully, uh, you know. Uh, down path as, as the kids say mm. um you if you don't get in on it now you could be making a grave mistake that's true, mm. <laughs> it's true. You, mm. you 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 would be wonderful for advertisements oh really? well, 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 thank you i'm, I'm perhaps I'm we could perhaps we can we can we can trade my my marketing skills uh, for your assistance and, and and some ceremonial entertainment when when we're hosting, uh, 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 you know, great hunters and the like. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, wonderful. Rimo, um, you just you have the name and everything for it. I think it would be great. Rulon, <laughs> yes. It it could. I really gotta think about it. I'm... I, I jump into too many things head first as it is, you know how it is. Oh, jumping into things head first. <laughs> Watch this. Uh oh. I want with the fast. The fast is with me. Made it. Oh dear. Oh, oh that. Oh, very good. Yes. Uh, well done. First Ooh, try. Heck, you as well. That is refreshing and shocking. Ooh. Yes, um, yes. I'm sorry if the water was a little warm, Grimo. Uh, I weed myself uh, a little. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Hubert does that all the time. In this, in this bottle. I'm sorry. Yeah. It's all right. I'll, I'll just catch a, catch a waterfall on the way home. It'll be fine. Oh, don't, don't, don't worry. It happens to everyone. Don't worry, he's been cleansed at the Abbey of Lights. It's uh, the purest urine you'll ever experience. You say the purest urine or ulan? No, urine. He carries uh, five vials of urine upon his body at all times uh, that has been purified by the bringer in of the light. It's essentially like his light e life essence. Or you, you know, or what, what do the kids say these days? Like an energy drink. Mm. Mm hmm. Yes. Pissants, I might call it. Every ta everywhere Hubert goes, I say to him, "You're taking the piss," and he says, "Yes, sir. I have the vials right here with me." That's beautiful. Hmm. Hmm. Well. Yes, I can't wait for you to meet Hugh, but he, he's uh, off gallivanting around for a few hours, but hopefully he'll be here later if you're uh, around and about. Perhaps you'll bump into him. He does travel far and wide, loves to explore. Well, maybe we will. It is a... He considers himself will. quite the capable fighter, you know. Uh, you can yeah. usually f f track him quite easily on in wide open plains, deserts and such, because you just look for the one uh, bald-headed chap running away in panic, flailing his arms and screaming loudly, with perhaps hundreds of creatures chasing him. That does sound like a formidable fighting style. Yes, there's nothing he won't take on and run away from. Well, it... I guess it's important that, you know, he'd... I'd, uh, Choose your uh, battles wisely. Sounds uh, sounds like a wise man. Yes, there mm. you go. They, through, well spoken. Well spoken. Exactly. No, he's a delightful chap. Uh, very, uh, he's, he's, he's very good at, at, at collecting things and bringing them uh, back here for me. But he's, uh, 
like I said, the only thing is I have to pay him an absolute fortune in food. Mm. Yeah, I can see how to be a, a hassle. Yes, yes. Are you a, are you a cook yourself, Ulm? Uh, I, I dabble. I dabble. Just just a touch here and there. But I tell you, Hubert is uh, he's a he's a very for all of his other faults, he is a very capable brewer. So we don't yet have a, a brewing facility in place, but he's been nagging me about it uh, ever since uh, uh, he arrived here yesterday. And he has like the uh, first thing is like, "Where's the booze? Where's the booze?" And I said, "Well, well, you haven't you haven't brewed any." And he's like, "Oh, you're right. Where's the brewery? Where's the brewery?" And I was like, "Damn it, man! I haven't built it yet. Go and gather all the things." So uh, yeah, that's 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 going to be high on the list of priorities. Little little worky shop place for him. Stroke. Uh, fun dungeon uh, and he currently sleeps up on that balcony you can see his bed from here uh, along with his pet deer Bambi uh, hmm. yes it, uh, did it eat the paralyzed and brew too yes unfortunately Bear Grylls was handing that food out like nobody's business uh I'm only lucky that Hubert wasn't here at the time because he would have guzzled the whole lot and last thing we need is a is a, is a stiff Hubert. Right. I imagine you wouldn't want, you wouldn't want him stiff and uh, No. But hey, uh, I need him I, to remain as flexible as always. Right. Yes. Well, I mean, uh, I hear uh, White Eagle Lodge does sell uh, alcohol, you know, booze. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, oh, you ladies must, if you wouldn't mind. I know we've only just met, but I feel like I could trust you. Perhaps you could keep that knowledge away from young Hubert. I'll never see him again. Oh, right. I'll, uh, I'll keep that close to my chest. Yes, marvellous, marvellous. I will uh, I will perhaps have to step up my priorities in side-questing my way over to that lodge, if they've got booze. I also make no promises. Hmm. <laughs> Yes. 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 Indeed. Uh, right. Uh, okay, actually, uh, I have a Exiled Lands wide survey. It is consists of one question. How do you feel about dragons? Yes. Oh, sorry, sorry. was that the wrong answer? <laughs> no, sorry, Be sorry. I, uh, I was trying to bring out this book. I'm so sorry. I'm so <laughs> That's sorry. okay. It happens to the best of us. You should have seen the punch-ups I've been involved in in libraries all over the land. Libraries, huh? So yes. Is yes your full answer on that? Um, I mean, I quite like them uh, from a distance to observe. And uh, I did very much enjoy, I used to work part-time as a bartender at a tavern uh, called Dragon Fall, at the Dragon's Falls, uh, some time ago. And uh, we had a big dragon's head adorned over the, over the tavern. Ah, oh, all right, all right. Excellent. I do enjoy dragons myself. Oh, phew. All right. That's a relief. I was worried there. Oh, I'm sorry about that. I I just get so excited about the thought of dragons. Uh, so that's the survey all done and completed. Thank you for your answer. Oh, no problem uh, at all. It was easy. I didn't I didn't even break a sweat. Oh, good. You know, wouldn't want you to do that. Uh, no. I have also been tasked with telling people about some things. Uh, I, you know the uh, the city of Permaru? Oh, yes, yes. Hubert and I were discussing it yesterday because somebody came to visit us that lives not far from there, and I, I missed them. And we had a we had probably an hour long debate about whether this person's name was Who or Ru and whether Sepa Maru was Sepa Maru or Sepa Uu. Anyway, uh -huh. don't let me distract you from what you were going to say about Sepa Woo Woo. Right, Sepa Woo Right. Uh, mm. I also do live there. I just live uh, north of the oasis above that. Uh, come there. Come to our trading center if you need anything. We'll we'll trade you something. But anyway. Oh. Uh, in Sepamaru, uh, there are a good many, like, really interesting vendors. They sell some good stuff. They are a bit pricey, so you might have to save up a bit. 
But also, at night, the night market happens outside of one of the castle, or castle, city, sorry, city gates. Mm -hmm. And they deal in quite interesting stuff. Oh, color me intrigued. Have they got shiny yeah. things? They do have shiny things, things that uh, are like, they, they glow. And they also sell coffins too, which, you know, if we do go with that business, that's where I'll be getting my coffins. But, you know. Oh. Oh, they, oh, that's good, that's good. Do you know, it reminds me at the Abbey of Light, we conducted a ceremony a uh, few months back for uh, some uh, uh, cleric that was selling a, a, a small uh, lozenge that would help you uh, get over a sore throat, uh, sort of chest pains, things like that, yes. He considered himself, mm. he called it a lozenge, and uh, he said that he was the inventor of it. Well, sadly, he passed away. Uh, and, uh, yes, at, at his funeral we conducted, there was no coffin. Ah! Uh -huh. uh -huh. Wow! Because every, everybody got a free lot, never mind. Oh, no, no, I... Uh... Yes. I got a workshop, that <laughs> one. No, I, I'm a bit slow on the uptake, I enjoy. <laughs> oh, trust me, trust me, oh, 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 you, I have to work with Hubert every day, oh, trust me, it's, we're doing just fine. <laughs> when you meet the man trips up over his own name oh uh, I mean uh, he can't yeah, he can't decide if he's called Hubert Cumberdale Cucumberdale Cumberpatch Cucumberpatch it's uh, it's all over the place he's got a bit of a dodgy um, memory is his nickname uh, Pickles it, it, it is now <laughs> Pickles I like that I shall call him Pickles, and he will be discombobulated. Why are you calling me Pickles, sir? Because that's what Shiloh calls you. And he's going to go, who's Shiloh? And I'll say, don't start this hoo-roo business again. <laughs> and no doubt another hour of our lives will pass away, but in a blink of an eye. That was a good way to spend the time, I guess. Yes. Yes. I am yes. just grateful that I have the ability to attune myself to the farce, the bringer in of light. I may have lost my eyesight many years ago, but at least I have gained the ability to be very sensitive to the farce. The farce? Yes, it is what I use. It guides me in things like my fall of trust into the water down here. The bringer of light lets me sense that there is a pool of water all around us. And he lets me, he guides me into falling just into the water sufficiently so I don't knock my head off. Mm. Yes, I call this the farce. I am one with the farce. The farce is with me. That is incredible. <clears throat> yes, believe in the farce and the farce will treat you well. I am one with the farce. The farce is with me. Well, uh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't keep you too long, but, uh, may the fast be with you. Is that acceptable? Oh, yes. Thank you very much. Likewise, if you spend more and more time with the bringers in of the light and our Tower of Light once it is in place and hosting the grandest entertainment and dancing that Shiloh uh, has ever put on for the world, I am sure you will start to understand the ways of the fast. <laughs> Mm. Yes. 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 All right. Well, I do need to get home as well. I need to start making some tents and whatnot and get my home in order. So right. it was good to see you, Grimo. It's good to good to see you. Good to meet you. I'll uh, yeah. get work nice to on you your. Well. Yes. Lovely to have made the acquaintance of you both. I can't wait for you to meet you, but. You take care now of Shiloh and Greenbow. I love that rhyming. Wonderful. Lovely. I hope I, everybody I meet is in pairs that rhyme. Uh, good luck with that. Uh, yeah. May the fast be with you. May the fast be with you. Too. See you in Sebu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to save the Ficos joke for later <laughs> we, we had enough going on there already 
How would Ulon know? He can sense the shine. He uses the farce. It's like everything. Everything that would be explained with visual. I am one with the farce. The farce is with me. I am one with the farce. The farce is with me. I am one with the farce. The farce is not. I don't want to the fast. The fast is with me. I don't want the fast. The fast is with me. Lovely, lovely alcohol. Oh, the Hubert gets a brewing. What with the fast? The fast is with me. Oh, where? What? Oh. oh. You're right, sir. Oh, yes. Hello there. Oh, it's, it's you again, Greenbow. Yeah, sorry. I was I was just leaving and I saw you collapse. Oh, I right. Sure you're all right. Oh, don't, don't worry. Sometimes I get too intensely. I get close to the light. I love the sources of light, you see. Sometimes, uh -huh. you know, it gets a little bit, uh, a little bit much for me. And I, 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 yeah, I need a, a, a nap. It's, it's, it's strange. It's uh, so unfortunate. I don't take that many naps, but it usually revolves around alcohol withdrawal, uh, too much uh, imbibement of yellow lotus blossom, and uh, yeah, pretty much any time I get into combat, there's usually a nap involved. It's really unfortunate. Yeah. It's, it's like uh, it's like narcolepsy combined, uh, you know, with combat. N Narcombatlepsy. Yes. Yes. Ah, I see, I see. I, maybe I shouldn't have told you about the, uh, the alcohol at a men's. Oh, no, it's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. No, don't, don't, don't worry. I'm not... I am fully in control you of myself please, when it comes to alcohol. Anyway, I'll see you later. Have a good, safe trip. i got to go to the White Lodge. Bye. <sighs> I'm fine. Good. Uh, yeah. I know. I, I, okay. I thought I was going to drown. I got my head stuck in one of these fish nets, but I'm fine. Yeah, be careful about that bird. Yes. Uh, yes. I think I swallowed a goldfish. Again. Bloody hell, Beryl. So, how can I tell Beryl? How do you, is there a like? Is there a way for her not to be aggressive? I thought there was like a you could set to passive and all that kind of stuff. How do you? Because that's uh, that's not going to work very well. Do you? Does it? Does she have to follow? Is follow the only way that she'll chill out? Come here, Beryl. We need to have a word about your uh, behavior. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Falling behavior defensive. Guarding behavior defensive. There we go. Or is it? Yeah. So the only if she's attacked, right? that must be that must be it there we'll try that setting anyway thankfully they uh <laughs> experienced there we go all right beware of the guard barrel Use the hold command. What is the shortcut for hold? Oh, 
Oh, this one here. Combat tactic. Hold position. Okay. Thank you. All right. Got it. It's a cool uh, tweak to the system. I really like it. Uh, just need to get familiar with it. Thanks, Viper. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? We had some really fun visitors already. Lovely. Is that, is that a pupper? How do I... Can I not... thought I could pick it up if it was a baby. What is it? No, it's like a little fox or something. What is that? Is that a different kind of a creature? I've got empty hands now. Oh, there you go. I got it. Finally. It's a wolf cub. Oh, it's so cute. Oh, now we need an animal place. Dang it. Expires in 47 hours. Okay. Well, okay. That's enough time. Cool. We got a popper. We got a popper. Stop it. Stop it. Gotta stop it. Oh, weapon handle. That's handy. Coolio. Don't think we can make those yet. Oh, this, that's going to be fixed in the hotfix as well. Stuff not clicking across to the, uh, to the other thing as well as the stacking. That was really fun meeting those uh, those two characters. Awesome. Shiloh and Greenbowl is how Ulon remembers them. Shiloh and Greenbowl. Oh yeah, some more Conan all day. Rimworld update is tonight, so we'll have a look at that when we can. Uh, Saturday, we've got Manor Lords sneak peek preview excitement for you. Uh, yeah, loads going on. Loads going on. Uh, and then after today, I think the next Conan will probably be next week. Wednesday. Um, but we'll see. That's that's roughly what I'm aiming at. So sorry, it'll be a uh, a bit of a break. But I got like I said, we're going this 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 one. We're going to just dip in and out when we have uh, time, and it's not it's uh, fun and relaxing and not stressful. Um, okay, so let's have a look at. Oh, I actually have enough to uh, put those down already. That's cool. Um, but. Decorations. Oh, I haven't uh, got the things. What is this? Hmm. I can put the new torch down. I'll show you it briefly if you want to see it. This is from the battle pass. But uh, it's got one of those, like, not very nice flickering flames. So, yeah, not... not it looks cool, but I'm not a big fan of the flickering flame. There's a few that I really like with the flickering flame, and there's a few that are a bit... You know, well, I don't like. Let's put it that way. Um, but I've got... So I need to unlock somehow... Uh, tents, I guess. Is this what's going to... Oh, no, I craft it at the table. Oh, okay. 
Neat. Well, let's put one of these so that um, Hubert's got somewhere to call his own. Yes. Well, hopefully, as we build, as we actually have somewhere to visit as well, <laughs> would be kind of cool. Uh, I need a hundred silk for that. Okay. Well, we have seventy-six gossamer. So we're not actually that far off, but I'll need to find that. I'll need to find that place. Silver vein, what? Okay. Okay. All right. I should have asked the trader. Well, I was going to ask them what materials and stuff, but we'll have to go and visit them. We'll go and visit their place. So apparently it's worth going to Sepa Maru for multiple reasons. There's an ARP trading uh clan there and there's a sounds like an NPC trading uh, arrangement as well so we can go and have a look at that a bit later all right so oh, I can't build the fancy tent I really want to get a fancy tent for uh, for Hubert set up oh look at that glorious we need more resin we've got loads of resin there you go. Oh, I don't want to use all of that though, because some of that has to go into the other stuff. So let's make a bunch of those. Uh, 500 of those. Okay, that's good. We should make a bow and see if we can. Well, we get to, we're a long way off dye making right now. We can make a. Uh, some green dye and give green bow a gift of a green bow. <laughs> That'd be funny. This ceremonial weapon. Okay. That's some really cool stuff here. Holy cow, there's so much stuff. I'm getting so distracted already. Oh, we need this. Yes, the idol of the father set. The father set, yes. Absolutely need that as part of our story. And we can make it larger as well, the two times. Beautiful. I also noticed that I have some trees. I totally had forgotten about that. I've got lemon trees and cypress trees. That's really cool. I missed out on the big dead tree though, which makes me sad. Hopefully that'll come around in the bazaar at some point and, I'll, I can, and for cheap as well. Good morning, Dark Star. Good morning, Prancing Potato. Welcome aboard, folks. Good vibes, everybody. Um, okay, so, uh, trying to think of, okay, yeah, so we were looking at setting up a little encampment area up here for the crafting of the stuff and things. Okay, I need to get silk, so I'm going to go and get silk, but in order to get silk, I probably have to go... I can't remember where the spiders is then. I, thought, I always think it's one of these here. Spider Valley. But then there's another. There's a big spider. Anyway, let's just go on an adventure and see what we find. But the main goal is to get some... In fact, let's go to this white lodge that's being talked about. We just learned about. We can go and have a look at that first. Let's put some... Uh, resources away I'll just dump them all in here for now in fact I might as well get that uh, cooking all right yeah let's do a quick uh, cooking run first we'll just chop these away yeah 
Let's do a quick cooking. Uh, quick cooking. Oh, I'm having one of those moments, chat, where I can't make my mind up what I'm doing. Okay, I've, I've made my mind up. If we're gonna cook, we might as well cook properly. Right, let's go get this thing set up. We'll just set it up up here. Uh, actually... Didn't want to do that. Okay. Right, I have decided we'll put the little uh, cooking facility away up here. And we'll build the tents and that around it once I get enough silk. Crafting, smithing. Wait, what did I not get? Oh, I need another hundred stone consolidant. Oh, sugar, really? Do 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 do. Have I got any left? I might not have any left. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Well met, Oops. adventurer, and welcome to my underground Okay, land. now we got it. Thank you for the 17 long months of subscribing, Shion Kaisi. Shion! Where's, wait, wait, where's my bricks gone now? What did, what? I, did the swap Rooney. Shion, thank you so much for the tier one and the 17 months. Huh? <laughs> oh, Oh, hang on. We can do this now. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, hello there. Well, if it isn't my lovely granddaughter, Miss Mouse, how are you getting on? Officer, probably. I'm pretty sure you must be captain by now. Maybe not that quickly. Well, anyway, lovely to hear from you. I'll be back soon. <laughs> Hey, Scorpion, good afternoon to you. Thank you for the support, Shion. Much appreciated. Boom. All right. Bum, 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 bum. Hello. So, bunch of that, bunch of this. Forgot the coal. Come back, rule. Bum 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 bum. Thinking about it. Do, 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 do. We'll just leave this cooking up here for now. Get a bunch of materials ready. <laughs> I actually like that we have the temporary building there. Feels kind of neat that, you know, you can sort of see a little step-by-step -step process going on. So that should be all the things. Yeah. So that's going to make us another 1900 iron, then 638 steel and another 1082 bricks. Look at the speed of it, and that's without even having somebody working at the smelter. Ah, oh, lifesaver. Time saver. I love it. Great. And it looks kind of cool, like in front of the volcano. 
Yes. This building was forged in fire and grew up out of the volcanoes. Yes. Yes. Hey, Count Babula. Hey, Silver. Come on in, folks. How you doing? I don't know if that coin's of any... Uh... Maybe we should take that with us if we go to um, Sepauu. We'll go to this lodge. Let's take these with us. I don't know if they're going to be of any use. So this is all placeables in here. You know, I'll take those with me. Oh, we have that champion lure thing on us as well. Hmm. Let's put that in that box there. I don't want to throw that away. Okay. Get that cooking. bedroll so yeah this is placeables and stuff in here okay placeables and uh, equipment this is just raw resources do -do 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 -do. First of all, to this white lodge. See what all this alcohol fuss is about. Time for lunch? Nice. I've been in the theatre, a play made with disabled kids, and it was, man, it was funny. Nice. That's really cool sounding. I'm glad you enjoyed it. And hopefully, those kids had an awesome time. Good stuff. Oh, what the? Get out of it. Muppets. Combat Road. Yes, you did pick the wrong fight. Hey chum, how you doing? We had, we've been, as usual, completely side-quested today. We had two lovely visitors, Shiloh and Green Bowl. Uh, and we've learned all about a dancing entertainment company that Shiloh's running. Possibly they're in business together, and also they're so they're going to come provide entertainment up at the uh, tower. We have uh, had a real good giggle, good fun with them, lovely characters, and uh, thrown Hubert under the bus a few times, obviously. Uh, and now we're going to go out and go to the White Lodge because we heard they're selling alcohol. So that's how the tower's going today. <laughs> too too busy RPing. Oh goodness, what now? Not the boss one. Oh no, we've got to fight the boss one. Fudge. Okay. Oh goodness, never mind. Ow.
Yeah, absolutely. I would rather do that. I'd rather never finish a building because I've been interrupted by roleplay. Like, even if a, bit, a little bit of me would be like, damn it, I want to get this done. I would 100% always want to roleplay, like, fun roleplay uh, over the building stuff. The building, for me, is always, like, a, a fallback. It's, it's a secondary thing. Yeah, the side quest is what people tune in for, really. Let's be honest. I mean, it's just as well because my ability to not side quest is almost non-existent. But yeah. Thanks again uh, for helping out yesterday and hanging out with us and showing us the sneak peek stuff. That was really awesome. And I, yeah, I the only bad part is it's tempting me to get the dungeon set, but I really don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to... Uh, I bought the Battle Pass this morning because I've got totally into Conan hype. And because I can earn the, the the coins back and roll forward with that. So the only thing I've got to do is avoid... And there's some really nice building pieces in it and placeables. And the only thing I've got to do is uh, stay disciplined and not grab the... Not grab the, <laughs> the dungeon... I he said dinosaur. Not grab the dungeon pack. Because I'll be... Uh, <laughs> I'll be annoyed with myself if I give in. Not that it doesn't really, you know, matter that much. I just... We try to give as much as we can to charity. And I, in my mind, I'm always like, well, if I'm going to buy that, I could just give that to charity. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm going to think about it, whether I really want that or not. Holy wolves! That's a lot. Okay. Let's see if we can go around those. That's a bit rude. Why would I grab a dino by its dong? You would be disappointed in that pack? Yes, exactly. I So I have an eye in my mind. I have a visualization of what it would look like if I use it. And I really, Chum's thing was like, wow. I, I love that. Um, the mixing, mixing it together with the storm glass. It was really nice. It's different to see it like live in game and get a real feel for it. Oh, flipping it. Come on. Let's have it. Yes. Oh my goodness. It's a pack. It will bring you all to light. Do not fear. Beryl's managing to handle herself in this. That's quite good. I'm not altogether sure if I've got any food for Beryl right now. Sorry, Beryl. Don't want to cause trouble here. I know, right? They're like, they're just coming from everywhere. Sugar. I had a feeling you'd run out of food. Uh, what do you get from Shredded? Well, let's give you this one. That's bound to be good. What's that going to give you as a plus? Does that give you agility? Don't know. Okay. Bum, 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 bum. Anyway, what was I saying? For the yeah, so and I also so I watched um oh horses. Oh baby horse. Baby horse would be cool. Um but we need a white one. Oh we can make the white one, can't we, in our pockets? Let's grab baby horse. Hello? Oh I've got to have empty hands. I didn't order Beryl to attack, no. Stop it, Beryl, bad Beryl. Is that another baby horse? Okay, there we go. We've got one each. Is this the, uh, yeah. Yeah, so I watched, um, Eradication's video on it. And he mentioned specifically that there's a real frustration with the building order, that pieces like just not fitting together and stuff. And overall, it does look a bit lacking. So the only reason I like the look of it is that, I, for, to me, it's less dungeon, although it can double as a dungeon, but it feels more like 
the base of a castle. But I've also got, um, thanks to Ravon, I had a couple of these extra, the old packs. Um, but Ravon bought all the others for me so generously. Um, I've already got the arena wall. So I think really that would probably suffice. The, 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 the dungeon one looks... It's, it's got a nice... Like, for this area here, I think it would work well as a castle. Come on, battle. Hello? Hello, Lon. Oh. Hit me. Oh, greetings. No, no, battle. She's... Uh, we, we've had a good chat, a good chinwag, and uh, she's learnt uh, the errors of her ways, hopefully. She'll be a little bit more, uh, uh, a little bit less offensive when it comes to uh, guarding our property. Oh, that's good to hear. Yes, yes. Oh, so uh, I was uh, definitely not here to check out the alcohol that I'm not going to tell Hubert about. I'm going towards that that person. White Lodge place that, uh, that uh, you and Greenbow told me about. Is that it up there on the hill? Yeah, you can actually take the elevator if you go just oh. from here. Is this your uh, yes. your entertainment encampment? Yeah, it's just my encampment for the time being, yeah. Oh, it's delightful. I like it. I haven't really uh, set, set up, like, uh, I guess, boundaries, but yeah, it's very, very early stages. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Well, don't let me uh, hold you back, but I... Uh, I can already, I have quite a vivid imagination and I can always Im already imagine being thoroughly entertained here. Yeah, I always, uh, I like the, uh, just tents and instead of living in a building. Yes, yes, it's the good, best way to have a glorious adventure is to always mm. ensure there's good intensity. But yes, if you just go straight, uh, this way, oh, uh, yes. you'll hit an elevator. Right. And there's also a trapper and all kinds of things that you can talk to. So. Oh, okay. Marvellous. Well, thank you very much. Good luck with your thank tents. You. Thank you. Come on, Beryl. No, don't pull on that rope there, Beryl. Come on. I see what's wrong with you. Oh, moose. <laughs> hey, light hammers. Good evening and good vibes be with you too. Hello, I'm here on the good word of Miss Shiloh. Apparently you have some wares that it would be worth me. Oh, you look worn out. Hello. Ah. Oh, your name's Lumon. It sounds a little bit like the, uh, what, do, hey, wait. What do you do when life gives you Lumons? Hmm? You trap it. Well, met stranger, there's room by the fire if you need to warm before moving on. Lodge up there on the ridge has beds for rent, if that's more your style. What are you doing here? Oh, me? I come and go so often there's not much point putting up the coin. I'm a trapper, you see, so I have to check on the traps. Pretty often. I just track mud all over the place. Can't imagine they'd like that. It's a hunting lodge. I'm sure they're used to mud. Oh no, Armin wouldn't care. He has people to clean up the place. I more mean I wouldn't be staying long enough for it to be worthwhile. Ah, although... Although? Well, living off dried meat and moldy, moldy bread gets old and roast haunch is nice, but sometimes a man needs something a little more substantial. Rations only go so far. Something in mind? Tell you what, I'm not much of a cook, but if you can bring me, say, three portions of hearty feasts, I'll find something to give you in exchange. Hide arrows, maybe? I've always got a little coin laying around from selling furs. What do you say? I'll think about it. I know a guy who knows a guy. Okay, I can't make, uh... I can't make that meal yet, but maybe. Plant based tannery. Idrigo. Unless you're an alchemist, I don't have time to chat. These hides won't tan themselves. Why do you need an alchemist? 
Mostly so I don't have to hire one of those leatherheads from New Azagarth. I'd pay a premium just for that alone. Something wrong with New Azagarth? Have you met them? Oh, yes, I have, actually. They're a little bit rampunctious. Okay, you got me there. Anyway, reason I need an alchemist is hardened leather. It's got more uses than just fancy armor. Everything from bag straps to boot buckles and belt pouches. Can't you make that yourself? I need a whole workshop for it. And building a workshop costs money. No workshop, no overhead, but no hardened leather either. That's the trade-off. Uh, I do. I'll buy bulk. Bring me batches of say fifty, and I'll cough up twenty-five hundred gold. Crikey! Uh, all right. I'll I'll think about it. Wow. Nice. Cool. I really like these uh, quest givers and stuff. Let's go. It's been done in a really nice. Uh, Hello, is me immersive Isaac. way. I'm going to read from Wait, a best of is that book, full of laugh, been huh? died or is that the c what? Is that? I was just thinking before. Can we? It would be cool if we could paint or die building pieces. Can you do? Oh my goodness! That nearly squashed me. <laughs> oh no! I got the jug from silver. Okay, let's see if we can use this elevator. Yes. Why have you never seen an elephant hiding in a tree? Because they're really good at hiding. Why do they paint their something red so they can hide in cherry trees? Oh my goodness. What's the loudest sound in the jungle? A giraffe eating cherries out of a cherry tree. Oh my god. The trifecta. Look at this view. From up here, this is cool. I love what they've put into this place. There you are, Beryl. Nice. Oh, is that the new one? Yeah, I just got that one unlocked in the pack. Nice. Hello there. You look a bit down on your luck. Cursey, don't sit there staring at me with them eyes. I tell Obed he's in hell and he got to stay there. I'm sorry, what? Never was a nobody like Captain Obed. I can mind him a telling about foreign parts and calling all the folks stupid. For going to them Mitran meetings and bearing their burdens, are all meek and lowly. Says they'd arter get better gods. I have no idea what you're talking about. Our Obed, he learned that these things on this earth are most folks never heard about and wouldn't believe if they did. What did he learn? I ain't asked to learn none, no sir. I ain't trying to see the need near close. <laughs> near the ones outside and definer on the inside. Need a drink. Black Cove. D black thummies. <laughs> I don't really think you need any more. <laughs> Quest started, just one more round. What? I gotta bring him some booze. Okay, this is cool. Hello there. Hello? Hello? Hi. Are you? Do I talk to you? Oh, I don't know. Okay. Oh, that's cool. We can use these things up here. Awesome. Can I, uh... Set up the bar? Oh, I can. Well, Beryl, I, 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 I've got to spend some time sitting up here at the bar. Don't know why I can't talk to yourself. Yes. Yes. Very good. Yes. Yes. <coughs> ah, oh, that's some good stuff. Just don't tell Hubert about it, okay? This is going to be our little secret, Beryl. Between you, me, and everyone else around these parts that knows of this place, nobody must inform Hubert. 
Yes. Yes. Oh, yeah, neat. Yes. So, Beryl, here's one for you. Beryl, are you listening, Beryl? What do you call a Canadian barroom singer? No idea, eh? Saloon Dion. Saloon Dion. Hear yeah, that over there? Old drunk? Pirate man? Mm. That's what she said. <laughs> hey, Eric over on the YouTube. Welcome on in. Bart Cart. <laughs> Yes. All right. I suppose we better be moving on. I just, I wouldn't mind one more sip. One more sip. Any moment now. Mm. Delightful. All right. Come on, Beryl. Hello there, sir. Oh, madam, sorry. Welcome to the White Eagle, stranger. I'm Aza, captain of the hunt here. Head inside if you need food or drink. Salas behind me can get you set up with basic supplies. What does a captain of the hunt do? Organizing mostly. I keep track of hunters as they come and go, procure supplies and keep stock of equipment. Oh, so like a quartermaster. Like a master that's been quartered. A bit, yes. There's no chain of command or anything so droll, but the jobs are similar. Any hunter can stock up here? Was that cold coffee? Yes. Anyone at all can stock up here. Salas sells basic supplies, raw food and drink. You mentioned equipment. Can I get that from you? Need to talk to Armin about that. Most of the hunters have arrangements with him. Though if you're looking for work... There's good coin to be made. I'm interested. I typically only have basic equipment in stock. Trailer's rough on equipment. We need some basics. Shaped wood. Sturdy string for bows and shield frames. Uh, to keep things simple, I'll buy the wood in batches of 100. And strings and frames in batches of 10. Easy enough. Got you covered. That's cool. All right, and this guy has hunter supplies. Oh, that's neat. So there's even some NPCs here to chat. Salis Henria. Welcome to the White Eagle, mate. Why not stuck up on the road? Okie pokey, mate. No telling what you'll find out there. Uh, I need some provisions. Have you got any medical supplies? I'm low on ammo. Actually, I'm okay for now. I need some provisions. Can't be going hungry out there, can we? No. Oh, neat. Look at that. Trail jerky, sealed water skin, dried fish, bush jerky, dried berries. And they are using these coins. Okay, so now we know that. That's excellent. All right. Uh, don't need that right now. Oh, hello. If you'd like a capable adventurous, you look like an... Okay, yes. Contemplative cook. You have a keen eye for observation. Comes with the trade. A cook needs a sense of fine, for fine detail. People are often surprised when I tell them that. I wouldn't have thought it myself. Then again, most people just live off of gruel. Especially when Hugo's their cook, because he never bloody cooks. Very true, and I'm a kind of man to change that. My name is Bolverk, and I'm a cook. Well met, Bolverk. What is it that you need? 
Are you familiar with rhino head soup? A man can take the world on his shoulders after a bowl of that. Uh, the hunters here love it. There's just one problem. What is this problem you speak of? The rhinos. They've only got one head. I swear to all the gods, if you ask me to find a wizard to make you some kind of multi-headed rhino hell beast, I'm killing you where you stand. <laughs> she sounds like a new online. Now, I don't need you to do anything crazy. The hunters bring me heads, but I need more of them. I'm working on finding a recipe to stretch the dish without losing that signature stick to your ribs quality. So you need a multi headed hydra rhino, a rhydra, a rhydno. These lines are great. Uh, no, no, I just need regular black rhino heads. I'll experiment and see if I can stretch one head out over a couple of bowls. I'll grow, throw in some coin and a few servings to make it worth your while. You'll get more. Uh, a meal out of those heads than you on the stove than anything else in these islands. I promise you that. Sounds delicious. Count me in. Okay, so that guy needs black rhino heads. Okay, you are a guard? What the? Oh! Hello! I was wondering what the absolute was going on there. This is... <laughs> what? <laughs> we need a duck. No explosive barrels allowed. That's a great painting. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, hello there. Let's go, all the ducks. Look at this great tavern. Oh, wow, this is cool. Holy jeez. And you are? That's awesome. What a great get-up. Ah, you're the guy with the food. Wash your hands on the sign with the doctor's nose. Lemur will enjoy that one. That's neat. Uh, welcome to the White Eagle. Finest food and drink around. So this guy could talk like Bobby. What can I get you, sir? Uh, what do you have for sale? Get your menu. Let me know there's something else. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Oh, who is it wanted meaty mashup? Somebody wanted some, uh... It was a loud duck, right? Where's the brewery? Yeah. They got better gruels as well. A bug kebab. Bug kebab. I never noticed it was called kebab before. Uh, somebody wanted meaty mashup. I can't remember how many they wanted, though. Also, what was I supposed to bring the drunk? Oh, maybe this? Had the whole stack shift and dropped out part of the stack. Okay, shift. Oh, that didn't, that didn't work. Nope. Nope. Oh, is that maybe broken because of the Conan thing? Whoa, that's 10 gold. It's a gold apiece. Hold shift. Wait, I'll try it again. So, okay. Shift. Ah, now, okay, so I had to use my right hand shift button so I want one I want two of these one for our buddy what a, there you go and I'll do a I'll get two of those for my body as well in fact we'll get oh wait that only took one okay one and then one of the a couple of these oh that did one as well okay one okay there we go
That's really cool. Okay, so auto balance 14. Okay. Trade completed successfully. Lovely. Oh, that's nice. Oh, you can actually sit down at the Amatai thing now, or maybe not yet. Yeah. It might be the uh, mod. Really nice. Oh, you look familiar. Bear Grylls, his cousin. Look at this. Oh, look at those. What? Is that a thing we can have? I don't, I don't know. I can't see it. That's cool artwork. Holy cow. What a really nicely put together place. Really well done. Really nice building. I'm not going to go in everywhere. That'd be rude. Nice little lounge area. Oh, look at these other little curtains here. Really nice and a nice layout of people. Are these... Are these are placed ones, I guess. Or are they random NPCs that have just turned up because it's a working tavern? I wonder. Coffee in 10 minutes? Nice. Looks like I got a bug to report to the mod maker, basically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I love this duck, man. I need a duck in my life. Let's go. This is nice as well. Cool. little tower might have to have something like this whoa, 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 whoa. I'm stuck okay let's try that again <laughs> damn it Kona damn it Conan okay you gotta go straight up those stairs oh that's neat that's neat I like it that's a cool cool little tower and it's just a three by three, right? With those Azir things gives it such a nice look on the ground. Because I've built things like this before, but like um, with the square blocks and whatnot, it's really tricky to get like this, having that angle just really makes it. That's a really nice little uh, adornment to this. What a lovely building. What a lovely build. Nicely done. Really like that. All right, we know where we can come and get booze now. Hello there. Yeah, I can do the... Um, uh, it's backspace for me with the slow walk, yeah. I like that. I do that when I'm done with my builds and walk around. Actually, it's a really nice one to walk around here like that. Look at that, gang. And then we get the controller for the super... For the super pan and scan. Look at that. Lovely. With the uh, Mount Doom in the background. Awesome. So nicely done up here. Okay. Oh, someone lives up there. Let's go and see if anyone's home. Wait, I've got 10 minutes? Mm, yeah, take the risk. <laughs> I shouldn't. Actually, I should stay at the tavern. You guys could have a look at... Oh, moose. I know it's not a moose, but I just like... When I see the antlers, it makes me think moose. That is a bear. That is a big old bear. I don't want to... I don't want to... Yeah. Yeah, we got the break coming up, so... We'll go over there after the break. 
and just see uh, see what's going on over there. I don't want to stay somewhere where I can give you a better view. I love that there's a guard walking about on top of the tower there. Oh, can I set my NPCs to do stuff like that? Walk around and... I really need that. I really want that because then I've got the lived-in... Can I do that with my guards? Like, I know you can put archers up on, like, the battlements like that. Is, but I wonder what, what makes them... Is that one of the devious things or whatever that makes them move around like that? I want to give you guys a nice view of... The, I'm going to give you a view from up there. We'll get Beryl with us. She'll look after us. Come on, Beryl. Yes. Oh, what's that up there? Shiny. We have to go investigate that. Oh, more shiny. Oh, sugar. What the heck? Are those? Ah, uh, that's not cool. I don't think I've ever seen that before. They're not the same as the Scepter ones, are they? Goodness. Okay, we better not go too near to them then. Wow, that's cool. All right, let's give you guys some nice... Nice backdrop. I'm going to take my break. No, not glitching through the world. There we go. Look at that. That's pretty nice, isn't it? I am one with the fast. The fast is with me. One with the fast. Oh, what, because of the hyenas? Oh, sugar, she won't protect me. Is it night time? What time of day is it? Oops, let me do that. I don't know, is it, I suppose it is getting dark? Kind of gloomy? All right, maybe that's a bad idea then. Okay. That's a good reminder. Yeah, I didn't think about the, uh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> shush, shush. <laughs> you just, you scared me. Oh no, we can't put them on those because it's... Uh, oh, that's a pity. Oh, I thought you could... Oh, it's because it's somebody else's. Okay. Is there another way of doing that? Yes, you stand there, Beryl. You look out for me. There we go. The alarm duck, yeah, absolutely. It's like, I don't know why it's, it's like set to volume 11 or something. It gets me every time. 
I love it. All right, I'm going to take a quick coffee break uh, and uh, grab a light snacky snack, and I'll be right back with you folks. Thank you for being here. Good vibes. See you on the flip side of the ads. Attention please, advertisements are now running to support good causes. Thank you please.
All right, I have returned. Hey, Mickey, how you doing, bud? It appears we have been safe so far. But the night is dark and full of hyenas. She's so tall. I didn't even see how tall she was. <laughs> I think I would have to stop her following. For her to do that emote, right? <coughs> you do? No, I was ready for you this time, Duck. I was ready for you. You didn't scare me this time. Really, really nice job on the... On the build. How do you like the, to hear the howling night after uh, Arthur Knight from the churches and the halls old and know what's doing part of the howling? I'd like to hear what comes from the awful reef. All right, old timer, still thirsty? Oh, yes. Oh, what was it? I, I thought uh, I tried to guess what he wanted. And, uh, which I don't know which one he wanted. Does it say somewhere in my? Uh, do I have a quest log? Okay. <laughs> we'll get him that eventually. Hit escape and look in the top, uh, top. Oh, it's this thing again, isn't it? Quest log. One more round. Ah, uh, he wants five black coal rum. Oh, they're not selling that though. So I've got to learn that recipe. Okay, thank you. Now I know where to look. I don't remember that. But I still sell better I'm going down. I really like this whole encampment. It's got a really cool vibe about it. Oh! Well done, Beryl. You beat me to it. Oh, I should probably get rid of the BRB. That would help. My bad. I'm a little, a li little slow sometimes. Also, I'm going to be quiet a bit because I'm going to be chomping on some cracker bread. So, uh, forgive the, the silence. Do you have to use the cleaver for that? I'm not sure. Oh, we wanted to go to the other place up at the... On that ridge, but there was a bear up there. I don't want to fight the bear. Oh, we'll be back here, I'm sure. We've got to bring Hubert here to... So he knows how to get his liquor until he's got his brewing place up. I'm so difficult to eat these... Cracker beds quietly. <laughs> oh, heavens. <laughs> How about the filthy, overgrown, flea ridden Christian? Ha. Mm. 
I wonder if I could get any ice. Because I need ice for a cooler, right? Oh, I need black ice for a cooler. Oh, and hardened steel? Oh, never mind that then. Don't worry about that. We'll get that through trade. That's how we normally get that. Through the trade. Hey Wolfie, enjoy your book. Not that you can hear me say that. <laughs> oh, thank you, Stats. of the night have that Beryl do you ever have that feeling of being followed everywhere no not by you Beryl I know you're there oh my goodness Ugh. yeah right Surprised I haven't been set upon by another 15 wolves. Possibly because I killed them all on the way. Look at that. We should build a stables and get some get those horses going as well. Yeah, right. I was just thinking where are the wolves and then I thought I probably nailed them all on the way there. We, I think we have avoided one pack, and the rest we uh, we caught on the way through. We probably drew those over eventually as well. Ah, nearly. All right, here we go. Cooking's done. Holy cow, that was fast. Nice. Oh, I didn't wait. I didn't put the iron. No, I did put the iron. Oh, we ran out of fuel. Oh, what? Okay. So it's not the cooking was done. It's that the... Uh, anyway, it still did a lot. It just didn't get through. It didn't get through all of the iron yet. Cooking time, 16 minutes. Maybe we should get it to cook some other things first. Mm hmm Okay. Come on, Beryl. If I... Uh, yeah. I'm so torn. I'm like, brewery, workshop. I suppose workshop first. Uh, oh, we got to go and get spiders. You want to go and kill some spiders, Beryl? We have to go kill some spiders. Must be done. Let's chuck these in here for now.
Where do I? Where are you getting these from? Oh, ah, oh, sugar. There's no other food storage thing, right? I have to get the fridge. Or is there another food storage thing? It's 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 this one, right? Preserve. So we need to get black ice and hardened steel bars. Okay. I always found it a little bit sad that there isn't some other basic food thing. I guess that food's just gonna go, just gonna end up being wasted. At least the drink doesn't go off, right? Expires in an hour? Oh my god. Horse lasagna. <laughs> Horse lasagna. I'm sorry, Beryl. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, uh, all right, let's go. To. Uh, why don't we go to Sepa Maru and have a look at what the traders there have got? Black eyes? <laughs> nice, Tiger. Food truck curry worse with fries? Oh, lovely. Lovely. I have footanide. Food envy. I love that howling sound on the wind. It's so spooky, but it's so good. Ah, oh, jeez. I heard you coming. Probably get some handy folks from these towers or without going through the hassle of Azagard. Uber Eats is here. <laughs> They'll leave you hy hyena and dry. That one didn't really work. Next time I'm getting a Kaiserwurst instead of the Berliner and sauce on the side. Nice. We should get, we need to get Skellen here and that would be super fun. Currywurst, um, it is a uh, curry spicy sauce to go with a uh, grilled sausage. 
roasted sausage. And it, it is fantastic. And he can, he can, well met, adventurer. And there's and all sorts of variations on the theme. There. Thank you for the 50 the for long boss. months of subscribing to Rathus underscore one. G-Day grumbles. G-Day? G-Day to you, Arathus. Or Arathus underscore one, as Angry Pirate Man called you. Good vibes. Thank you very much for the prime on the line and the 54 months of support. Thank you so much. Let's go, gang. Good vibes. Uh, oh, no, no, no. Speaking of sausages. Oh, my God. Bake on. Bake on. Bake on, will you? Bake on. Oh, hello. We got another one. I want to go to Sepamaru anyway, because there's lots of books and, like, parchments to read and stuff, right? So we'll go over that way. Ah, oh, another one! Uh, I don't know how, if at all, we can creep up that way. Have it! Yes! Yes. We feast. First we feast. I've got to get you some food, Beryl. I am such a bad traveling companion. Here, have some shredded roast. Hey, specimen, how you doing? I don't know exactly where I'm going or more precisely the path I'm taking but it should be fun Beryl and I are just out for a run I don't think we're gonna run into any big dangerous animals and die horribly <laughs> or maybe I do I think that's gonna happen Hey, Lady Al. Pecan. Pecan. Pe pecan chew. I'm thinking there's a joke somewhere involving a bag of nuts and a Tamagotchi with a punchline along the lines of uh, pecan, pecan chew. But I'll have to take some time to workshop it. I, I got a feeling that there's a real corker in there somewhere. Ah. It, it needs some time. I'm going up here. I've never been up here. I don't think. I might have fallen off. Climbing. Ugh. Pecan chew is good. <laughs> Worth the time to brew the joke? <laughs> okay. What's this bit? This seems sus. This seems like somewhere where I'm going to get myself in trouble. Look at that. Awesome. You know what's really good? As I, I said yesterday, a little bit. Oh, sugar! Oh, that scared the bejesus out of me. I was like, where did that come from? Oh, yes. Have at thee. Meow. Okay. Um, but I like that this, the, you know, originally it felt a bit empty. But over time, like years, they've really, really started fleshing this out. And I feel like all these chapters and stuff, this direction they've taken is 
really helping the place to come alive and, and live up to the lore. I like it a lot. I think I might have run along here at some point. Not sure. Well, I don't remember it, so clearly it must be safe. What's a lumpy? Ah, oh, sugar. That's what my what my buddy Texas Hula would say. Ah, <laughs> oh, sugar. I have water on me. Who am I? Where did I get these water skins from? Well met, adventurer. Like, and welcome to my underground. What's going on? Now. Thank you for the 49 long months of subscribing auto pay. Otto! No! Otto, why did you make me fight the scorpions? <laughs> Goodbye. Hey, Otto, how you doing? Thank you so much for the resub with Prime and the 49 months in total. Very much appreciated, buddy. How you doing, Otto? Ah, oh, sugar, this one saw me from all the way over there. Just as Hula arrives, I wouldn't. Oh, sorry, Peril. Ooh, I'm sorry. Have it. Peril? Peril in your own time, my dear. Peril? She's rather upset. She's, 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 she's like, no, I'm not fighting for you anymore. You keep hitting me. All right, uh, this is cool. Let's go up here. I've not, not seen this before. A giant taddy scone the size of a tortilla. I mean, I like scone. The only problem with eating a delicious scone is it's always scone before you know it. This isn't creepy at all, hanging around in these giant rocks. But yeah, I really appreciate uh, where this game is, uh, has gone in terms of its, the, the, develop, the fleshing out of the world. I kind of want to go. Let's go. I, I, oh, oh, that doesn't sound good. It'll be fine. Let's go. Oh dear. Oh, there's not much. This is a bit of an overhang. You might say it's a bit of an oversight on my part. Oh, thank goodness. That looked rather uh, difficult to grab. I'm going to get potato cake scone. Not sconey scone. Okay. Wow. Potato cake, though. I'm in. I'm definitely in. Potato scone. Oh my lord. Combining two uh, things that I think sounds delicious. Making of a feeding box. Oh, Shadow Springs. I've not been ever up here. Oh, sugar! I've been in there, though. It's not good. Ah, oh, sugar. Okay, so... Yeah, we can't... Because that's a place to get brimstone. Now, I've fought... I've been in there. I need the mask. Oh, I can make the steel now. I'd be able to make the mask. I didn't think of that. Oh! What's that? Oh, giant locust. No, oh, I'm out. Nope. Not a big fan of that. No, no, no. I know there's a giant uh, creature in there somewhere we can fight. Oh, it's surrounding the place. There's loads of them. 
They breed like bloody bugs. I don't want to fight that. Go away. Leave me alone. What does this give me? Just branches the usual. Okay. Uh, Beryl, we, uh, we might be in for a bit of a fight. Let's see if we can sneak past it. Okay. Uh, never mind. Run. Actually, let's see. What, 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 what is it? Oh, we can... Ow! We can kill this. Haha! <laughs> sorry, Beryl. <laughs> I used to use bait there, my dear. I'm sorry. Sand Reaper Toxin Gland. Okay. That's what they're called. Sand Reapers. I've forgotten. What if it wants to fight? Yeah, I have not that much choice. So there, there's a there's a couple of nasties in there. There's some rock noses in there, and then there's a really big like I think wooden bark creature thing. I vaguely remember fighting that. I think that was when we were with Lan and everyone. We fought that. So that's been a long time. There's also a giant rock nose that lives somewhere around here that I usually end up running into by accident. Great music again. Man, I'm so enjoying the music. I've got so many places still to visit on this map. I've never done anything with like the frost giants and stuff like that. And I've never been to the big snake pit area. So, uh, the, the, the snake people. I, really want, I need to get those statues and all the set stuff at some point for Ulon's story. Obelisk. Oh, hello. Slaves, the Warmaker is issuing this decree mm. regarding the battle north of the city. Any rumors of a new weapon unleashed by the humans is completely false. There was a natural phenomenon, a subsidence of the earth that decimated. Yeah, it'd be great, Tiger. There's so much fighting you could do. The, enemy. the will of Set prevails, and we shall consult with the tribe. Along with the story stuff. We decide upon our new course of action in this war. more corruption now definitely need Shiloh to get me some dancers put on a dancing show come at roll upstairs roll eh. run away Oh wait, all my corruption is gone. Wait, how did my... When did that happen, chat? I only just noticed. How did I get rid of my corruption? Huh. Oh, you know there was probably a dancer in that tavern? Is this the, uh, st the silk run? Uh, yeah, this is the silk run where I've completely forgotten to go and get the, the, the silk. Yeah, the tavern, right? No, it doesn't go away with a battle nap. That I know of. Because we take actual, like, two-minute naps here rather than your character dying. So down... I think it was down here. I looked at building a sort of castle there, looking out over that with, with this as a backdrop. Kind of neat. In single player, I was just looking for areas where it could be fun to build where you don't usually see people do a building. I'm not going up there because we'd have to fight a bunch of people. 
Yeah, we've got. That's where we're going. We're going to. We're going to Sepuwu, as Ulon now calls it, which is entirely Tiger's fault. Sepuwu. I'm glad we've introduced that to two other characters, though. That's a nice spot there as well, isn't it? Sepu Wu. Mm hmm. That looks really cool over there, too. I think. I'm roughly in the right. This is the oasis. Okay, so this is where Green Bowl lives. Somewhere around near the oasis, she said. Exactly. Set without the roof. Was the conversation yesterday. Oh, wow. We're going to get in a fight here. There's always angry things that want to fight. That's right, yeah. Thanks, Viper. What? Oh, it's a horizontal elevator thing. Cool. That's neat. And we've got lovely Terranian style here. Yes. What's that lantern? Golden green. Held and green, lovely choice of colours. That's the new camels, isn't it? I've not seen them yet. As rideables, that is. One of them one of the camels is called Toe. And the other one is called Camel by Camel. <laughs> First try, don't you dare tell anybody about that, Beryl. What the? Is that battle music? No. Or maybe? I'm not sure. Okay, I don't want to. In the name of oh. Set, identify yourself. Um. Hello. Uh, hello. Oh, no, no. Don't hit the horse. I don't. Set will grant me cunning. I don't want to hit the horse. Oh, my God. Run away, Snicket. <laughs> Run away. Don't stop it. Maybe I can drag the fight away from this base. Come on. I believe in the bringing in of the light, and you have been enlightened. Troublemaker. Um, 
goodness me. There was that. There was a bag of coins. Heavy coin purse. Oh. Okay. Give me some of that action. So, yeah, there must have be a relic. Oh, over there, there's a little encampment on the other side of that rock or something. Okay. Why is the oh, look, some storm gone? glass at the top. Hey, Falcon. Uh, I don't want, oh, no. I don't want to have to fight all these things. Leave us alone. We're just on our way to Sebuwu. No need to get so aggravated. Why, why, Beryl? Why do you... <sighs> why? Why do you have to... Uh, Stand there and just get us into trouble. Can't take you anywhere. Like literally, you're not even following me. Hello. Hello? Hi. Oh, Hi. it's you, Greenbow. Hello, Lon. Oh, hello there. Um, uh, greetings. Uh, uh, Beryl and I have had a good word with one another and sorted out that mess from before. I think she's not going to be so uh, uh, aggressive, aggressive when it comes to defending our property. So I'd like to apologize again for that little calamity this morning. Uh, don't you worry about that. And I appreciate for the apology. But don't you worry. I had the same problem. I nice see. lady in there stabbed a, a very good customer of ours. It was oh a whole thing. Oh dear. Right. This is rather embarrassing. Um, is that your place over across the way there? Yeah. The, that's a Gemini Trading Center slash uh, Ruth Trading Post. Oh, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's delightful. Uh, yes, yeah, so okay. I, I just went over there and uh, rang the rang the old horn. Uh, but uh, yes, I was I was admiring your your camels and whatnot. I took a little dive into the pool, got it right first try, didn't I, Beryl? Yes. Oh, and uh, then I went to look at the other tower with the uh, where you've got some sort of wire that you I guess you just monkey bar across between the buildings and some nasty uh, uh, person came running around the corner and started swinging a weapon at, at, at your dog and your horse and uh, we we took care of them though they are uh, they won't be doing that again anytime soon uh, well I very much appreciate I very much appreciate that yeah we've got a, a small relic hunter infestation I guess you could call it yes yes that seemed to be what it was I should uh, let you know that your dog uh, He's, uh, I, I, I don't know what, he's, he's, he's a bit of a stoic champion. He just sat there getting smacked in the face over and over again. And he was like, hey, doesn't, it's barely a scratch. It's a flesh wound. Doesn't, doesn't bother me. Oh, damn. Yes. Your horse was a little bit more finicky, but it decided it wanted in on the action. So, uh, I, I managed to get the relic hunter a little bit away towards the poolside and, and then I, uh, I threw down a bar of soap so that they would slip and fall into the water. It was pretty easy going from there. Oh, that's genius right there. Mm. You know, one thing I'll know about horses, they, uh, they got secrets. Right. Oh, yes. They're, they're always whispering amongst each other. Yeah. If you listen real close, they'll whisper to you too. Oh, really? I have not uh, tried that. I should... I should uh, I have a beautiful white steed, but he's a, a wild spirit and no doubt rampaging somewhere across the deserts right now. He threw me off a cliff once, and he managed to save himself from severe injury by having me land underneath him. Um, that seems a, a, a part of me, sir. Yes. Oh, one of these conversational shellbacks, are you? All right. Yeah. What shall we do about that? Um... Yes, well, I thought I'd just come along and visit, and, and I was going to go to the, see these traders uh, at, at Sepuwu as well. Uh, I was. I have a question for you, actually, before I forget. Um, oh, yeah, sure. You, your trade, do you trade in um, the ways of um, the blackened ice? Oh, we do. Uh, oh. Is there a mount you, mount you need? Um, I need a small amount. I, I, the problem I've got is that Hubert, as I mentioned earlier, is eating us out of 
kind of tower and home. And I need a way to, uh, when I cook some stuff up, I'm trying to learn some new cuisine, some new recipes. And I got some uh, from a nice lady uh, by a big statue of a foot. Uh, but unfortunately, when I cook the food, he's either guzzling it all down or it's just dying off in the heat. So I need to make myself a uh, one of those big boxes covered in ice. Ah, I see, I see. I see. I see. So I only need, I think, uh, some small quantities and obviously a bit to go inside as well. I'll also, I, I'm going to try, hopefully we'll be able to cook up some of that um, hardened steel, but I think I need some of that ice for that too, unless you trade in that as well. Uh, specifically hardened steel or the brimstone and the black ice, because we do all three. Oh, okay. Well, all, what I'm trying to do is just, I just need to make myself a cool box to keep my food within so it doesn't go off so readily all right and uh would you happen to have anything to trade back or is it sort of a iou situation um well uh, it depends what is there anything that you have specific need of i live there in the highlands perhaps there are some you know uh flora and fauna or whatnot that it would be useful for you to uh, get hold of I could also offer you fangs, because I'm constantly being harassed by these flea-ridden uh, hyenas. Uh, you know, that could do. I, w I think we also accept gold. Um, we are low on acre and silk, and uh, rhino and elephant had, I believe, but you might be a bit far away from those. Yeah, it's not a lot of that where I'm at directly, unless those mammoth count, but I haven't braved those yet. Hmm. Uh, I do have, uh, I actually need to go and get some some spider silk myself. I could bring you uh, an amount of that, if that's of benefit. That would be agreeable. Uh, is 500 an okay amount, or is that... 500, you say? Yes. Oh, I, I'm sure I could manage that. I've got Beryl here to uh, carry with me. What do you say, Beryl? Do you mind if we weave ourselves a web of a story with these lovely traders? Hmm. Beryl nods. Yes. It's subtle, but I can pick up on it. Oh, excellent. I imagine you could spin yourself quite a tale. Uh, as long as it's not too much, that should be acceptable. I can go run, get you some ice. Wonderful. Yes, yes. I just need, As long as I get the bits and bobs I need to make myself one of these coal boxes... Uh, I think that would be that would be marvelous. All right, I'll go get you some. Right, uh, I'll be back in a short while. It'll take me a while to go and get the uh, the silk because I think I have to go for a bit of a run from here. But I'll 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 right. make it my my primary side quest. Oh, well, I mean, you don't have to do that. You could get it to me tomorrow, sometime at the end of the week. Oh, That's wonderful, right. wonderful, perfect. I will drop by when I have a moment. Alright, uh, it won't take me, it'll take me just a second, uh, I'll just run and grab that for you. I don't know if you want to come in, like, uh, we got a little bit of lo lounge. Now oh, okay, yet. I see, I see, yes, we could do an I, 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 I take now and drop off later. Okay, sounds good. Well, uh, we can trust each other, right? Oh, yes, yeah. I am highly trustworthy. I am guided by the purity of the bringer in of the light. Right, and the, the farce and all that. Yes, it is not within our beliefs to deceive and steal from others. Good, good. You know, I like that. I don't yes. like bandits. No, Except I'm not one. a big fan of bandits either. Yeah. I only met one bandit I like. He's a, he's a bit eccentric. You might meet him one day. Uh, his name is the Bone Lord. Bone Lord? Yeah, he, uh, he kidnapped me. He robbed me, unrobbed me, kidnapped me, uh... Unkidnapped me, you know, threatened to uh, seduce my mother, then kill my mother. It was a whole thing, but I think we're friends ish now, companions. Well, you know, right, it's yeah, it sounds very, uh, very straightforward. Oh, quite See. the place you have here, beautiful. Well, thank you. It's a, it's a good, uh, good effort from uh, Lyra. She, you know, she built this whole place. We just gathered her the stuff. Oh, very nice. My compliments to the uh, builders. I'll be sure to pass them along. Uh, one moment. Look at these folk enjoying their work. Chop, chop. Mm. 
Yes, Beryl. You were onto something with that whispering to the horses. I, I'll give you that. Yes. Personally, the favorite, my favorite activity with a horse is eating its flesh as a lovely lasagna. Mm, horse lasagna, lovely. Have you ever tried horse lasagna, Miss Greenbow? I don't think I have. Oh. Um, I'm open to trying it, I guess. Yes, yes, we'll, we'll try and serve some up once we have some food-making facilities that go beyond a campfire. And a whole load of uh, Hubert's drool as he waits for his next meal. Just as long as you don't sip on the drum. Yes. Mm -hmm. right, you, said you just wanted some for a box, that's it? I just need to make an, an ice box, yes. That's just be... Now yeah, let's... Uh, let's play less than, than one at... Uh, one second. Uh, two wood, yeah. Yes, they, they wood I can manage, but the black ice and the hardened steel isn't something I have as of yet. Ah, uh, I see, I see. I see. I get, get it? I, I see. Get it. So you want the, uh, the improved one or the regular one? Um, probably just the regular one will suffice for now. I don't want to, uh, push my luck. I know that the improved one needs something that falls from the skies. Ah, I mean, we have that. Just checking. I mean, it really just depends on what you're willing to offer for the price. I mean, this is, like, for 500 silk, that's, that's... All right, then. I'll take the fancy one. And for that, I will add on a bonus of an additional 69 silk. Well, I'm a big fan. <laughs> Wonderful. You hear that, Beryl? The 69 tip, it always works. The goodly traders. That's how you know you can trust a trader. You got yourself a bargain. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. I shall be back with your silk. You can rely on Ulan. All right. Mm, thank you. Come on, Beryl. Course, we you. better get out of here before you start smashing the place up and having throwing another tantrum. She's really tall. Are She's very tall, isn't she? I, I only we went to the to the White uh, Lodge and had a couple of drinks, and it's only then that I realised how tall she was when she stood over me while I was relaxing with a drink. Mm. All right, uh, safe travels. Thank you. Yeah. Goodbye Thank now. You. I shall now head to Sepu Wu. Yes. Yes. Come on, Beryl. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know there was a trade function either. That's really cool. Hey, Frisky, how you doing? Good vibes be with you. Sepu Wu? Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey Slickson, how you doing, bud? Hey Omni. Working on your model railroad? Neat. Mm, this one. Okay, so 
yeah this is the main quest was the silk i guess <laughs> and all the rest of it we've done the white lodge we're gonna go to sepuwu there's another building up there on the hill don't let me forget the silk and we need to give them 569 a fight round here. I knew it! Ow! Thought I dodged to the side. Hmm. How do you like those green fruit falling from a tree? Stygian chair was a uh, an unusual name for that fellow. Mm. Nobody saw nothing. Nope, oh, nope. Can't blow that horn. Ah, oh, this is isn't this the bar where we meet old? Uh, Conan, Conan McSnonan. Combat drill. Greetings, lovely moves you've got there. Oh, kitty cat. Ah, oh, sugar. I can't remember how we got the cats again. I mean, I know how to pick them up. How, I can't remember how we bred them and got them out again. Here's the tavern. Got a cat now, though. You guys can remind me later when I get home. Oh, extra tavern outside. Oh, that's neat. So some of these must be hireable, right? Wait a minute. I know a hunter when I see one. Learn your corruption. Give me a wild place. Give me wind. Whispering deadly secrets in the branches. Give me a gravid moon, hanging heavy in a hungry sky, setting my teeth on edge and my toes curling in the clay of blood and soil. Cool. Yes. That being said, I'm rather enjoying this warm place <laughs> to rest and recover. I feel a vague ache and weariness. Perhaps it is the climate. I am a stranger in a strange land. No matter. Let us indulge in libation and palaver. <laughs> what a palava. Mm, you have a hunger about you. Yes. What's lasagna? Hunger, not alone of belly emptiness. Oh, that but too. But the lust of death dealing. Well, 
I mean, it's part of the light. I wonder. I wonder if you are on the hunt. I wonder if you seek the sacraments of Jebal Sag to slay his champions and claim his blessing. Oh, yes. Tell me more. You are no scavenger, no jackal. You aspire to the apex. You desire the beast lord's greatest Oh, champion. hey, Squeaxel, thanks for hitting that follow button. Thank you very much, Squeaks. Welcome in. Yes, this current grand champion of Jebal Sag is not quite right, are they? Too powerful. Some dark magic possesses them, yes? Hey, MLG. I wonder, I wonder at the nature of gods, how growing divinity turns them into a multiplicity, how each of their extremities might gain agency like a worm's cloven head Good becoming times. two. <laughs> I think these pleasant libations have fogged my mind with philosophizing, though not unpleasantly so. <laughs> cool. No doubt others have offered you advice on how to deal with this corrupted champion. Yes. I offer you an alternative. Oh, go on. A predator should not only be mighty, but cunning. You could face this possessed champion head on, or you could cleanse it. Of the corrupting influence. Yes. In a dark, forgotten place, seek out a primeval hyena who walks as a man, one of Jebal Sag's first champions. Lure this beast out of its ancient slumber. Use its elder blood to further season your lures. Consuming this mixture <laughs> will purge the corrupted champion. I have enjoyed our conversation in this cozy watering hole. I wish you success on your hand. Okay, so we gotta go somewhere dark, cave, a dungeon, something like that. Howls on the wind, blood on the tongue yes and horse lasagna in my belly have a good day sir neat so we've learned that corrupted lure thing so this is the alternate way uh, uh, of going defeating that champion and uh, this can lead to you being able to get the pet, I believe. The other pet, the... No spoilers. But if you know, you know. Greetings! Wait, I recognize you. Aren't you, uh... Wait a minute, it'll, it'll, it'll come to me. Uh, what was your name again? Michael Jackson? No, Conan, that was it, Conan. So you... Any Oops. fool can see that you need answers. Left hanging for the vultures on that cross. A cursed bracelet that keeps you trapped. It's, in it's you. Place. Steve. Everybody Steve. Kill each Steve, well met. Steve. I should leave you oh, wait, that's not Steve. That's Alan. Alan. I don't have the stomach Alan. for sorcery. Alan. Give me a foe that I can strike with cold iron. Ah. Wine tastes like boiled camel's piss and the bread's half weevil, but I'm comfortable enough. 
If you have questions, ask. I wandered for a while after I pulled you. It would be across. amazing if he sounded like Arnie. I guess, yeah. <laughs> Tatty scones from Jurek. Thank you for that picture. Now I'm hungry for Tatty scones. I found an amphitheater where the ancient dead walked in the memories of ancient battles. Someone using my avatar. <laughs> nice. It stank of sorcery. So I left. Hmm. I have traveled far and seen much. From the glittering ice of Asgard to the jungle expanses of the Black Kingdoms. I have been thief, pirate, and mercenary. But nowhere have I seen gods as I see them in this land. These avatars that stalk and spread destruction in their wake. These are not gods. These are what men want gods to be. Weapons. There is a woman. I freed her from the cross just as I Good night, light, light hammers. I followed her trail across Good the Good vibes, thank lands. you for the lurk. I missed her and Helix. Scant few hours. Good luck on the she had left in search of a map church shopping adventure. <laughs> a to free herself from the exiled lands. Praise be for I have Lompe. In the map room. She was gone and all of her companions slaughtered. Listen. If you have news of Rasma of Shen, Oh, I do. I found one of her uh, journal pages. Ah, what do I know of sorcerers and their feuds? I do not dabble in the dark arts. But whoever and whatever put you here is a wielder of the dark arts. Yes. You were like a wolf. In a I trap. blame that Hugo, that chaotic sorcerer. Flee, and yet, in the end, it will kill you. Be smarter. Find out what they want, then hold it close. They will come for it. And then... Yes. Your jaws around their throat. Yes. <laughs> Walk warily, my twice-dead friend. Oh, thank you. It's good to see you again, uh, Jimmy. Catch you later. Come on, Biddle. Is that... There, oh, this, there's something to read in here. There's a book. No. No. No, first try. Got it. By the gods, what was I thinking? I locked Seth the drunk in the wine cellar. Uh, that's where all the drinks are. I'm ruined. Oh, goodness. Okay, we're not gonna... I'm not gonna go down there. I'm gonna get beat up again. Do I have to knock him out to get his... Uh, his thingy? I think so, right? We tried last time when we killed him. Uh, Abadetti. Uh, <laughs> Sepuwu Crier. Hear ye, hear ye, peoples of these exiled lands, for I speak news whispered from across these sands. Pray tell your news, sir. Commander backed Nimlot, the mighty calls upon every loyal citizen of Stygia. Before the last great storm brazen, godless vermin tried to deface the great fortress at Al Maria. These fools were, of course, repelled with ease, yet such attacks upon our glorious empire cannot be tolerated. It is up to you, ever loyal vassals of Stygia, to defend the Empire. Shun these craven fools, cast them into the light of scrutiny, that they might be known and justly punished for their insolence. It is your duty, nay, it is your honor, to... <coughs> You're all right. Uh, there you go. I've been out here day and night shouting. 
I can't complain much, but my throat. I make horsted. Would I trouble you to bring an old man five herbal tea and maybe a bit of honey? Get it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> was uh what was the did we get a t from that knowledge i don't think so right get it yourself uh chili does no okay herbal tea how rude get it yourself relic hunter quests okay i don't want to pick all these up yet Probably could though, keep them in my quest log. But there's a bunch of pages up here somewhere, isn't there? Book. No, the book. No. The old chieflin, wretch that he is, lies dying now, and I can do little to help as I have no knowledge of the arcane arts or of medicine. My expertise in bedroom acrobatics will be of little use to the old fool. I might even bring him closer to the brink, if not push him over it completely. When he dies, I wonder what will become of me. Still, Jamiel, his son, is strong and not very intelligent. If I play my cards right, I might still have a safe haven here. I think I shall have to pay him a nighttime visit to ease his weary mind and muscle. The thought of getting caught in enticing is in itself, although the prospect of the wheel is less so. I shall have to be careful. The Harlot's Journal, number one. I am one with the farce. The farce is with me. There's another one there. Tectosa's journal. My fellow exiles do not seem to be supportive of my venture. Several chunks of meat have gone missing from the local storage shell. Uh, shed and a small group came to confront me about it. I was hoarse from yesterday's incident, but I explained the intent behind my experiment to the crowd rather eloquently, if I do say so. They cheered and clapped vigorously and left. The creature, however, was less impressed and took my moment of distraction to defecate on my doorstep. How rude! I love all these little stories and things. Uh, I think there's one over here. It's so easy to miss, though, just lying on the floor. Or even hidden within the grass. Look at that. How oh, you would find that. As I exited my house today, I slipped on my doorstep. I did not have to examine the ground to know what this caused this. I turned my head only to see the creature mimic the cheering and clapping from yesterday event. I cannot deal with this today. I went back inside. <laughs> uh I will give it one more attempt today. If today's attempt proves as unsuccessful as the others, I will have to get rid of the beasts. I approached it with sword and shield, but it seemed disinterested in me. I poked and prodded it, but there was no reaction except for what seemed to be a shrug. Perhaps I had broken the beast after all. I turned and began to walk away. This proved to be a mistake, as the beast kicked me in the back and sent me flying face first into a nearby tree. The oh, vomit there goes in the juicing worthless pistry of the creature died this tomorrow. <laughs> wow. Norwesty, thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. Good vibes be with you. Thank Good. you. Going to need a bigger bolt. Going to need bolt. a bigger bolt, folks. 
Escaping the responsibilities of adulthood by streaming Conan Exiles. Wonderful. Good vibes with you. Come on in, folks. Thank you. For, how was your stream? What were you getting up to today in Conan? If you have to rush off after your stream, I fully understand. Good evening to you. Um, no. You have found a repair hammer. Oh, that's handy. Poor Beryl, she's getting ordered about all over the place. Good evening, welcome on in. Uh, we're currently role-playing on Nordheim RP, colon server. Just started up quite recently, and it'll be around for a good while. And uh, we're playing our regular character, Ulon Yes, uh, who is a misguided devotee of the Bringer In of the Light, otherwise known as Set. <laughs> But he doesn't talk about that. Hey, Kangaroo Bit, good morning. I, Tectosa, must confess that I have failed. The creature is unruly, uncouth, and unpleasant. To think that it might have been made a good thrall. Bah! I have my shield, I have my sword, I'm ready. I will wipe away my failure with blood. You know, I don't think... Really, Beryl? I don't think I've ever gone through the whole thing I don't remember that hand paint there though the blood on the what's going on back here oh oh uh, oh I uh, not seen that before sorcerer level three he'd be handy got any freebies so, oh, is this designed as a space where I can get into a fight with that guy and uh, get a get a sorcerer? Uh, Beryl? <laughs> Beryl? Oh, I gave all my beat sticks away. Dang it. I forgot I gave my beat sticks away. Wait, I just need plant fiber? Oh, hang on. We're back in business. We're back in business. This is probably a bad idea. But it'll be fun. Doing some laps of Seppanru looking for thralls. Are you fruitful such is life? I got gotcha. you. Well, I hope that you can find the thralls you're looking for uh, next go around. Good vibes and thank you very much for the lurk as well. Oh, risk no fun. Folks, if you want to go and check out some Conan and some uh, fruitless, but no doubt determined for all hunting uh, please do go check out Norwesty and thank you very much welcome aboard everybody what is this door here can I open this door no okay let's go no risk no fun exactly thank you for the follow Norwesty much appreciated thank you for the follow Norwesty oh no is there a stone coming Oh, no, we'll have to go back to the tavern. Right, Beryl, let me uh, disarm you. Very disarming. All right, let's go, Beryl. Don't want to be out here in this storm. Is this the first storm that we've had, I think, since I've been on the server? Combat roll. Uh, oh. Okay. Oh, I can't get you, uh, no mind. Oh, is this not a... It's not one I can sit up myself either. Oh, 
that's pretty. Very good, Beryl. Carry on, carry on. Yes. I'm not sure we're ready yet to bring you out as the main show. But you could probably go on the side stage. Yeah, so we don't get the maelstrom up there, yeah. yeah. Nice. Oh, Beryl, she's quite the one. Ah, there we go. Quick round of my balls and we're done. Oh, there's another book here. I didn't, I didn't see that one before. There's another quest giver here in the tavern. That's awesome. Yes, that's enough of that barrel. I do like all these quest givers. Definitely going to do some of those. Once we've got settled in. Today, I attempted to communicate with the creature from a distance. It may be chained to the wall and muzzled, but I wish to keep the precious few limbs that I have. I attempted to teach the creature directions by pointing. The creature responded by picking up a stone and throwing it with remarkable accuracy at my throat. That hurt quite a bit. Ah, this is where it starts. Let these pages serve as a record of my attempts to civilize one of the degenerate brutes that haunts the southern reaches of the exiled lands. I, Tectosa, will train them to be the perfect thralls, stronger and more obedient than humans. Capturing the creature was difficult. Mate drenched in a sedative of my own design, managed to fell the beast. My hand trembles as I write this. Imagine the possibilities. I attempted to show the creature how to surrender. As I held up my arms, it lunged at me and tore into my side, the side of my face. If, for the price of an ear, I can create a constant source of tireless thralls, then the sacrifice will be worth it. She's a little bit, a little bit short on the old marbles. It would seem. I know where all the other pieces are. Wait, hang on, I got distracted. So you're the Stygian Settite. Ah, three. My attempts at reaching the brute have not yet been fruitful, but my resolve remains strong. I cooked some gruel in order to entice the miserable wretch to grovel for food. It has not been fed for days. Damn near cost me my toe as it clawed at my feet. Clearly it prefers the taste of meat, but there, where the carrot will not work, the stick must be used. Oh, what's that? A lucky coin? In the eyes of Set, well, I already know the Set, but that could be useful for uh, Hubert. I'm curious now about the rest of this. Oh, wait, let's go back to beating up these guys. Where's Beryl? Beryl? This could be a bad idea. So you are sorcerer, sorcerer one, sorcerer three. You're an archer and you're a fighter. So I'm going to take out these two first, then that one, and then we'll try and bonk that guy over the head. All right, get really better. Oh wait, do I have? Oh, I do. I have. I do. Oh, I can make straps. Oh, nice. Ah, oh, sugar. I've got to go and get. 
I've got to go and get the silk as well. You know what? Maybe we'll come back and do this another time. Yes. Maybe we come back and do this another time. I could also learn the table and make some better tools and add the uh, bonky bonky nib to it as well. Okay, we'll come back and do that. i got to try to remember that there's a sorcerer down here. Will there always be this guy here? I don't know. I don't want to take him. I don't want to take... Steel Thewed, you cannot take more than 33% of your maximum health in damage per hit. Huh. That could be quite good for someone like me that gets hit in the face all the time. Hmm. Alright. Back on the story trail. miss them i think they're all back in that area all right continue we, we resume our journey oh hey ghost swarm underscore 86 thanks for hitting that follow button hello Thank you for the follow, Ghost Swarm. Welcome on in. Yeah, the gong, the gong, and the horn, and the and the other gong, the Namidian. This, I love those placeables. They're so good. Is that your hovel? Oh wow, found you. Found you. It's a nice little starter hovel and I love that it's adorned by the little skulls and the brazier and the, the horn. It may be a small, a humble hovel, but at least you have the horn. Well, I remember the glorious uh, Church of the Squirrel. That was fantastic. We got a good old giggle out of that. An accessorized hovel. Not just any hovel. A very uh, appropriately accessorized one. I need a bunch of coal because we're going to be cooking. Alright, let's go get some silk. We don't have to visit the spiders if you don't like the large spiders. Forewarned is eight legged. Some more here. I'm having a good time exploring the map and whatnot. It's very enjoyable. I think we're going to go, let's go over here again. Uh, and see, uh, we did, we've got, yeah, let's see what we can get from those. Because I want to get things like the throne and whatnot. But I think we needed a lot more. I, can't, I need to take some screenshots of the 
It's probably something I can look up online. Look at the size of that scorpion over there. Holy. Holy moly. Head through the entrance of the city and then hug the right wall. Oh, what, the Forbidden City? Which which city? Hug the right wall, so like along here. Okie dokie. Oh, jeez. Oh, I went underground. It's the jam. Oh, jeez. Don't want to cause trouble here. Oh, wait, wait, Bero. I need to give you back your sword. My bad. to cause trouble okay. here. Oh, don't make me hurt you, wanderer. <laughs> and now there's a baby scorpion sneaking in on us too. You know what? This will be a bunch of icker. Handy. Uh for food again? Oh, you're starving again, damn it. I'm giving you all my good food. We're gonna, we're gonna have to do the old campfire again. Rustle up some food. That's it, buried in the sand. Black ice doesn't expire, right? No, only normal ice, okay. Thank you. Thank you for the luck. Have a good rest. Beryl's doing pretty darn well, got to say, for a for a low level. I'm impressed with Beryl. Hello, Taz the Kid. Welcome in. Mm -hmm. Just having a food stop. old time having a good day of conan roleplay
Du, du. Also. Nice. Right, share and share alike, Vero. But I'll give you the lion's share, as it were. Let's go. To the unnamed city. And probably my death. Maybe Beryl. Maybe Be Beryl might not make it. This place is rather dangerous. Rather dangerous, yes. Yes. see how tough this guy is. Oh. Oh, we can we can take this guy. Okay, as long as we don't fight them in too too big a group. Combat rail The fast is with me. Oh, what's that? Ebony silk. Goodness. Nice. A small, unassuming coin. Hmm. Does it give me anything? Nothing at all? No bones or anything? Oh, there you go. I did it like that. Alright, I don't want to fight too many things. Oh, jeez. What's that? Oh, goodness. Oh. I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, you won't even see us, right? Oh, my God, they're that stupid? Okay, good. Is this the way? I can't believe we got past those things. That they're having to fight them, that's grand. Ah! Oh, okay. Good. There is the, uh... There's the library in here with some really cool building stuff, right? I don't know... I can't remember the way to the library, though. I can't... I don't know... Oh, sugar! Is that a baby dragon? Either way, it's going to kick my butt. Look at that. That's cool. Oh, there's another one there. Kind of feel like we should try and fight it. Uh, but maybe not. Just go and give it a hug. You'd like that, wouldn't you? You'd like it if I went and gave that thing a hug or more to the point it hugged me. Oh, is this you? Look at that. Oh my god. I want uh, my tower design idea as a protruding arm thing as well. Not quite like that. But that's cool. Oh, this is neat. Is what is that? That's the reinforced brick, right? Just the tier three brick. Oh, neat. Oh, that's really nicely done. That's beautiful. Yep, 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 yep. Very nice. Wow. I don't need to build a tower anymore, everybody. We can just come here and look at this tower. Because it's going to be much nicer than my tower. <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, that's really cool. Nice. I like the look of that uh, brick. And I like the uh, storm glass at the front too. 
and underneath. Ah, it looks beautiful. Look at that with the clouds going past like that. It looks amazing. Really good job. Love it. Really good job. I still have never gotten any of this golem stuff going. Except for in creative mode. So I still don't know how you do the whole crystal and all that. Drop box. The Aurelian. What's in here? Hello? Hello? Nobody home. It's a nice little wash house. <laughs> That's cool. Is that like normally there, that hole in the rock? Or is that modded in somehow? That's awesome. I've definitely never seen that before. Yeah, it's really a neat tower. That's the really good tower. Beautiful. Modded in. Ah, okay. Oh, nice. I was going to say that looks so amazing, but I can't remember ever having seen a little hole like that in the... Like, not without it being a full-on, like, cave or something. Like the uh, crop to shellback place and that. That's really cool. I love that. Ah, and then the the D render. Where's the okay? So genuine questions, chat. The library's in here somewhere, right? Is it that big tall one over there? And can I get to the library without having to fight my way in or something? Or is it? Because you get a random bit of lore, don't you? And then you've got to trade in, like, shards of power or something. Can I get... To, well, I'm probably going to die if I go in there, aren't I? The top right corner of D6. 6, uh, A, B, C, D. This bit here. Is that about right? There's skellies outside, but like the one I just beat up, so not too difficult. Literally right in like that bit there, maybe. But that would take me in the general direction. Oh, jeez. I, I don't know. I, my best bet would be to come from the north here, I guess, then. Because otherwise I'm going to have to dodge all sorts of stuff. So I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll go around there, chat. And we'll cut through. Because I wanted to go to the Jabal Sag anyway. And we'll try and see if we can sneak in from the north. This guy's just out here gathering. That's what I wanted. I want the golems to do my gathering for me. But I've not gotten around to uh, any of that yet. How's the silk run going? Uh, let me show you how much silk we've got. None. <laughs> We're now, I've now added. So we've added the side quest to this tower. And now we're going to add a side quest to the library because I always just like going there. And then we're going to go for the silk. Then we're going straight to the silk. Um, I think since our characters have already met coincidentally, I, have, I don't have any problem uh, meeting up. I definitely feel like I need some help. I mean, it's fun to struggle my way through with Beryl, though. I'm, I'm, I've am i got to be honest. I'm like, I know the pride comes before the fall, but I'm very proud of the fact that Beryl hasn't died yet. I know we haven't gone into that much danger, but I, lo I usually lose thralls. I think they're a lot tougher now, aren't they? But I usually lose thralls so quickly and so often in this game. 
She's she's literally a level one fighter. Oh, I've got the ebony silk. There you go. So that's how the silk mission's going. We got the ebony silk. You know what I can do? I don't even have to go. We don't make mistakes. I don't even have to go that way. I can go this way. Ha! It just occurred to me we can just sneak out the side. I think, and we won't die. What? What is this? It's a bad idea. That's what this is. Hello? Oh, it's 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 nothing. Oh, that's a pity. That would have been really cool. If that was like a cave or something. Probably have a giant bear in it. I'd, I'd never seen that before. I don't know what that, that hole there is. It just had an invisible wall. I couldn't go through it. The good news about going this way is that there's a chance that we might run into that big rock monster thing that lives Why in there. Why is the ram always gone? That I always forget exists until I run into it. <laughs> or I usually, I should say, not always. Look at all these bones, man. Now, on the plus side, we did need some coal, and we have gathered an awful lot of coal. So that's, you know, something. It might not be silk. But, you know, we've got a little bit of harvesting done while we're out. Fantastic music. Oh, what's that? That's not the really big one either, is it? We're just going to run past it, Beryl. That's like the little baby one. Come on, Beryl. We can make it. Uh, we can't make it run. <laughs> Beryl? Oh, for goodness sake. She will, she will come to me, though, won't she? Pretty sure. Right? Here she comes. Oh, thank goodness. A lot of the time when I used to lose the thralls, it's because they would just engage and get stuck in the battle. Ah, oh, sugar. Oh! Oh no, you brought the other one with you! What the heck, Beryl? Ah! Beryl, no! Bad Beryl. Okay. Run. And this is where the big one lives. Hello. Tickle, tickle. Sorry, Beryl, but uh, as long as one of us gets away, we'll be all right. Just don't look back. Don't look back. Oh, fudge. They all want to fight. All right, 
This one, uh, this one's going down. Oh, there's weapons useless against these. No armor pen. They're not useless, but just. Right, uh, yeah, let's go. I think I've only ever been in here once. And I think, I think, uh, Mama Goat was there with us. Not entirely sure. Somebody guided us in. Last time on Nordheim, we got guided out to safety when we got lost in there. <laughs> that was you as well. <laughs> oh, brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wrong button. Okay, so roughly this way. I would basically attack anyone who ever came, who I ever came across in there. Oh, really? Well, I'm glad you didn't. Running and screaming for help. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Hello? H hello? I, 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 I'm, I'm no threat. Uh, the only threat I am is to myself. Hello? I see. Is is that you again? Salutations, Ulon. Oh, greetings. Oh, oh, look at that, Beryl. We're in luck. I've been, uh, I've been looking. What's something making all these horrible noises around here? It's got me on edge. I've been looking for a place where I might read some, uh, some literature, and I've been told that there's a library around these parts somewhere, but, uh, with all this blessed uh, sand blowing around in my face, it's messing with my sense of the farce and direction. Do you seek the archive, then? Yes, that's the place, yes. Mm. Would you happen to know a uh, reasonably you safe route there? Task, dun, 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 I would. Oh. Um, could I trouble you for a safe escort and uh, a exit of this place? There are many foul beasts. Uh, some of them appear to be uh, fleshless. Creatures of the undead, as it were. I suppose it's not far. Uh, I, well, I could offer you some coin or some, some fangs. Coin wouldn't do. How many coins uh, on a scale of 1 to 66 gold coins would it cost me to be safely escorted into and back out of this uh, archive? Hey, after you've seen the work. Oh, oh, that's, that's, that's reasonable. Oh, all right. Pay and display. Got it. Hello there, sir. Nice to see you again. Strong, silent type, just like Beryl. Something like that. Yeah, this place, uh, 
it uh, thrills me. It gives me a little bit of the heebie-jeebies, but there's also something exciting and enticing about this source of power that is within this place. Ah, uh, it seems to draw many a... Well, Relic Hunter is an apt title. Yes, yes. Well, I seek only knowledge that I might be further enlightened myself as I try to guide my acolytes into the bringer of the light. And the way of the fast, as you said last time. Yes, yes, precisely. Mm. I've seen many a strange a place. What is that foul beast down there? It looks very dangerous. I was trying to decipher that myself. Yes. I think we'll pass that one up for now. I am not much of a fighter myself. Beryl does quite well. She's been guiding me successfully. I've had quite a fortuitous day today. I have run into a number of traders and uh, a, a young lady running a uh, some kind of entertainment and or burial uh, organization. I'm sure I misheard. Did you say entertainment and burial? Yes, it seems that uh, her primary source of business and income is going to be providing entertainment services and the like, uh, which is going to be very handy. We're going to need plenty of that at the Tower of Light for when we uh, host for one and all. But uh, in addition, it seems that uh, Miss Greenbow and Miss Shiloh are teaming up in some sort of, uh, uh, yes, like pay-as-you-go kind of grave uh service i didn't quite get all i don't think they fleshed out all of the details of it yet yes i told them right now they just got the bare bones of the organization well we all had a little chuckle Shall we get you to your destination? Oh yes, that would be delightful. Beryl, we need to get you some heavier boots so you can stomp around like this fellow. Uh, I don't know. I, I know that the event stuff for Chapter 4 is uh, scaling with your party and whatnot. But I think it needs a few bug fixes as well because it's not seeing and counting your uh, companions and they won't fight them either. Um, but other than that, I don't know. But it depends, though, you know, because combat's only one aspect. Um, but also uh, PvP that has roleplay initiation and and purpose and progression to it is also encouraged on Nordheim. So it's not just about the mobs and that. You can PvP, but as long as you do it in a way that is roleplay uh, oriented and centered. Ah, marvelous. Ashes to ashes, bones to the floor. Ah, uh, you in need of a fragment of fowl. 
Oh, do I need that to get through the door? Not necessarily, but makes a bargaining chip. I see, I see. I need to, uh... Where, where would one acquire such things? What is that terrifying sound? Oh, heavens! Sword battle, stop using fisty cuffs. <laughs> so she's using fisty cuffs. Oh, look at the size of that fella. Warrior Knight seems quite capable. Quite the capable foe. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. What on earth was that? Would you like to take the rest of uh, its components within as as a payment? By all means, help yourself. You are oh. paying. Oh well, thank you. I appreciate that. Look at that barrel. This fragment glows with power. Yes, yes. I could get used to things like that. I'm sorry about your companion. Hey, Damien, good morning. As I said, served its purpose. Weak to star metal besides. I see, I see. Interesting. Interesting. I must try to learn these sorcerous ways. Don't worry, Beryl. You'll be in charge of it. Goodness me, I don't think I would be able to fight off something like that. You are a very capable warrior. I know a warrior friend of mine, the Great Skell. He would be tremendous in a battle like this. He would run around huffing and puffing, and he would defeat such a thing too. He's the fight fighter amongst us. I'd probably be at the back somewhere drawing a little sketch of it all happening. This scale is in these lands now. Oh, I haven't seen him in quite the while, but uh, yes, we used to live in a little retirement uh, village down by uh, down by the river that runs between the sands, not far from those big sentinel chappies. 
but I think he took the retirement a little too seriously. Actually, he probably just got bored and he's off killing giant snakes in the in the uh, forest somewhere, knowing him. Well, they do say some get old and just wander into the forest. Yes, exactly. I think he went to the old forest upstate. That uh, creature behind you had this on it as well. I see. Oh, I got his head, that's nice. Right, what of this archive? First, take that. Oh, there's something there? No. Beryl, I do hope that's your stomach rumbling. Well, that one, Beryl. Not even a call out. Look out for anything. <laughs> Heck yeah. There's so much cool stuff to be dropped. I gotta get it. was gonna dm you earlier today and about if you wanted to come play a bit i'm only gonna drop on every few days and so but if you wanted to do like some little lightweight stuff oh heavens this i never would have found this on my own something lawless really yeah the arc uh thing has been really empty rp wise and scorched earth has just been horrendous so i kind of backed off of it for a bit oh what a magnificent place this is thank you i would never have found it on my own so tucked away what are these books hello who's in charge around here? oh i'm sorry i should hush my tones Hello, who's in charge around here? They've not ca Oh, it must be you. Hello there. Ah, uh, yes, about those uh, book rental fees. I'm very sorry. I've had a hard time getting the money together to pay the, the charges. Do not be afraid, bonded one. I am just a shadow, a whisper of what once was. No. Oh. Before the fall, when this kingdom raised knighted pillars of black stone to the sky, I was called the Archivist. Have you come to seek a way free of the bonding bracelet, human? 
only yes. one chance, and a very slim one at that. You must assemble the items of power that were present at its creation. The diadem of the giant kings. Yeah, they the had to bring Provo the in. The tears of two races. Which was... The star <laughs> I'm the like, champion, nah. The heart I don't know if I want to fight with Provo. The shining trapezohedron. And the but essentially it was just taking way too long to I fear I said you grind all the resources the and then there was no one there to really to RP with most of the time so I just kind of shelved it for a bit. The diadem of the giant kings was once worn upon the brow of the priest king. He fell in battle with Tyros, the Deathbringer, in the battlefields of the north. More than that, I cannot say. The priest king was the most passionate and most volatile among us. I got you. I fear his downfall will not have been a simple matter. The witch queen of Lemuria was our great enemy in the dying days of our race. Her people came to us as refugees. But even as they took our succor, they plotted our downfall. Mm. She was present at the creation of the bracelet, lending her power to ours. Her fate is unknown to me, but she always ruled from her city in the swamp to the east. Oh, I think we've met her. The tears of two races were simple to obtain when we performed the ritual. We simply took our tears and combined them. But who is left to weep for both races? Although tales persist of Tyros the Deathbringer, he was born of both races. Our blood mingled with theirs. Oh no, I don't envy you, Damien. be enough to fulfill the requirement. Obtaining them would be quite the feat. Mm. The star of the champion lies buried beneath the sands of the arena in the east. Oh. I remember well the day that Tyros killed the mighty dragon. Oh. He wept to defeat such a noble creature. He placed the star upon its brow. As far as I know, there it remains. Oh, so he's giving us lots of other quests to follow up on. Nice. To know uh. is to live, human. Yes, you have much knowledge. It appears I need more of these fragments. He's quite the uh, pricey fellow. But at least I have uh, made his acquaintance. I'm wondering if there is anything to be gleaned from any of these scrolls. I tried to snatch one, but know that it will absorb the power of that fragment. Oh, I see. That, that didn't do anything yet, did it? Or did it? Oh, maybe I already did. I, uh... I didn't see what I got, though. Foolish me. Does it go in here or where does it go? I may well have picked a scroll up and already forgotten about it. I certainly yeah. no longer have the fragment. See the weapon for a moment. Oh, gracious. That's very kind of you. Should just be this middle column here. Yeah.
Oh, I see. No, it, foolish me. I, my senses were somewhat uh, dampened. That's why. Okay. Oh, yes. Marvelous. Thank you very much. Now I just have to work out the way I look for that knowledge. Well, I'm certain I've learned something. I feel significantly more significantly more enlightened than I did when I first entered here. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And you're the one paying. Indeed. Um, shall we finish the contract? Yes. Here, let me offer you some coin before I uh, expire. <laughs> What's a, what's a, what's a... It won't let me, uh... Oh, there you go. Wait, that was... No, hang on. Can I just give him the coin? There! That feels like a, re a good bargain to me. Sure it does. Yes. I think we should leave this place post haste. I don't want to outstay my welcome and irritate the archivist. I can already hear the mutterings of those corrupted beyond all return. Uh, his stories I find to be very one-sided. Yes. Still, he spoke of a great dragon that was slain in a grand arena in the desert with some kind of mystical, powerful star stuck within its forehead. I am most intrigued by this. Shall have to sniff it out. I'm sure that'll be an easy side quest. <laughs> Certainly wouldn't pose any risk to uh, your health, I'm sure. Mm hmm. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> and the Witch Queen as well. Yeah, I picked up two additional side quests just by talking to the archivist. And he didn't want to take too much time. Plus we have a server reboot coming in. <laughs> oh no. no. Yes, that cuts through them. Marvelous. Thank you for the follow, I'll underscore bearer. Let's get you out back the way you came in. Oh yes, marvelous. So we have to come in that way and around and up again. Okay. Got it. No, I uh, we went with the role play, Raddy. Hey Raddy, how you doing? Hello Shiva. Come back real. Is there still something big and angry around here somewhere? Unfortunately, probably not just one something. Hmm. 
<laughs> I hear you, Reddy. I hear you. <laughs> yeah, interestingly enough, the trading uh, lady, uh, Greenbow, she she's doing some kind of survey around people's thoughts on dragons. Ah, uh, so not to give the game away too much, but uh, well, she she was very pleased when I said I liked dragons. Yes. I think I'm going to go and seek some shelter over by those uh, those ball sack people and see if I can't trade in some of these uh, little fangy fangs for some stuff and things. They're selling something strange called a lure and I met a man in Sepuwu uh, called Zil who told me about some kind of special lure to remove corruption from one of the great beasts. Most curious. I'm not sure if he just had too much to drink. Zill, you say? Yes, yes, some chap from far away who's been uh, wandering the sands and the lands. Zim like quite the philosopher, though. Interesting chap to have a conversation with. Mm. I might need to seek him out. Yes, he was. Uh, when I saw him, I bumped into him at Sepuwu at the uh, at the old uh, old uh, what's his name, old Arnold's place there. The the, the chap that runs the uh, the tavern there with the shirtless fellow. I thank you for that knowledge. Yes, yes, you're most welcome. Right. Ah. Uh, I'm going to run towards that light. I wonder if I should go over there and tickle that thing on the foot. Admittedly, I'm tempted myself. <laughs> I mean, my kind of tickling it on the foot would be to literally tickle it and run away. I think yours would be to try and fight it, but... Uh, yes. Well, shall we at least uh, experiment together? Yes, for science! Come on, tickle, tickle, tickle. Um, it's not getting any smaller as we get nearer to it. Oh, it's not. Holy moly, I don't think I've ever seen such a creature. What the heck is this? Um. I say we may a quick run away. Yes, uh, run away, Beryl. Oh my goodness, it's breathing fire, Beryl. Get out of there. <laughs> There's a rather large scorpion up there. Let's just leg it. I have never seen such a creature. We don't like you, just cover it up. We don't make mistakes. Just happy little accidents. He looks rather ball saggy, like he might be one of those hunting uh, god devotees. Holy cow, he won't give up. Oh, thank goodness he, he's going home. Oh, gosh. Oh, combat roll. Oh, that was, that was, that was, well, I don't know what that was, but it was certainly frightening. Yes, I think you overestimated how much my tickling would do. <laughs> yes, I don't know. It was spitting at Beryl. I'm sorry, Beryl. I didn't mean for you to get spat on like that, my dear. Oh, that was, that was, uh, that was, that was rough. Right, I'm going to head to the light. Thank you so much. 
for your uh, strength and honor in guiding us safely both to within the archives and back without. Uh, may I ask one final question? Yes. You're very much corruption in you right now. Uh, I'm feeling a little bit like a like a like a light man flu. Oh, well, thank you very much. I understand if one would object to such a thing, but should you consume that flesh, it should undo the... Um, um, well. um, um, yeah. Oh, sorry, I, I, I was too busy chewing. I, what, what was that? That was delicious. Well, good to meet another practical individual. Oh, yes, 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 yes. It's not quite as good as my favorite, the horse lasagna, but it's, uh, it's pretty good, tasty. I like it. Hmm. Yes, all right, I'll try and get some more of that for you, but don't tell Hubert. Uh, he'll, I'm sure that probably costs us a fortune. Thank you. That was, that was, that was delightful. Let's just keep that uh, on the old, what is it the, the, the young folks say these days, on the old, uh, keep it on the old uh, down low. Don't want anybody thinking I'm going around eating hearts. Well, our little secret then. Yes, exactly, exactly. Would certainly put a spin on things when we get uh, Shiloh's entertainment company to come and dance for us and uh, we're trying to win over all the hearts of the dancers. Ha! Huh. Mm. Delicious. Well, be safe, hold on. Oh, thank you very much. And, uh, yes, thank you again. I uh, truly appreciate it. Now I know exactly how I'm going to get myself killed by sneaking in and out of that archive too often that's good for me. All right, Toodlepip. Come on, Beryl. No, you can't stay with Dog's Bane. Come on. Bye. May the light guide you to the farce. I'm one with the farce. The farce is with me. Come on, Beryl. Yeah, that was very fortuitous. I am one with the farce. The farce is with me. Yeah, that, that, that is one hell of a fight. That's one of those, like, you know, hour-long, let's hope we didn't hit the server reboot kind of fights. Because, funnily enough, uh, who's gaming now and I we had that situation with Ulon and Skell as we fought in the all the way through the dungeon of the Midnight Grove and we got all the way to the end boss the giant bull thing and we had it nearly beaten and then the server reboot <laughs> came in and we got dumped back outside to start all over again it was like oh that would have been like one of my I've done a couple of dungeons and on Sipter, but that would have been like one of the... That would have been a new one for me, for sure. Is that a flying snake? Is it me, or is that snake flying up there? Oh, dear. But that thing... Yeah, that wasn't taking any... Uh, I mean, for me, it wouldn't take much, but it... Oh, jeez. At least I have a weapon I can use for my shield now. Oh, wow, this thing hits. This thing hits hard. Nice. Thank you for the goodies as well. I appreciate that. Yeah, probably. I Yeah, exactly. We had the right setup for sure. Is this... Am I going to the right one? No, I'm going to the wrong one. That's the angry place. I need to go to the friendly place up there. It dropped from the undead? Oh, nice. Yeah, because it's orange, right? Or whatever, so it's a legendary. That's awesome. Hey, Necromancer. Welcome. Yes. Yes. All right, we're going to wait out the uh, server restart up here. I'll take my coffee break.
I also wanted to check the shop here as well, so that's good. Yeah, the lodge is awesome. Oh, I need to... Another pilgrim enters the Savage Garden. Uh... Which was the one? This scripture of Jebel Sag already resides in the meat of your mind. You may awaken this knowledge by partaking of our sacrament. Eat the flesh of remembrance. The knowledge of our religion will blossom in your skull and rib cage. The flesh remembers. The blood illuminates. Before the before, Jebel Saab reigned over all. Before the, Earth, the before. Over all beasts, including. They just pushed the update? Oh, really? All hey, Dubbers, how you doing, bud? Good spoke to see you. The same language. Even now, separated by 10,000 tongues, even now, when the corruption of civilization the peaks, corruption. the god of all beasts walks among us, sometimes as a man, sometimes as an animal, and you will know him by eyes that burn like yellow coals in the dark. The smartest of animals, who remember the beginning of all things, still worship him. As do the men and women, who still feel the pride. Oh, you want to come play on Nordheim? The yeah. The quickened heart, the blood. It's so good. There's so many quests heart. and quest givers. And They've dotted them around all you. over the place. They. And it's done in such a really good roleplay immersive. Roleplay friendly. It's. Uh, I highly recommend it. Even if you're just, you know, soloing or small clanning and just doing some of the quests and things. And then obviously you've got all the roleplay opportunities on top of it. It's like, this is the most immersive experience in terms of the combination of the server and the, and the admin team's kind of attitude towards storytelling. The content that they're creating and keep refreshing and adding to and uh, over time. And then... Funcom with this chapter four seemed to have kind of for me they kind of nailed it the other chapters didn't really entice me at all for the for age of war and this one they just kind of it's just super fun there's just lots of stuff going on and things to see and do and i think that that whole thing like this this is the most as i said the most immersive like the most l alive uh experience i've had with uh like the world being alive the flesh remembers. The blood illuminates. Dehunt is Jalbel Sag's most sacred sacrament. We hunt for his glory. Perhaps oh, you have already faced the ferocity of Jabal Sag's chosen. Those most devoted to his hunt lop in the darkness after the horizon has devoured the sun. Far from the blasphemy of civilization's <laughs> walls. Slay these chosen for the trophies that will buy you his favor. Search the lands for his champions three. The mammoth guarding a frozen temple. The rhino in the shadow of a sea vessel locked in the sands. And the panther on the shores to the east. Each champion of vicious. So the mammoth is a temple. Okay. Okay. Seek a mark of Jabel Sag. Set a lure and draw a champion to you to properly consecrate. So I kinda wanna try this this well, I kinda wanna try all of them. Of the I guess if I do the normal route it's not yourself, gonna block me from doing the corrupted. The sigils right. of the beast lord. I mean, I'm not. I don't know if I'm going to be able to beat these things From anyway. From the flesh so. of these champions, carve and take the brand that marks them as Jabal Sags. 
Combine their holy flesh with the lore upon this altar. It'll be fun trying. Drink them. the nectar we have prepared and ready your soul for an audience with the King of Beasts' greatest champion. Okay. Well, thank you very much for the reminder. Lovely weather for a hunt, eh? Hmm. Yeah, sure, if you don't mind sand. I hate sand. It gets everywhere. Yeah, and I can really feel that necromancer. It can, it, it's really coming through in everything that's going on on the server. Like I said, this is the most immersive I've ever felt. What the heck was that? Oh, that's a big dog. Welcome, Hunter. So... So I need... you got to get three of those. I've got that already, the war paint, right? And I think I applied it to myself already. Faux taxidermy. Oh, is this the knowledge I just got from down in the archivist? It might be. Uh, and then I don't know what these do. Oh, these. Oh, okay. Sorry, I do know what these do. These are the placeables. So the throne is 300. Right. So we've got to keep storing those up. We've got 36 here, and I think we've still got 60 at home or something. Spike trap. The basin, someone said, was very cool. The statue's probably cool. Always like good braziers. The mushroom things I've seen in creative mode and they're just tiny. They're they're ridiculous. They could be fun in a in a bunch of them, but they're, they're so tiny that it's crazy. Check the nearby chest, okay. Oh really? That's cool. And then you've got where hyena hunter, yeah. So the first thing I want to get is the throne. Oh, and it only just occurred to me. Holy cow. What? So is that when people don't need them anymore? You, everyone's just contributing and dumping stuff in there? How? How? What? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine thousand in there. Somebody, somehow, there's nine over, over. It's over nine thousand. <laughs> I, I can tell you, it wasn't me. I can tell. I have thirty-six, so I can tell you, it wasn't me. I always feel. Like, I don't know, can I, can I take some out of that? Holy ship. I guess we're going to get a throne. Welcome, Hunter. I wish Happy I knew, hunting. like, who and how to say thank you. Yeah, so when we've got what we want from it, we can... Why are these things so... Oh, so these are weapons? I need to look up what these are. Bestial regalia? Wow, that's a thousand. Yeah. I really want to get the throne. I think that would look really cool. I'm going to, I'm going to, when during the break or whatever, I'll look them up quickly when I go for my break. Uh, so that I don't, because I don't want to take too much. Uh, but yeah. Maybe the statue would be cool. Holy cow. Oh, these are, I guess these are war paints that go on your animals, right? Neat. Okay, yeah, I'll look those up. Wow. Someone's been, uh... <laughs> Someone's been really generous. Nothing else.
Yeah, there's a lot of toothless hy where hyena walking around the map somewhere. Where are you? Where are my you? All right, gang. I'm gonna go take my uh, four-hour drinks break and make a little, little bit of food. And uh, when I come back, we'll continue. So uh, yeah, give us a few minutes. Well, the restart's in five. Let me have a look, actually, see if I can uh, spot. We'll play you some Diggy Diggy Hole as well. Age of Four Battle. No, not the Battle Pass. Sacred Hunt Rewards, there you go. It's our those good bodies at uh, Pixel Cave. Reward Showcase, yeah, oh, that's YouTube videos. I need to look those up separately then. Cool, all right, I'll have a look at that quickly while I'm making some food. And we'll see, I wanna, be, I wanna pick carefully the things that I think will look, uh, will be the most fun to start with. I'm pretty sure the throne is what I would, uh, and then we'll have to contribute back. I don't want to just take, that's awesome, man. That some folks have already put, or somebody's already put 9,000 in there. It's crazy, crazy kind. All right, I would leave you with a lovely scene here, but because the server's gonna reboot, that ain't gonna happen. Um, what was this, cripple, 33 damage, 7% armor. Heated. Heated. Oh, interesting. 43 and zero armor, though. Oh, it's sunburn. Yeah, of course. That makes sense. And then this one is shield smash legendary corrupted. Zero armor pen, but 64 health damage. Holy cow. All right, cool. I think she can probably stay with this then. Because she's got armor pen and a crippling effect, which is good for me to run away. Oh, the enemy's crippled. <laughs> and we got some really nice drop stuff as well uh, or some interesting stuff at least black lotus powder gold dust silver dust some oil some demon blood bit of ichor uh, six volatile glands uh 32 witch fire. Oh, cool. Maybe we can make some of those witch fire lamps, although they're flickering flames, aren't they? We got some compost, strangely enough, from one of the drops. We got a weathered skull. We've got a kitty cat. Yeah, we got some nice stuff there. For me, at least. Uh. I don't know if I should go through that or if I should just use this. What is this weapon? Strength weapon. Maybe I should bump my strength a little bit for these big fights. I don't know if I can take my like barrel and that with me. I'm sure they probably die quite quickly. Okay, I'll go this path. All right, let's go. Boom. All right, have a little bit of diggy diggy hole, folks. Thank you for being here. Just wait longer. Get the beast tool cloak. Nice. All right, I'll be right back, folks. Thank you for hanging out with us today. More soon.
Alrighty, I am back. Let's see where we're at update wise. All done, nice. Boop. Right, let's go launch Conan. Ba -ba 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 and uh, I had a quick look at some of the things, not enough time to go through everything, but I think we'll go the throne. The statue looks very cool to me as well. And I agree, we should get Hubert the bestial cape. <laughs> Because since he is our beast of burden in terms of doing a lot of the heavy lifting. <laughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Thanks for hanging on in there, folks. Good vibes be with you all. More Conan very soon. Wow. I'm going to have some rice, some serrano ham, and some gouda. Oh, man. Uh, is the server ready to go? Let's have a look. Thank you, address. Very kind of you. The above hotfix is live. Nice. So we might actually have our uh, all of our inventory functionality and stuff back. Mod update reconnect thing. Dang nabbit. Oh, I thought. <laughs> and my sunburn axe will burn my tongue. Your attention, please. Adverts. Now the adverts. What? Oh, that's the fifth hour, right? How? Five hours. Awesome. Thank you, chump. Hope it all went smoothly. Seems like it. Let's hope the hot fix only brings fixes. No unpleasant surprises. <laughs> and have a cheeky rebus tea to go with it. If next season we meet around the city for a third time, we're moving into the city together. <laughs> Sounds like a good move. <laughs> sure thing. Joining game.
Uh, Beryl? How long has Beryl been standing here doing the chicken dance? Beryl? Beryl. You're incorrigible. Oh look, these guards are animated. Maybe him one's keeping a lookout. And this one's digging through the dirt here looking for some food. That's cool. Alright, so oh thirsty. So with a huge, huge big thank you and nod of appreciation, we're gonna borrow a little bit. Oh. Can we do proper shift? Oh, look at that, gang. Oh, okay. Lovely weather for a hunt, eh? Oh yes, I agree with you. All right, I'm gonna get the throne. Right, we owe. I'm gonna keep a note of this. We took three hundred fangs. Three hundred fangs, and I'm gonna do my best to pay that back and then some. Okay. So. There we go. All right, we have the throne. We have a uh, faux taxidermist. And we have the glazier. Or the glasser. I don't know where that where those show up not in there not in there faux taxidermist we can do the gorilla the hyena the imp the jaguar the shoe bill the shellback Komodo Kudo, Lion, Sand Reaper, Ostrich, Panther, Rock Nose, Saber Tooth, Scorpion, uh, Big Spider, oh that could be scary, Salamander, Tiger, Wolf, oh we can do the Wolf, oh my goodness we can have Trinket back, oh I've got to make, we've got to make one of those for uh, Uh, for per for uh, Hubert. Imagine how happy he's gonna be if we get Trinket back. Oh my goodness, that is that's fantastic. No, I don't know. Oh, the glasser, improved bar brawling weapon. Oh my goodness, that's those glass bottles. We can make that now. That's hilarious. That's a perfect Hubert weapon as well for his alcohol. And brewing enthusiasm. Oh, that's hilarious. Okay. Right, come on, Battle. Let's go. All right, goodbye, people. I'll be back soon, TM. I've got used to this type sorting now. Fantastic. All right, let's go. So I need to go this way a bit somehow.
So massive, massive thank you to whoever's been putting those. Uh, his brewing enthusiasm. Yes, exactly. The hotfix just landed. Yeah, the hotfix just landed for server and client. Enthusiasm on the taste testing end of the program for sure. <laughs> That's a pretty, pretty, pretty groovy weapon. What the? Ah. Oh, look, gang. She can see and engage with the hyenas now. Let's go. Sorted. Fixed. I tell you what. It's a shame it went out broken, but it's great that they got it fixed that quickly. Oh, that's where I was getting all those skinning knives from. That's cool. Oh yeah, that bit's fixed at least. Nice. We got loads of cool things from those boxes we were stealing from the other day when we accidentally dropped in from above. But, back on target. We're going after the silk. Oh, one and done. Pretty nifty, this new axe. <laughs> Uh-oh. There's that big rhino. We could try and fight that big rhino. I don't know if I'm strong enough. And I don't want it to aggro on that person's house. Oh, sorry, Beryl. My bad. Slipped again. Request for rhino hide? Oh no, ri rhino heads, right? There was there was the the black rhino heads. Yeah, I'm, I don't know if that counts. Probably would. You just want to see me fight that thing and and lose to it, right? Let's go. Come on, come at me. Oh, combat row. Oh, this is a three star. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. No, 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 no. Come on, Beryl. We're not fighting that. That's a, that's a three scholar. I'm my... I don't think we're beating that up anytime soon TM Errol, come on here she comes why is the Ram always gone 
No, I would I would fight that if it was a one, but <laughs> three. That would be a long fight. With the weaponry I've got. Zero armor pen. What is that up there? There's a watery thing over there, so I want to go and visit all the places. So much of this map I've still never seen. Ugh. Oops, sorry. Kind of need to follow the river, I think. What's that glowing up there? Sorry, Pedro. So we're gonna miss. Oh, that's not how you get the acre. What is that? Or who? Spider Rulon, Spider Rulon. Hello? Hello? Well, well, well. Do you mind if I do? Cool, somebody's living in here. Hello? Is this normally all here, these stairs? It looks like uh, built-in stuff. Oh, spiders. What? She will call me cunning. What's going on? Oh, jeez. What was that? Did you hear that noise? What on earth was that? <gasps> what is this? Hello? I can't work out if you're some sort of skeletal king or queen. Or beast. Perhaps a beast. What a cool statue, man. Never seen that before. That's awesome. What a cool statue. Highway, Southern Aqueduct. Such a cool map to just go and explore and find stuff. Right. Looking amazing. Look at that. Beautiful. Praise be to the light. I can feel the warmth, the glow of the... Bring it in of the light 
warms my cockles. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Mm. That looks like a thing over there. That's really cool that somebody lives up there. Neat. That's really neat. It's really quite tucked away. Ah, okay, we were here the other day. That's the highway, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to these black towers over there. Got a feeling there'll be a few spiders around here somewhere, won't there? Hiding in bushes. The only thing with Conan and all the lore around is it makes me then think that there's like lore everywhere and that every single like stone or block that I run up to should should give me or could give me some lore so it's get a double whammy you get great exploration opportunities but it's like 10 times as long for me to traverse the map because I'm like what if I missed a thing over there <laughs> not that I'm trying to 100% I'm just really interested in the lore of the place ah oh, spiders How about there? Oh, wrong bloody weapon. I got echo. So this thing is is nothing. got there. That's got to be something. I think there's, if we, I think I've been along either that one or something similar and there's some sort of undead fella that you can get beaten up by. use a smelter let's see if we can beat up let's, let's see if we can find ourselves a smelter here hey winter good morning holy okay Oh, this is that hunter's camp then. I thought this was going to be... Uh, I thought this was uh, a normal camp. <laughs> the one we went to yesterday. So there's more quest givers there. And now we're coming up to where the hand is, right? Because through there, I think, leads to the... To the hand. There's a camp over here. I always get beaten up by this car. I have been beaten up in the past. Running past here. Let's see what you got to offer. You look like a cook. Nope, you're a fighter. Any moment now, Beryl. Beryl. Begins. Have you nothing 
better pop. Ow. Oh, better do. No, better do. Whimper in terror, fool. This isn't going the way I wanted it to go. Okay, one down. No, 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 like this. Battle no. Battle. Battle. Battle no. So close. So, ah, uh, battle no. Not like this battle. Your battle now. No. Okay. We've upgraded Beryl. Purple will never know. What a mess. Told you I get beaten up at this camp. At least I got some food. Oh, somebody running across there getting attacked by all those birds. Um, okay, I think. Oh, I still need the silk. I'm going to take a detour. Home. So we can get Beryl trained up. And nobody needs to be any the wiser. We'll call her, uh, Beryl 2. New patchworking is intended? I mean, maybe. It seems to be working in terms of the, the hunt and the hyenas at night. Uh, it's working because the, they will now attack and be hit, seen and hit by, uh, thralls. So that bit's working. And the split stack uh, stuff is working as well. So yeah, I think we're in. Uh, I think we're in business. Okay, we're gonna take a quick detour home. For no, in too not nothing too important. Nothing to worry about. Nothing to see here. There's a giant crocodile thing that lives up up there. I remember that. Uh, where can I cross over? I think we need to go back to the breach up there again, don't we? All right, let's get some more. Also, my leather straps aren't going to last that long, are they? I did remember to get her items, right? I got her sword, yeah, and her clothes. Little sticks. The Re-Beryl Alliance. Nice. Yes. Sprint toggle doesn't work? Okay. I, don't, I didn't have mine on toggle. That sucks, eh? Yeah, there's a giant croc in there. <sighs> Beryl sticks, man. Beryl been... How could... She survived the archive, the skeletons, and that one blooming camp. It's always that camp. I swear. I don't know why I have so much trouble with that camp. Oh. Working as intended. There's the big spider cavern over there. Okay, we may yet get uh, our silky silk. Let's go this way. I need... Uh, we're going to go back down here. Let's 
through the hyena gauntlet. Not today, hyenas, not today. Here today, hyena today, meow tomorrow. Oh! Fine, it's just a crocodile. Yeah, you go and eat the hyena. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, okay, let me see. Okay, we got we got tons of that. That's fine. <laughs> Get out. Look at that creepy, creepy cave. I think that's the one with the giant spider. Oh, ah! oh it broke. Wait. Beryl 2, no! Beryl 2! Okay, I got to <laughs> drown. Is it this, or is this the demon one? I can't remember. Maybe I'm getting mixed up. Let me eat the rest of my food. It's gone cold now. Okay, I did preface it with pride comes before the fall. Oops, sneak. Oh, creepy that it comes out of the bush like that. I see you. I don't really want to go in a cave, though. What I was hoping was that area where it's just covered in uh, covered in gossamer well I can't for the life of me remember where it is it might be up there somewhere I think there's a bunch of gossamer to be had in here though oh hello don't mind me excuse me excuse I pardon I don't like big animated pixel spiders I'll try and get done with this in a few minutes but you might have to uh, look away or... Wrong, wrong, wrong tool. I love that I'm just casually going through a dungeon or a, with my trusty new barrel. Just tagging along for the ride. Is that already where the big spider is? It might be. There's not as much gossamer here as I was hoping. Oh, sugar. Oh, hello. Where did you come from as well? No, ow. Uh, no, I'm stuck. Uh, you're creepy. <laughs> Have at thee. Have at thee, hydraulic legs. I know there is a lot of gossamer at the end of this cave and I'm not all that interested in gathering 
from that particular area right now. Just going to say that up front. Oh, there's a load here. That's fantastic. Spiders are lovely, especially the hairy ones. Hey, Omnizeek. You don't surprise me, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not going down there. We just. We're just gonna gather here at the entrance, and that'll do. I didn't remember the ledge drop until you said, and then I looked forward there, and I could see it. Yeah. Oh, you're, a bit, you're a little bit stronger. No, this is this is something we'll do as uh, we need Hubert for this. Nearly got 500. How many is it? One to one or two to one? I don't know. Oh sugar, my bindings broke again. Uh, oh, it's two to one. Damn it. That's okay there. Right, come on, Beryl, let's get you home. We're halfway done with that quest for Gossamer. <clears throat> I mean, Silk. It's you're stuck in here with me. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. The big old spider mother. Cool location, though. We made it out alive. Come on, Beryl 2. Just waiting for the moment where she like wakes up and is like, oh, there. Let us fight. Wait, what? Her knowledge. Yes. By Crom, Neil, pray sitting, pray standing and grovel. Nice. I scribble these words with the dread fear that they may be lie last. Nightmare creatures have come boiling forth from the cave nearby, screaming and attacking my companion and myself. Baraga beat the first way back, but at the cost of our precious food supplies being stolen by the creatures. Braga and I have become so close on this journey that even a slight shift of weight conveys an entire conversation when he looked to me. I knew he wanted me to stay and guard the camp Thank you while he descended the into the cave. Gather, and retrieved our supplies. So here I crouch, nervously awaiting his return. Addendum. Turns out he actually wanted me to follow him into the cave and help him, and now I have a headache from the clout he gave me. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that one. That's really good. I love that. Thank you for the follow. Uh, Galethril. Or Galethril. Welcome, welcome. One and all. Spiders, spiders everywhere. I just need to get across the border. How about that? Imagine if we get home, right? Imagine. We make it all the way back home, just as like Hubert wakes up. Oh, I can't. Oh. Okay. That'd be pretty funny. Nordheim RP a whitelist server? Yes, but it. Well, it, yes, it is. So you apply. And then if you get accepted, you whitelist yourself uh, with a uh, whitelist bot process that they have. 
but yes you will need to apply and get approved uh they it's an immersive roleplay server using voice so uh that's mandatory and uh the application process is not really all that painful um but they do include a quality of your voice like your mic check thing and i don't know if it's the same as with arc they're using a third party website for a short recording and you send them a link um if but if it is make sure that you listen back to your test recording and make sure that it's picked up the correct microphone because when i first did it ah! um God, i was eating my food man i'm talking how dare you oh um you uh it, it picked up my webcam mic when i first did it surprise kudo best kudo don't write your app using ai oh no have people been trying that that's quite funny so there was that hole there's a hole there yeah so we should be we should be good why battle music no cat gpt <laughs> spelling as intended Okay, we're going to actually need some more or just repair these. Oh, wait, what? Twine? There we go. Where do we find cat GPT? <laughs> I want to see, not in this chat, but I'd love to see a cat GPT like on the Discord. Like, what? See what? Say like, write my roleplay application. I'm playing a warrior in Conan that's got uh, one eye. I don't know. Uh, you know, just make a little story up. I'd love to see what Cat GPT comes up with. Not Chat GPT, Cat GPT. <laughs> it just simulates a cat sitting on a. Yeah, perfect. What? A really tiny little snake? Leave me alone. You wanna go, bro? You wanna go, snakey snake? Meow, 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 Oh, baby rhino. Bigger rhino. This is not the way. Okay. There was that quest for five rhino heads. We could take out some rhinos. Oh, this is where we fell down. Oh, we can't get back up there. So I've got to go to that gap. I'm not going through their camp though, that'd be silly. Why? Why? No. I swear, if she wakes up now and gets one shot by a rhino or something, I'll be so annoyed. Sentient AI will evolve from cat GPT and all the feline digital overlords, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I could yoink that baby rhino, but.
Hello there, don't mind me, just passing through. Oh jeez, that's a big snake. Nope. Ooh! I'm fine. Okay, here we go. Straight up there, through the, the trade passage. We know the way now. This is the way. I Maybe we should put the animal thing up and get a horse. We do have half of the... Uh, half of the required silk already, though. That's pretty awesome. Considering the me meandering... You know, path and everything I'm taking. And the whole... Feral incident. That didn't happen. We're doing all right. Hey, purpley. Uh, you, nothing to see here. Don't worry about it. The barrel just got tired on the way home. So I'm just giving, I'm just, she wanted to, she, she thought, she thought the event was being a bit of a drag. So I said, I'll tell you what's a drag. This is a drag. I don't know why the dramatic music the whole time, but anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right? Don't mind me. It would be horrific. Yeah, nothing happened. Um, nothing happened whatsoever. Beryl might just... She, hey, she's, she's gone in for some... Uh, she's gone in for some reconstructive surgery. And she's come back. She's like Robo Beryl. She's stronger than ever now. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness, we're in the safety and sanctity of the highlands again. There's a bear. Oh, sugar! What the heck is that? No! No, sail! Moose. Exhausting. <laughs> yeah, the, the safety and sanctity of the highlands. Run away. Not exactly. I think I'm generally heading in the right direction. Kind of, sort of. Oh, sugar! Wolves! Come on, battle two. The thing is, I've now gone from a fighter one to a fighter two. It's not exactly the upgrade. I mean, it's a straight upgrade. Linear upgrade path. Combat rail. There must be a better path through there that I can take. It's probably... I think it's easier to go back that way than it is to come up here again. Yeah, here we are. Oh, there's the bloody wolf pack down there. <sighs> right. He auto run and I can eat my food now. It's safe. Yeah, but Beryl did so well. And it's that one stupid little camp there. 
have been suckered into that camp so many times. And it's it's also it's those cooks, right? Because the was it a cook? No, one of the fighters was doing had daggers, and they do that, you know, stabby stabby bleed, and then backflip out of danger, it's a thing. And I think the NPCs always struggle with that. I should have just got my axe and murdered them. I was being greedy, trying to knock them both out. Not really stun locked in a corner, but she just, um, it was just a two on one. And I thought, well, with her, you know, she got medium armor and whatnot. Plus, we've got like the weakest level truncheons and all that as well. So I kind of set myself up to fail without meaning to. What? There's a there's a wolf up here. There's never a wolf up here. There's two wolves. There's literally never a wolf up here. Dude, what the hell is that? What the? No! Did they just kill her? They all pay for that. You vile creatures. You will you will pay for that. I just do you know how far I've just run with Beryl 2? Do you do you have any idea what you've just put me through? Yeah. Beryl Beryl 2 Beryl 2 Beryl 2 is is no more. Beryl too. I shall give you the burial you deserve. Oh my god. We got... There are never any wolves here. And suddenly there's a bloody alpha. Whatever. What on earth? Well, no more, no more Beryl 2 then. That's, 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 that gone. The Highlands are the safest. There literally has been nothing, apart from those people that lived up there, there has been nothing on here at all between the towers. Nothing. Not a pig, not a wolf, nothing. Suddenly, white alpha wolf with two... with with beta and Sita. And, and in the end, they eat her. Just, just, I just, you can't make that stuff up. You can't make that up. That massive long journey home only to end in utter disaster right we're literally we live here and it literally just took place like a hundred yards from our house yeah th this is like this is our little temporary like oh, unbelievable unbelievable that's it i rage quit i'm going back to arc arc so much easier So close to home. All right, music. Thank you for the follow, Vinder in Harlan. <laughs>
Pop on coming home. <laughs> hey, Vindorin Harlock, thank you for the follow. Pop, pop. <laughs> oh, jeez. That, all that run. Quick stash, it adds to whatever is similar to the next inventory. Uh, wait, what? Oh, there, quick stack. Oh, wow, that's cool. That's really neat. I don't know what layered fur is. Awesome. So we've got thick levers, we've got furs. Is that, is that that being, yeah, that's that being processed. Okay. Oh my god. I rage quit Ark and came back to Conan after a year and a half. True story. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to trying to get into Ark on the Scorched Earth. And it was just brutal and the, the VoIP issues and the Um just uh, also the amount of gathering just to build like some wood pieces and make like a structure was just driving me nuts because like I'm there primarily to role play and then I, I'm daytime EU so I don't always get to see a lot of people and then I fall as I've said this a few times but just for the you know briefly I fall back to building and stuff and adventuring when I can't role play if there's not people around and look at the difference here where we've done like two days of like full on we've had some rp we've had some uh great adventuring all over the place deaths mishaps it's just been pretty hilarious whereas the other one is just like murder death kill and and just a grind that's just not as i don't feel like i was getting anywhere with arc basically so if there's not much story to be had and then there's not much building to be done or it's just too too painful too slow I just kind of I, I lost my patience with it just lost my patience with it after killing two well, I mean I haven't killed two barrels <laughs> bloody, I'm not upset with Conan I'm just bloody disappointed <laughs> I'm just I'm wholeheartedly disappointed I'm not upset with you Conan I'm just very, very disappointed in you. Wait, why couldn't I... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, something went wrong there. That's that one. What? Why can't I repair that anymore? Oh, I can't repair this. Oh, it's fully, it is fully. Ah, oh, okay, I swapped them around somehow. Genius. Never mind, ignore me. Barrel. Barrel, barrel. 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 Damn it. Still disappointed in you. Holy heck. I like that it jumps you. It doesn't just highlight it, but it actually jumps you to the tool section now. That's cool. We can probably make steel ones of these now. Right? Hard steel. Oh, I've got the fridge thing. I should put the fridge thing down with all the food. Where's uh, star metal, iron, hardened steel, steel, oh, three shaped wood and okay, cool. Yeah, we can upgrade our tools. I, we're not yet ready for hardened steel, but we can definitely have steel. That's good. All right, at least you're still here, eh? Old odd job. The useless carpenter. 
Okay, purpley. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Six hours of scorched earth completely destroyed me. I've uninstalled. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, it's it's one of the few times I'm I'm usually very like patient, tolerant of of a lot of you know even some jank, but it's scorched earth. I I literally had a day where I tried to get some stuff done, and it's probably one of the few times where I've logged on and off of a game like three times in one day. Mainly because I just got too annoyed. <laughs> I just frustrated and... Uh... <laughs> Cat GPT is actually a thing. I think we've lost stats blog. He's gone now. Good news, Grumpy's going to try and go live with us tomorrow. Uh, it doesn't know how long he can hang in there for because he's still been having a really horrendous week with the old uh, fight against the cancer. So we send some more good vibes, as always. Just a constant wave of good vibes to Grumpy and the Grumpy fam. And hopefully we can play some ships tomorrow uh, together and then, you know, we'll just take what we can get. I said to him, let's just have as much fun as we can while it lasts. Hashtag she said. If you want to have a sneak peek into our DMs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Of course. Um, <clears throat> Mods will... I, I had a break around the five hour or whatever so we'll just skip and we'll go to seven and then we'll see if we do eight or we'll see where we're at okay but i i no, i'm not not long had a break i feel i feel pretty uh refreshed and still got my tea here Right, <clears throat> let's get some uh, stuff done. So we, we got a whole bunch of silk for trade. I'm going to put that in here for now. So we've got half the amount that we've promised that we've committed to. And, oh yeah, we can build a, uh, an ice box. We can move that later to the other place. I guess we can try and sneak that in here somewhere. Next to the cooking. It's a little bit away, but it'll do. Hey, are those meals good? No, the meals have gone. Of course they're gone. Bummer. Okay, at least we've got a place now for uh, food. Oh, I don't have any ice. Sugar. 
So we'd need to go to the... Uh, we need to go on another adventure to the snow. Theoretically, we're not that far from the snow? Question mark. I don't know where we can actually get snow uh, ice from, though. How high up we have to go. I know there's some up there, but that's so far away. Maybe there's some along here. I don't know. We're going to need a grinder and some chili food. Thanks, Raddy. Yep. You can break the ice on the lake. Way, 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 way. On this fella? Is that a thing? I'm going to do that immediately. I didn't know that was a thing. I did not know that was a thing. What? I am very excited about that. That's awesome. I had no clue. I've not been... I've been to that area about once and I think we were just running away from everything that was trying to murder us. That's cool. All right. I actually have some hardened steel. I could make a hardened steel tool. Well, 15 is probably not enough, is it? It's probably 30 or something. Look at this. This is great. This is great. All right, I'm going to go get some ice then for the food. I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm actively avoiding the building right now, which is weird. Uh, we've done a lot of adventuring today. Maybe if, actually, if uh, Hubert should be around about this time of day, maybe we should hang fire. It's going to be so embarrassing with Beryl. It's going to be so embarrassing because it's not only the story of... Oh, I made it up there without climbing. It's not only going to be the Ber the story of Beryl 1, but the story of Beryl 2. Do <laughs> you know what? Before that, it looks like there might be a female guard there. Possibly. She's wearing like a two-piece. Uh, I think we should... Maybe we should get the uh, torturer's bench and make a better stick oh then we need the tinkerer's bench as well There's so many side quests man <laughs> i think it would be fun to go with hubert to the ice area because it's really dangerous oh my god time to go dating um yeah if you haven't seen what happened to our last two guards <laughs> It's a high-risk, low-reward profession. Barrel 2 was more of a short story. I am I'm genuinely quite sad about Barrel 1. I'd gone quite attached to Barrel, and I... The fact that I even jinxed it because I said I'm so proud of Barrel 1 still being alive. I mean... That is... That is just me all over, isn't it? With games. It's just... I've done really well. That None of them have died. It's going. It's all going really well. It's... Next thing you know. Kablamo. The next thing you know, Kablamo. Well and met, adventurer. It's all... And welcome it's all over. Underground lair. It's all over, but Thank you for the Why 50 long months of subscribing, Lanover. Why do sailors make seas. excellent musicians? Because they know how to handle the high sea. <laughs> <laughs> Lanavar, thank you for the tier one and the 50 months. Let's go. And thank you, Angry Pirate wow. Man. Do you know wow. I think? Wow. Mods, I think the wow. time has come that we're going to turn off the other uh the wow. old alerts system for the 
subs and follows and things. Uh, oof, what is my... Hang on. Hopefully I've logged in like this. So that we don't have the doubles. Great joke though, I loved it. One second chat, I'm just going to sort this out. You were bringing me a golem butt. <laughs> where is this going to go? Where is this Where is this part of the chat going? A lady fighter three attack me? I mean, sure. <clears throat> is her name Beryl? Uh, one second. Follows. No, it's the, it's the subscriptions that are the... I'm going to turn off the subscription ones. Or I can turn the noise off. You can do it step by step. No, I can't. I have to do this. Okay, I'm going to start with the subscription ones. Should probably start with the follow ones, but anyway. Sorry, chat. I just it's been something I've been thinking about doing the last few days, and but I need my bigger boat. I've, I've got to. Okay, I don't think the follow one is a problem because it's a bit of music with a bit of talking over it, which is fine. But I'm gonna. I've turned the subscription one off because that's. I think that uh, your man there is doing a great job. So what had happened was, yeah, let's do it live. What is this? Grave column? What is this? A half height grave column with a bowl. What? What is that? Where on earth did I get that from? Oh, this is so funny though. That's, that's going to be better. Oh no. That's that that is barrel. That's That that's barrel there. <laughs> Building on top of the pillar yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, I heard. Did something happen, Ulon? Oh, uh, hello there. Yes, you startled me. Um, well, you remember Beryl? Quite well. And do you remember how she was very competent and survived many a tussle with skeletons and things like that? And a standing dragon that walked on its hind legs, even. Yes, exactly. Uh, well, here's Beryl now. We, we, we ran into some angry locals traversing the, the desert and, uh, yes, they, she took, she, everything was going fine. Then she took an arrow to the knee. Yes. So I, um, yes, no, I, I, and I, one of the, two uh, three ruffians i think it was that we were engaged with i uh, i knocked them out sure enough and one of them looked to be a very suitable capable fighter a good good replacement for beryl uh, so i was going to bring her back and uh, you know we don't want to hubert was quite attached to beryl as well they didn't want to upset the poor chap so i thought well let's bring beryl too into the program and so we made our, our way across the desert hither and thither we went through found some spiders in a big cave and I got a whole silk order. I got a, anyway. Long story short, came all the way back, got just to the other side of that little hill there, and where there's been no wolves, no boars, nothing, no trouble, apart from a couple of unruly Asgardians. Um, suddenly there was a white alpha wolf with a couple of its cubs uh, that were well fairly, fairly grown, and yes, one thing led to another, and Beryl, Beryl now lives in that bowl. 
She's now Beryl. Instead of Beryl. Beryl. Yes. Well, can't make up for a lost life, but you did mention an interest in a golem. Oh, yes? Hell, what, what would something like that set me back there? These were spare parts. Oh. Try and give it an order if you can. Uh, hello there. I will call you uh, Beryl the Third. Um. Yes. Come with me and pay your respects and regards to your namesake. This is Beryl the First. Beryl, first of her name, first of her peril. Oh, you know, I think, I think, uh, I think Beryl likes, likes being here. Just keep him away from Sumerians. Oh, not a big fan? Star Metal undoes the magic of a golem. Oh, I see, I see. So the way there are... Oh, I got you. Oh, well, very good. Well, thank you very much. That's that's going to be handy. I'm sure that uh, Hubert probably won't... I'm going to get him, give him some of this pirate rum that I got hold of earlier before I break the news to him. Maybe he won't even notice the difference. I shall, I I'm shall... I'm not quite sure how to comment on that, but I hope he can tell the difference between a living person and a stone. He'd hope so, yes. Well, possibly. I don't know. He's forgetful, you see. Made of purest beryllium. Well, I don't know how to thank you. I, I can't thank you enough. I would give you some gold coin, but I gave you all my gold coin earlier. Unless you're interested in silver coin. <laughs> it's quite all right. As I said, spare parts sitting in a box. Beryllium. Well, thank you very much. It's highly appreciated. I was just going to make my way up to the snowy regions once Hubert's here. I'm going to take him on a nice trip so that he can uh, freeze his Jabal sags off whilst we gather some ice. We've got a new ice box in trade with the uh, the lovely uh, Miss Greenbow over near, over near uh, Sepuwu. thing I'd like to mm. tell you about that particular yes if you take a look at his torso the hollowed out portion you can put the leaves or powders of lotus within it they have varying effects oh I see. Oh, well, that's exciting. I have some uh, yellow lotus around here somewhere. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Stand there. Wait just there. Beryllium. <clears throat>
Okay, I've put some yellow uh, blossom in its belly. I think. Perhaps it's only the more colored lotus. I guess yellow is a color, so excuse me. I don't Black, know. purple, gold, red. Oh, I see. The more exotic ones. All right, well, I shall have to uh, go somewhere. Uh, I think there's a place not far from here that has some of those uh, more vibrantly colored ones. Uh, you should have an abundance of frost lotus nearby. Oh, yes. Wonderful. Yeah, well, I'm going to head up to... Uh, I think there's a bit of a frozen lake up there. Once Hubert's around, I'm going to, like I said, take him off on a, on a trip, cheer him up. Or distract him from the... He'll be devastated when he hears a barrel's pedal. Or he's unfortunate to lose a companion. Yes. Hence why I employ golems. That's a good point. You don't maybe get quite as attached to them. That is, I think, the eighth gallop I have crafted. Oh, heavens. Eighth. Oh, my goodness. If you're ever interested in the craft, see yes. Mechamosis' spire. There's a golem master there who can teach you the ways. Oh, really? Oh, that would be delightful. I will uh, definitely seek out that knowledge. Uh, beware the Stygians, it's just west of Almoriah. Right, right, yes. We shall, uh, we shall circumvent that area carefully, I'm sure. I won't forget. I have a cast iron memory. Which is to say... Well, I keep all of my best memories under lock and key. So secure, I, even I can't get into them half the time. Is he able to pick things up for me? Like, you know, rocks and whatnot? I just hand him one so that he knows what he's looking for. Oh. I want to hand him some wolf pelt. He can go and get rid of those bloody wolves for me. Unfortunately, that one's more suited to uh, stones. Got you. Well, that's okay. There's plenty of stones around here for him to smash up. Wonderful. Well, they thank you. Welcome to the team, uh, Beryllium. I'm sure you're going to have a brilliant time here. Yeah. Well then, until next we meet. Yes, thank you very much. It's very much appreciated. I wish I had you more of the tower to show, but as you can see, it's just a little bit of flotsam right now. Oh, is that it? On the ledge there. I mean, it's not it. It's just a bit of it. It's it's. I'm trying to mimic uh, the look, uh, the shape of the mountain. You see, the volcano. But uh, I need to. I, there was just like a first little idea I had, and uh, yeah, I got too many splinters yesterday, so I've, I've I've given myself the day off. Thought it'd be much more fun to go around adventuring, and boy, it was a lot of fun with a little bit of a. A bit of a, you know, it was like a silver lining with with a with a very small cloudy end. It'll turn back up, or so we can hope. Yes, I'm sure it is just part of the trials and tribulations that the bringer in of the light would put me through, but it shall not dim my spirits. And uh, Beryllium here is going to uh, really cheer me up. You're going to go and get me a lot of rocks, aren't you? And I'm going to turn them into lovely bricks and a great big 
lovely tower for you. Just uh, should the others of his kind be any indication, he will be aggressive about mining for you. Oh, very good. Well, thank you very much. It's very, very much appreciated. Well then, I'll be heading up to the lodge for a bit. Oh, yes, delightful place. Have a good time up there and uh, say that to the barkeep that uh, Mr. Rourke, I think his name was, that uh, Ulan sends his regards. Probably have a new uh, badly paying customer for him soon too. I'll leave the latter part out. Yes, yes, yes. Probably, I did tell him earlier, I left him a note to say, if a chap called Hubert uh, comes uh, his way, he should uh, refuse to serve him. And tell him to get back to work. Ulon needs him back at the, uh, the tower. Hubert is a companion of yours. Oh, yes, he's, he's in my top five acolytes, uh, just behind Beryllium here. Interesting, even the new in human recruit. Oh yes, yes, yes. He's 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 rather capable. Uh, he uh the, you know it's it's gonna be one of those sunshine and rainy days. Poor old Hubert. Uh, with 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 the tragic passing of Beryl and Beryl too, Hubert was certainly in line he had a great opportunity to make uh, Acolyte of the Month. Uh, but now that Beryllium's on board, I guess the competition's just heated up again. It's rather unfortunate for him. Suppose I wish this Hubert good luck, but, um, well, just in case, should the, uh, magic's holding that thing together break down mm -hmm. be sure to take a pick to its remains ah okay i will do thank you for the knowledge yeah it's gonna fit in just fine around here less back chat than beryl well i do miss beryl that's just the sadness uh, i'm lashing out because of the sadness take time to mourn. Yes. Alas, poor Beryl. We knew her well. That's for you, Beryl. I'll have Bear Grylls cook us up a special meal. Working on some new recipes, but things aren't quite ready yet. That's why I need to get the, uh, I need to get the cool box working. Hubert goes through so much food every day. No, absolutely. Uh, You're most you welcome. My mind at ease. Oh, well, I appreciate that very much, yes. We do get a bit of trouble from time to time. Not too much, but sometimes the odd wolf pack and uh, the occasional agitated mammoth. Hopefully we'll have some better facilities to offer you a, a stay... Um, you know, indoors from the rain. Right now, I've got my carpenter in there working away on the, on the, on the roofing because it didn't bloody finish the job last time. So uh, yeah, there's a bit of a mess in there. Hopefully, enough time for you to 
finish that tower. Yes, exactly. All I need is about, uh, I don't know, 69 years. I'm sure I have it done. Should your health decline or you become injured, there is a herbalist healer of sorts nearby. Have you met her? Oh, no, I don't believe I have. southeast where the aqueduct is broken there is a larger lake than this one mm -hmm. just on the western shores you'll find them ah of a far eastern build yes i've seen the location uh there was a uh, there was no one around when i went there uh, i went to blow their very shiny uh, jade you know, entrance horn like this, and um, I must have slipped or something because I accidentally picked it up and uh, put it in a cloth bag. Still, I left it there for them. Hopefully, they found it in the meanwhile. Hopefully so. Yes, I'd almost forgotten about that little incident. So much has happened. I must have popped by there at some point and. Uh, for my uh, uh, sincere apologies if, they, if anybody stole it while it was conveniently wrapped up in a bag. Hey, Blender, how well, are you doing? Fret too much. The way of things tends to be that some think they put a uh, useful item out when they're in fact just tempting thieves. Not yes. Calling you a thief. Well, exactly, exactly. I mean. It's, uh, it was just an honest mistake. I see, I see a horn, I'm going to blow it. Like that. Hmm. But she goes by the name Misaki, if you get the chance to speak with her. Ah, okay. Misaki, was it? With an A? With an M. Ah, Musaki. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Musaki of right. the Stolen Horn. Easy to remember. Uh, must right. say, you broke my demeanor with that one. <laughs> yes. Well, I thank you again. I very much appreciate it. I swear I can hear somebody whistling on the wind somewhere. Where must just be my mind playing tricks on me. I think the loss of Beryl is still... I'm still coming to terms with it. Perhaps have a cup of something warm and a nice meal. Yes, yes. I shall make myself a lovely... Uh, Chili stew, I think. I have some fresh lobster, too. Sounds like you keep a better fridge than I, but that said, it's time I'd be about it. Take care, Ulan. Yes, take care, and thank you again. Farewell in your adventures, good friend. <laughs> I don't know how many things I need on the armorer's table. Well that's jolly nice isn't it? Now we've got a replacement for barrel 1 and 2. And if I give you a piece of rock you can go and get some more for me.
Cool. Cool. That's actually the first time I've had one of those. Awesome. Lotus burner. Okay, so I need to get some of those fancy uh, crimson lotus or whatever. Or the frost one over by the lake, yeah. Hopefully Hubert can wake up soon. So, somebody clipped me with the accidental yoink yesterday. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thunk it could have been stats block? Yeah, so these, you can't repair them, right? So as they take damage, holy cow, it's got lots of health, but as they take damage, once, once they're down, they're down, right? And then you harvest them. Doesn't sound like him. What's this? A conspiracy cover-up? Sound sounding like it. Sounding like took cover-up. Right took cover-up. Herein lie the ashes of Beryl 1 and 2. <laughs> the be the Beryl family plot. Yeah. The be be the Beryl yard. The burial. The burial yard. Yes. Yes. Snuck over there already. Yeah, the burial real. Okay, so he's not the quickest, but he gets the gets it done, I guess, over time. You know what? The other thing's so quick, it's almost not worth. Other than we can just keep burning it down here to make bricks, I suppose. I still almost can't believe that we got so screwed over with Beryl too. What was the thing with the cat? We had to feed it fish or something or... 
can't remember how you make the cat grow up or, or, or come out. You left it out for a couple of... I mean, the thing is, it's gathered 171 in, like, a couple of minutes, right? So once you're, uh... Off. Oh, that's right, because it said it likes a fish head in the description, but it actually just takes raw meat, right? Yeah. Hey, Bonty. How you doing, sir, ma'am? Hey, cheers, chump. Good vibes, bud. Good vibes. Um... Just as a reminder or a heads up, I, I won't be around on Conan probably until uh, next week again, uh, Wednesday or so, because uh, I've got a whole bunch of other stuff the next, next three days, and then Monday, Tuesday is my day off, but I might pop on and do some building and resource gathering, some quiet time stuff, but both myself and, and Purpley, who's playing Hubert, are going to be on and off for... Uh, a while. As long as the season goes, I guess, really. And I think popping on every couple of days and doing a little bit of progress and plenty of RP when we get the chance, I think it's going to be a good, healthy, uh, good, healthy balance. So I've got, wait, so I've got this feral flesh. So Okay, help me again. What do I do with the cat? Yeah, exactly. And I've I I do tend to like overdo it. I go straight into it and you know, not burn out as such, but but I get kind of just, you know, trip up over myself and I want to do it much more uh, in a more relaxed fashion. But over a longer period, I think it's going to be good, good fun. It's going to be good training for me. Do you have to put it in? An, is it in an animal pen and then give it the meat in the animal pen? I can, we did it once before, but it was a while back, and I I just can't remember how uh, how we did it. Oh, there is a spot there you can run up there. Nice. Okay, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't tend to do a lot with the animals either. I used to do it for car for a beast of burden, uh, more so than for protection and that. But uh, now that we can, now that I can just take that beast of burden skill myself, I don't, uh, I don't worry with it so much. Oh, I didn't do the dive. I won with the valve. Hubert. Was that you? Hello. Oh, yes, yeah. yes, definitely me. Yes, 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 I, yeah. yeah, such a busy day I've had today, Hugh. But I, I'm glad to see you. It's been it's been a day full of, full of, uh, full of it. All yes. right. So you're going to regale me with all your fascinating travel stories and adventures. Yeah. Would you like to hear like the the good news? Ah. Uh, there's lots, lots of adventure and good news and excitement. Or would yeah. you like to hear uh, the, the not so good news? I'm leaning towards uh, the former since, you know, let's start it off good and then maybe, maybe the bad isn't that bad. Yeah, yeah there you go. So there you go. So, uh, well, I've been, um, I've, 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 Put, I've managed to cobble together a, a big old uh, smelting pot thing. Uh, at least I think that was today. It's been a, it's been a long day. So so we can cook lots of things like the old steel and the bricks and that very quickly now. So you will be pleased to know that you will be able to gather even more things now because I can process the stuff you bring me so quickly. Your head will spin and you think you haven't even gathered anything. Uh -huh. So that's, 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 that's kind of good and bad news at the same time. No, well, okay. no, I'm starting yes, uh, this so sad, no. The other good news, I've, we've got a cat. We've got a oh, cat. We do. Yes, but the, yeah, no, yeah, it's, yeah. I've still, I haven't let the cat out of the bag yet. Uh, oh, okay. So you just, you just, okay, fair. Yes, Wait, what, I, I think I, I, I think. What? Oh, um, it, we have a new acolyte. 
who's performing oh. wonderful duties and definitely going to give you a run for your money for this month's uh, acolyte of, of the month uh, status. I might do that weekly, actually, acolyte of the week. So, um, yes, would you like to meet our newest uh, acolyte? Yeah, yeah, he seems to have the diligence. He's yeah, moving. Th what? Yeah, this, is, this, is, this is beryllium. Ah! This is he's he's I mean, looking yes. for stones uh, right now. I, I've told him he's he's a magical creature, made no, of. No, leave my stones. I'm perfectly good. No. Watch him go. He's gonna he's gonna see one of these rocks in a minute. He's gonna be like, I'm gonna bash that. Come on, don't show me up. Beryllium. He seems to be shy in in, uh, in front of you. Yeah, uh, I think I'm fine. I'll, I'll definitely beat that guy. He seems to be rather clueless. Right, you well, yes. Um, you know, it's funny you say that. I was I was just talking before to Dog Spain. He was he brought us that as as a as a gift. Uh, he oh, he nice helped me. I miss Mr. Douglas. Yeah, okay. you miss you miss Douglas. Yes. Look there he goes. Whoa! Look at that. It's putting you to shame already. Ah. It's already several want, points I, ahead of I, you. Oh, but see, this is unfair. He's got a really big hammer. I have this tiny, wee little... It's like a little pickaxe thing. Look, you just have to make the best of, of what the Lightbringer gave you for a hammer. Okay, okay. Well, uh, I'm not going to argue there, you know. It's just, it's, uh, you are the Holy Chase and you know better. Oh, yes, exactly. I've been to um, uh, the White Lodge. It's not far from here. It's a lovely place. You can you can rest your head. You can get a fine meal, and there's a number of people there looking for uh, for workers or to to uh, hunt down resources and things for them, and they pay good coin. Uh, people like trappers oh. and uh, uh, woodworkers and and things like that, tanners and whatnot. There's a number of of, of uh, quests available, and uh, they all mostly mostly achievable some of them a little bit more convoluted or you know cook a certain recipe make a certain there's one guy there who's an ex-pirate bit of a bit of a likes the sauce you know if you take my meaning and uh, he's always yeah, got a, he's yeah, always yeah. got he's like you he's always got an empty cup waiting for a refill so uh i you might be able to help him out he, he wants some red rum or something and uh, i haven't uh, haven't got that recipe yet but maybe maybe at some point i will get that one um, but yeah, White Lodge definitely worth visiting, and also I've got a oh, come with me. I got a, I got a. This will, this will. No wait, no, no wait, 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 wait. We'll do that. So um, on with the good news, adventuring. I have been far and and wide, or far and west, uh, west. Uh, I have uh, visited the uh, the. You know, we were talking the other day about how it's now called uh, Sepuwu. I have been to Sepu. No. What, what do you mean? It's not called Sepu. Well, you no, said the R and the, the U was missing from the name now, so no. it's Sepu. I, I never said anything like that. You I, just misconstrued it what I said. I'm, I said I'm, I'm, Mr. I'm, Wu I, says over at Sepu Maru. Yeah, there you go. Sepu. So anyway, I went to Sepu, uh, as you suggested, and uh, not only did I find Sepu and a bunch of uh, lovely people in there, uh, but I also uh, ran into, uh, we had two visitors this morning that came by the tower, a.k.a. holiday residence, um, a.k.a. hut that's so full of stuff you have to sleep on the bow. Anyway, and uh, it was a Miss uh, Greenbow, and uh, I think she's a hunter or something, a trader anyway, and a Miss uh, Shiloh, Shiloh and Greenbow. It was a nice rhyme easy for me to remember and yeah. uh, Miss Shiloh runs a entertainment and dancing uh, ent uh, 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 enterprise not far from here actually towards the White Lodge she's got a, a lovely set of tents and uh, she's, she's getting her dancers all lined up and and she and I have, have a, a tentatively agreed to an arrangement whereby she'll come and have her dancers and entertainers perform when we put on uh, big events have visitors coming oh. to visit the uh, the Tower of Light, wow. you know? Wow. Yes, yeah. yeah. I like the sound of that. Maybe I can go for some lessons at some stage, you know? Maybe she can teach me some moves. 
Oh, yeah. well, there you go. Perfect. So, um, uh, I would say that you could take Beryl with you, but uh, we'll get on to that. Um, yes, so she told me about the White Lodge, and I went there, and they serve a whole load of delicious items, and, um, brace yourself, they have alcohol. Uh, is it? Wait, hang on. I, I feel like we're going in a circle. Didn't you just mention this earlier on? Well, uh, I don't know, uh, but I, I brought you back a gift from, from, uh, from the White Lodge. And I thought that maybe once Ooh. we get your brewery up and running, you'll be able to maybe have a supply arrangement with them. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So look, with, 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 taste taste anything with Miss Greenbow, we, uh, we, we made a trade agreement. I've got to give her 500 silk, of which I have collected half already. And uh, in exchange, she provided us with the resources to put this lovely box together. It contains some food and it includes a lovely gift from me to you. Um, uh, two portions of alcohol and a lovely meal. Um, it's like two dumplings, uh, like a soup with, with two big um, red, like it's food colouring, like red coloured dumplings. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. yeah, that's that's mighty kind of you, your your holy jazz. That sounds very tasty. I'll, I'll certainly go uh, consume it. Maybe maybe once I start doing some work. Otherwise, I, I'm, you know, it's, it's probably better to do it that way. Yes, yes. Well, the only thing wrong at the moment is we lack. Uh, we need to put some ice in there to keep it nice and chilled. Uh, we don't need a lot. Um, but good news there again. Uh, silver linings and all that being the theme of the day. Uh, there's a frozen lake not far from here, and I think we could go over there and chip some ice. And I thought, you know what, I, I was going to rush off and do it, and I thought, you know who'd love to go and get his uh, Jabal Sags really freezing cold on an icy lake full of danger, wolves and whatnot? Uh, that would be Hubert. He'd love that. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, sure. Uh, yes. So I, I figured we I could go how, and do that together. Well I'm, uh, I don't know how well I'm... Uh, uh, yes, mm -hmm. no, it'll probably be fine. Yeah, yeah, no, it should be fine. Well, exactly. So we can make ourselves... i got some nice steel picks and everything now. So we can go there all tooled up. And uh, you and I can get some, some of that lovely cold stuff together. And if there's any danger, you can do the usual. You know, run around, distract them and all that whilst I uh, harvest and, and run. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that sounds good. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, we so can is take that all the good. Um, uh, let's think. More good news. Uh, Bambi's still here. Uh, yes. Oh, uh, the the ladies were quite taken with your balcony. They thought that was that was quite a stylish way of living. Wow. Oh, nice. Okay. Yeah, um, yeah. Very extended. Good news, good news. Uh, what else? Oh, uh, yes, I found a, a cave full of really big, horrible, nasty spiders that I got a lot of their silk from. Uh, so that was great. And the, the, even the good news, though, is uh, I only went so far in because there's a big drop down the bottom and what looked to be a really, really enormous um, hairy eight-legged tarantula thing at the bottom. So I figured that, you know, I, well, I have all the fun myself. Why not wait for old Hubert? To come along and and you know we can you know go in there as well so so there's that uh also i went to an archive and i met a lovely ghostly apparition who used to be the librarian there and he taught me a couple of things and uh, one of the things he taught me is a lovely weapon um that's basically a really hardened perfectly crafted uh glass bottle two glass bottles have been smashed up and sharpened and uh, I thought you could use that stabby stabby. Seemed to go nicely with your uh, with your brewer's enthusiasm. Hmm. Mm, yeah, yeah. Very tempting indeed. Yes. Ah, uh, what else was there from good news? Oh, I got myself a lovely new seat. I haven't had a chance to put it together yet, but uh, yeah. Uh, progress on the tower itself has been uh, delayed by a series of. Um, side quests through the course of the day. 
So that's not really good news or bad news, but it's just the bad news is you're still sleeping on the balcony right now. The good news is, oh, oh, hopefully, oh. with the with the silk that I've brought in, I'll be able to put you a nice little tent up there on the hill. And you can have your own oh. space, stretch your legs out a little bit more, you know? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds great. Yeah, very great, yes, yes. Yes. Um, on to the not-so-positive news. You know, you and Beryl have this lovely, friendly rivalry. Uh, sure, we can call it that. Right, well, she... Um, I'm sure that even though she was went far ahead of you in the acolyte of the week uh competition uh based on basically just based on on you know hours and effort put in and fragrance those are the three main categories i was judging on um she um she came out adventuring with me and we went through all sorts of things including the unnamed city all sorts of dangers and perils giant rock creatures and she just she was a real trooper today. She, she, and then she and I decided that we'd we'd have a go at sort of bopping the heads of a couple of uh, ne'er do wells in the desert. Uh, turns out that they were a little bit more competent um, at defending themselves than we had anticipated, and Beryl now resides in this bowl. Ah. Oh my goodness. But, good news, one of the combatants that we bested was a very capable uh, warrior who, uh, you wouldn't believe this, this, luck would have it, her name was also Beryl. Uh, so I, I, I said, well, you can't be Beryl and Beryl, so you'll have to be Beryl too. And she accepted. She agreed to join the program, or, and she was on her way back here for training. And we went back and forth across the de desert. We went through the aforementioned spider cave and gathered a load of silk and fought some hyenas. There was all sorts of things going on. And we made it all the way to the other side of this hill that we live under. And you know how on the top of that hill there's never any danger. There's never any wolves, there's never any boars, there's no rhinos or elephants or... You know, as long as you stay away from those guard towers, you're you're safe, right? Well, uh -huh. today, no yeah, I in. came back with Beryl too, and um, there was a great big <laughs> white wolf there with a whole wolf pack around it, and Beryl too, uh, you know, she she was got a sort of in her in her native rags and kind of bound by the feet and arms, lying on the floor. <laughs> while I fought the wolves and um, it appears during the course of the battle that they had a bit of a nibble on her and uh, Beryl too now resides here in the bowl of ashes next to Beryl 1. Oh my god! I know, I knew her at least an hour we'd travelled together through the desert, thick and thin, and uh, she was mostly at blame for the death of Beryl 1. So I thought, well, you, she can make up for it now by being an acolyte of the bringer in of the light. Uh, but yes, yeah, so now we have this small... Uh, we have this small sign here that says, Herein lie the ashes of Beryl 1 and Beryl 2. Oh, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. It seems like you have some hardships today and um, some uh, not, so, not so much hardship. Yeah. On the plus side, I got this shiny new axe. Ah, yes, yes. Where, where exactly did you get that particular weapon from? Um, uh, I defeated a giant skeletal man who was very tall, th probably three times your height, and very angry and very violent, and I defeated him uh, pretty much all on my own, uh, barely breaking a sweat as I... Uh, walked, moved around the back of the cave he was in like this a lot, keeping my distance, uh, using good strategy, and allowing uh, Douglas, Douglas, uh, to kill him for me. Ah, so you, you basically took on my my role that I normally have, and uh, yeah, that, that sounds that sounds quite good. Yes, it worked out just fine, you know. It, you know, all things, all things. So. I don't know how to describe today other than perhaps it's a net win. 
Yeah, I mean, I, 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 I wouldn't say I was fond of her. She, she, I, she was still going on me, but I mean, uh, that opens up my position. I mean, she, it's, uh, we, we can probably get another one. Well, I mean, yeah, or another, another one. You know, I, 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 I tried to replace, replace you, uh, her, uh, with Beryl too, but it, it didn't work out. So, yeah. So now we've got Beryllium over there, and. Um, yeah, the strong silent type, I, so, you know, they've, they've got, there's a certain theme. Uh, but yeah, as I said, as long as you don't stand around jibber-jabbering too long, so that beryllium, you know, starts racking up the 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 competitive acolyte scoring points, uh, it'll be fine. I mean, you're not too far behind, so I think you'll catch up within, you know, no time. I don't even know how I came behind. He just joined today. I, I, I've been, I've been part of this since since yesterday. But that's true. That's true. But you know, there's a there's a sort of balancing system that we use, um, and it's it's sort of a, a based pro rata point scoring based on height. So the taller you are, the more points you can score by performing the same activities. No, standing on an object doesn't make you taller than beryllium. I'm feeling taller. Yes. I don't. I, I. I'm gonna be honest here. I don't like him. I don't like him one bit. He's got beady eyes, and it's, it's, it scares me. Oh wow, he's sensitive. I might. Look at his, his magic heart bleeding. Oh look, you've made him sad now. He's turned his back on us. Well, yes, that's basically the story of the day. Uh, Beryl faced the peril, and the peril won. Mm. And, and and Beryl mm. too. Peril, per, died to peril too. So, uh, yes, I guess that's just the way of of, of the world. Uh, yeah, I mean, you you have to take the good with the bad, and at the end of the day, it, it's never going to be easy. You know, this is not an easy land to live in. You need to make a make of it what you can. Exactly, survival of the of the fittest and or uh, cunningest. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure the bringing of light has uh, plans. You know, everything happens for a reason, and the reason is, for, you know, it might be un unbeknown to us currently, but uh, there's always a reason for anything that happens. Exactly. The light moves in mysterious ways, especially when it's foggy. So yeah, that's it's kind of where we're at foggy. now. They, they, well, exactly. The, what, exactly. I wake up and it rains. I go to bed and it rains. Yes. You know, it's, 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 it's forever pouring out here. You know what the weirdest thing is? I haven't seen rain all day until you arrived. Ah. Then again, okay. I haven't been home most of the day. I've been in the uh, desert. Yeah, That'd yeah. probably explain it. I have seen sandstorms, though. Those probably weren't your fault. I mean, uh, how can it be my fault? I was just leaving. Yeah, well, exactly. Like I said, it's probably not your fault. That's gonna, he's gonna, he's, uh, this one's gonna be a scare every second if he comes along. <laughs> oh, yes. He does like to creep up and then suddenly slam his hammer down. It's just a scuttling noise, you know, out of the corner of my eye, there's a movement. It's like, what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, he's looking, he's checking out that tree. He's like, are you a rock? Are you a rock, really? Yeah, he appears to be more brawn than uh, anything else, you know, it doesn't have that many brain cells going about. No, no, I don't think he's, he's, yes. He's not the sharpest spoon in the tool shed. Oh yes, yes, that was sure. Hmm. So, so are you are you ready to uh, get this? Bit? I think it was ice you said you were looking for. Yes, if you're ready to go and adventure and, and gather some ice together, um, I'd just like Ooh. you to take care oh. of this wolf first. No, no, that's that's. Uh, you, you come over here, Mister Mister. Okay, yeah, that's it. Swing that hammer. Okay, pick it up. Swing it. Swing it. There we go. Oh, they well, they look the two of you working, working uh, well together. Very good. Yeah, yeah. I'm more of a supervisor than anything else. 
That's true, that's true. If you are looking for a supervisor's I position, I can offer you double the work and half the pay. Uh, uh. Mm, tempting, isn't it? Oh, look, yes, he's just yes, like yes, you here. Look, he's peeing in the bush. I, I mean, okay, yes. Uh, uh. Good shout. Yeah, yeah, I'll take a quick break. It's, it's He's always shining a light. Oh, yes, that's, that's, that's actually nice. If you have a point there, Mr. What do you might call it? Perilalilium. Yes, exactly. He's al always uh, shining the light. Uh, you mm -hmm. know, forwards. Oh, uh, Douglas said he was going to drop in and just check on us every once in a while. He seemed to be unnecessarily worried about my safety. After ah. I told him about well, all my adventures. Well, he doesn't know you very well yet. No, uh, well, exactly. Yeah. yeah, yes. Oh, and we went, uh, we saw a giant um, demonic creature that's about, no joke, about 12 times taller than, than you. And we went up to it for science and poked it in the foot. And it didn't feel very pokey pokey. And it just kind of chased us all the way out of the unnamed city forever and ever and ever, like it was never going to stop. Uh, it was pretty terrifying. And then, oh, it, it coughed up some sort of fiery, purpley, corruption, death, acid thing. So uh, it's another ah. one on your to-do list. We'll need you to uh, clear that up at some point. What, what, what do you mean I have to clear it up? I mean, aren't there other people that's more, uh, I don't know, proficient in there? You know, there's probably some fighters out there that you can hire for this particular uh, matter. Uh, possibly, yeah, but you know, if you want something done properly, you want it done by your staff. Isn't that how the saying goes? I have, I have no idea. I you know, probably, I, I've never heard the saying, but I, I, I'll take your word for it. Mm. We don't make mistakes. Well, anyway, there's that. Oh, and I met a guy called Zill uh, after I met um, old, old Timmy Conan, that's his name. Uh, over in Sepuwu, and he told me about a way to uh, re remove the corruption from the grand champion of Jabolzag. And so we've got uh, not one, not two, not three, not four, but about six or seven, I'm not entirely sure anymore, I've lost count, uh, great big horrible beast master hunt uh, uh, giant deadly creatures to fight. So in all in all, is to summarise, it's 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 a great adventure with lots of high risk, low reward potential. Ah, I see, I see. So you went to Sepamamu, and uh, did you meet Mister? Did you did you go to the trading the trading place? Over I went there to the trading minute? place, and yeah. I met Miss Greenbow there again, who I'd met this morning, as she travelled here this way, coincidentally. And uh, there was mention of some guy called Ru or Who or something like this, Lu, uh, but he oh, wasn't he wasn't God. around. So still no confirmation on whether this person exists and or what their name is, and how many R's U's and and whatnots it takes to spell that name. Well, at least we one step closer. You know, the the truth will be revealed uh, hopefully sh uh, soon. Either, you know. Hopefully. Yes. Yes, I'm sure soon, TM. Uh, yes. Uh, are you are you ready to head off? Ah uh, yes. Which direction is it? I have never. I don't. I don't really know which direction is. Uh, what's it? The snowy areas. Oh, do you have a good weapon, by the way? What what kind of what, what are you what are you swinging these days? It's a it's a long sword made out of iron. Oh. Well, uh, take this. It was uh, one one careless owner. Ah. What do we have here? Oh my goodness! Yeah, that's definitely much better than uh, than the one the one I had previously. I mean, yes. Apparently. If you look carefully on the hilt, it's got B carved into it. Oh God. Okay, okay, I'm ready. Let's let's uh, let's do this. Yeah, uh, let me see where I'm going again. Uh, yeah, pretty much straight ahead. So uh, let's go a little bit nearer the town, so we don't bother those wolves. So let's have as few fights as possible. 
Oh yes, yes. We can just run along, you know. We we don't have to stop for anything. Yes. All right, this way. Oh, and good news! Oh, I forgot. There's another silver lining. Uh, I might have a line on uh, where Trinket, where the Trinket thief went, and we might be able to get Trinket oh. back. Oh, that's wonderful news. Yes, you should have started with that. That would have brightened up my day completely. Well, you know, I like to save the 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 the, the best for last. Yeah, that's that's fair enough. Yes, yes, that, that certainly made me smile. I, also, de I definitely like to get Trinket back. Yes, we can definitely get Trinket. I'm pretty certain we can get Trinket back. Ah, uh, so yes. Had a word with some of the hunt people, and they gave us a clue on where this uh, known thief and rogue amongst the hyena kin, uh, where where that one likes to hang out. So, I've got I've got a lead on it, and I'm I'm working. I'm pulling I'm pulling strings to get Trinket back for you because I know how devastated we were when Trinket uh, was stolen right from under your nose, as it were. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to work. I'm oh, I forgot about the coffee break. That guy before we beat the living uh, bejeebus out of him, so that we can, you know, learn a lesson. Yes, exactly. It sounds like a really happy occasion that we're moving towards here. Uh, I, th I believe that might be a mating call, but I'm not entirely sure. Oh, okay. I bow to your elephantine knowledge. Oh dear. Some, yeah, that's, some, a, that's a, a creature. Something has agitated that one. I mean, aren't elephants normally, you know, uh, do docile? They're not, they're not really, uh, they don't mind you, you know, uh, tickling their tummy. Oh, I'm pretty sure that's the case. In fact, you could go and give that one scratches now if you wanted to. No, it's fine, it's fine. I'll remember where he is and I'll come back later, you know, giving him a good, uh, good tickle. Right. I see. Well, you're the expert. Right, I'm pretty sure... I need to go under that bridge at some point. There should be some lovely flowers over there I need. So, you see that ice? Uh, I've heard yeah. from from Douglas that we might be able to uh, chip away at some of that. I don't know if I have the right tools with me, though. Uh, it's quite cold. Oh, <laughs> yes. It's really cold. It's really cold. It's... Uh, it's freezing. Oh, no. Yeah, we might. This, this, oh, no. this, this might be a bad idea. <laughs> Oh, swim away! Swim away! It's too cold! Swim away! Swim away! <laughs> uh. Oh my goodness! Uh, no, this is this is this is terrible. This is way too cold. Uh, quick, warm your cockles. I am definitely getting warm right here. I'm not moving in. Well, actually, I should probably move, otherwise, become a popsicle. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. I couldn't feel my fingers, toes, or you know what. <laughs> yeah, no, that was, that was very terrifying. I don't want to repeat that at all. Well, there's good news and bad news on that front. Um, the good know, news is. The bad news is time oh, the bad oh, news okay. is you're going to have to do that all over again once you've warmed up. The the good news is I I shall supervise from the shoreline. Why why am I doing it over? There was nothing on top of that thing. There was just a blank sh sheet of ice. Ah, uh, well, it's the ice that we need. Maybe we should go over by the bridge. Maybe we should eat some spicy soup or something before... Yes, I think we came underprepared for this. We need some... Oh, uh, yeah. It's, uh, some it's certainly... Yes, I, quite, I can't remember it being this cold in this area, but maybe it's the weather. Maybe we just came at the wrong time. It could be. It could be. I mean, it is raining as well, so... It's 
put a bit of a damper yeah. on things. Yeah. Yeah, it certainly doesn't help at all. I say, is it me or is there a building through the haze over there that looks like a, a lit up skull across the way? If you look straight across the lake and you see there are two buildings or, or icy structures that are that are unlit and you look a little bit beyond that, there's something that appears to my eye at least to look like a skull or a face of some sort. Yeah, it's uh, some sort of statue. It would appear definitely quite... Uh, looks intimidating from here. Yes, we should go and visit it. Maybe not today, though. Not uh, with uh, these clothes on. Yes, no. <laughs> Maybe on a warmer day, you know. Maybe... May uh, hopefully the, the snow melts or something. Because this is not going to work at all. Or, yes. or the, I mean, we could probably get better armor. I don't know if that's a thing. Maybe we could... Uh, yeah, I'm, I, do, I, I uh, think some of the... Copy some of these uh, northerners in their designs. Maybe there's something that will give us a little bit of a bit of a, an advantage against the cold. Or, or oh. here's an idea. Hold the, the like. The, now, hear me out on this one. There are some dragons that are rumoured to spit fire. What if we were to get one of those, entice it, give it some licorice or something, entice it over to the edge of the lake, and we just get it, when you're on the other side getting out on the ice, we guess get to breathe fire in your general direction. Take the take the okay, edge off. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. I hear you. I hear you. I definitely hear you. And I I appreciate your <laughs> enthusiasm in in this regard. But isn't that just going to melt the ice? I mean, yeah. You're right. You're right. That's probably going to ruin our chances for the ice box. That's a good good point. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. We we might just cause global warming and all the ice caps melt away. You know, that's true. Really that's true. That's true. It's true. That's why. That's why you are our lead statistician. Ah, okay. Yes, I like the title, lead statistician. It sounds like uh, definitely sounds like me. Yes. So, do, do we have any other plan apart from um, not going there currently? Um, I'm going to go and look under the bridge and see if I can get some of these flowers. But I suspect it's going to be horribly cold there too. I really wasn't expecting it to be as cold as that, but uh, what do I know? Yeah, I, I, I don't know. You, you know a lot of things, but apparently not this. No, I'm not really the uh, most informed when it comes to temperatures. It's fine, it's fine. We can go see if we can find some flowers. You know, at least we get something out of this. Exactly. Oh wait, where's my tool? Hey, you've got to be kidding me. I left my bloody sickle. I was in the process of going to repair it and then one thing led to another. Who's this fellow? Oh, goodness me, oh, they're I, not... I, I, uh, sure. Oh, he... Oh, she's angry. He's very angry. Oh, Jackie, this is... Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my, oh, wow. I, I don't know my own strength. Snap their clothes. If only they had any, that'd be great. Yes, I should probably cut them up for. Um, I don't know. Maybe we need something of the person. Ah, uh, could be. Could be. No, no, no arm. No arm in mutilating. Well, it's better than leaving them out here to rot. You know, then other people come around. It's like, what the hell is this? I know, right? Next thing you know, they'll be threatening us. 
Wow, that's quite violent. Huh, I wonder if there's any chesticles. Uh, oh, here's one, yeah. Oh well my met. goodness, that's a lot of stuff. Where's the slit throat one then? Taunt. Yes, ah. yes. That's off with their heads, that's what I say. Have they got There's anything a chest with all manner of things that you might oh. find useful, I'm not really sure. Oh, they look fancy. Oh, there's some um, weaponry in here as well. And some paint. Lovely. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Something for our effort. Um, I've got some, some nice armor. Uh, there's a nice piece that they were wearing. Yeah, it's best you keep it since, uh, you know, it's, uh, in case you sprain an ankle, you know, uh, they might just try to hit you while you're down. You know, it'll probably help you more. Mm, five, two, two, one. Right, okay, well, that's, uh, what's that taking? I don't know what to expect under here exactly, but we'll have a look. Can't believe I don't I have my sickle. I suspect it would be underneath, um, hopefully there's no troll, because uh, that would be quite terrifying. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, I, I hear they like to stay underneath the, the bridges, so uh, here's hoping it's not the case. Mm hmm. Oh, it's nippy again. Oh, I've got the torch out. I'm feeling quite fine. Oh, that's that's cunning. That's very cunning. Keep your eye out for any. Uh, Unusually vibrant looking lotus flowers. I'm wondering if they're this uh. side of the bridge though. Uh, not seeing anything here. Uh, what's that? A wolf? Lots of trees and shrubbery and. Uh, ooh, and a wolf. <laughs> Here we go. Yes, with all the wolf's pelts that we've uh, garnered, we would think there'd be something a little warmer to wear. Oh, look, flowers. Ah, lucky smiling about us. But I'm not sure, uh, this isn't what I want. No, that's a berry bush. Well, maybe a bit further along, you never know. Yes, I'll try to use the torch to s stave off the worst of the cold. Ow! Oh. No swing and a miss. Keeping on your toes. Or maybe off them. No, oh, I'd like to keep all my toes, thank you. Yes, uh, I, It's very cold here. What is this? It's just wood. Uh, excuse uh, me, Mr. Deer, do you perhaps know if there's any... Oh my goodness, never mind me. <laughs> All right, I'm going to push my luck a little in terms of the yeah, cold. Yeah, that sounds normal. Let's, let's go up. <laughs> what? Well, we've got the torch of enlightenment. What can uh, we, we probably much fit? Oh, never mind. It's, no, it's very cold. How? It's way too cold. Why is it? It wasn't this cold now. It, it's all of a sudden. It's very cold. I think it's that rock face. Yeah. It maybe, might maybe due to becoming nighttime. I'm not. I don't really know. Oh, that's probably uh, part of it. Yes. Also, I think is there's a magical presence here making it colder than than it might otherwise be. 
going on over here in this big mound? Ah. I see a bear. Did you Did see you? a bear there? There's a bear not far from us. Um, no, no, I don't see anything over here. I can't see anything. What's that? I, I can hear over here. Definitely hear it. Yes. I'm sure you're fine. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's a sneaky one this time. Wow. Oh, sorry. It was swing and a miss. Hi, that one disappeared from nowhere. Yeah. Well, now we've got bear pelts. We must be able to make some nice clothing. Uh, you'd imagine so, right? Yes. I mean, he was living out here quite fine. He, he seemed to be doing quite, uh, you know, normal. Nothing exactly. Nothing you can call it all. I, I hear another bear. I thought I heard one too, but then I thought maybe I imagined it. This is very cold again. What the? Maybe the closer we get to the water. I think there's something mystical across that bridge that is warding off that which cannot survive the cold. Uh, yeah, that'd be you and me, kindly. Yes. Prime candidates to be frozen. Oh, and now I'm hungry as well. I've got some streaky bits of uh, wolf on me, if you require anything. Oh, thank you. No, I, I had a couple left as well. Thank you. Oh, there's a house over there. Or yeah, let's my go. No, I, I see it too. Well, that's some sort of structure at least. Oh no, look away, look away, it's a box. Uh, well, I mean, it's still oh. maybe in front no, of the No, we're maybe saved, we're saved, it's an animal shelter. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this appears to be some sort of town. Yes, I wonder who lives here. Hopefully someone that can sell us some very warm clothes. Yes. Oh, Hello? Banner of some sort. Snakes on it. Snakes. Hello there. Oh, yes, cool. nice to meet you. My name is Ulon. Oh, yes. Oh, Ulon, that's, that's, that's not what? a real person. This is just a dummy. It's a training dummy. You know, you hit it with your sword. What? Training. It's just a pair of dummies. Yes, exactly. Who would have thought you'd see a pair of dummies out in the cold at night around these parts? Well, excluding the two of us, uh, I don't know. That's a nice little barn. Ah, a horn. Ooh. Yeah, we like to blow those horns. Hello. We we don't do menacing at all. We we just have torches, you know. <laughs> yeah, we torches come and, be. and axes. Oh, it's like it's been here long enough for the ivy to start creeping up and down the walls. Ah, they have a little mailbox over here, but I can't appear to. Uh, it's got a little lock on it. Oh, I see. Yes. Well, nobody home, but a lovely little place nonetheless. Beautiful. Yes, yes. What? The? Oh, that's probably just one of these animals, I hope. <laughs> oh, sugar. That was loud. Yep, yep, yep. Well, Operation Secure a very small amount of ice to save our food has been a resounding failure. Uh, Unless we consider uh, this to be the scouting phase of the operation, in which case it was a great yes, success. 
Another one. Hey. Ow. It's okay. He's going for you. Uh, it's probably because I have these nice wolfy snacks on me. I would imagine so, yes. You could be the captain of our guard. We call you Captain Kibble. I'm becoming so many things. I thought I was... Uh, Wolf? I can't even remember. <laughs> wow, you're getting really good at this. It's the axe. It's all in the axe. Ah, I see, I see. Oh, really? Red links? That sounds Well, I'm funny. not lost at all. Oh, follow me. We're fine. We're just nearing the bridge again. Oh, yes, yes, there's the bridge, yes. <laughs> you knew that all along. Yeah, I was just seeing, you know, making sure you went last. Yeah. Uh, I tell you what, let's go back. I'll cook us up a nice warm meal and we'll have a go with that with some chilies and some fire in our bellies. Ah, yeah, yeah. Or we could just try running across the bridge. Ah, uh, sure. Let's give that a go. Maybe we'll find, find some food along the way. You know, mate. Um, Possibly someone. Oh my! Uh, okay. Those are heavily armed. Oh, sugar! Mind your back. Ow! That's not fair using a shield. That's cheating. Another one. Oh, you're quite your owl. Oh, and another one of those. Off with her head. There we go. Nicely done. Now, perhaps they have some nice. Oh, you have a nice sword. That's what I call an ambush. All of a sudden, there was just many creatures and people all at the same time. Did you just say all of a sardine? Yes, that's what I said. Hmm, I thought so. Must be because you're salty after the battle. I'm just grabbing everything, you know, just in case. Oh yes, yes, I do the same. Well, uh, apart from this bridge being more heavily guarded than we thought, let's uh, see if we can get across it. Yes, yes, yes. I was going to say, maybe somebody put up a shop along the way, you know, for weary travellers like ourselves, you know, in preparation for the bridge crossing. I mean, that would make sense. You know, tourists who've come here without the right kind of the requisite jacket to keep themselves warm. Yeah, oh. it's a bit of wishful thinking, Mark. You know, you know, maybe I surprise myself. You never know. Well, could be. I tell you what, if you surprise yourself, I'll be surprised too. Ah, so far, so good. I don't see any shops around, but... Oh, yeah. oh okay. heck, it's cold. I'm running for it. Yeah, I'm, running. Oh, I'm running for the middle. I'm running, I'm running. We're only halfway across. Pause, oh, Britain. Oh, oh, my God. Ah. Stan Zula. It was originally a by your people, though for what purpose we do not know. Run away! Why, my toes are frozen! I can't hear you, my ears are frozen solid. He is the best of your He serves at this remote outpost and defends us against the Lemurian incursions into our farmlands. He denies them access to our supply. You okay? Whose who's silly idea was it to try and cross the bridge? Um, one of ours. I can't remember exactly. Oh, oh, hang on. I've got some dried meat on me for some reason. I, guess what? I've got spiced pork, two portions. Wow, 
I, I mean, that sounds tasty, but uh, it's probably not going to last very long, right? Here, take some. I well, actually had five. Wow, okay. So we might we, we might be able to cross the bridge and grab some flowers. Maybe. And definitely we won't grab the flowers and then be like, yay, we did it, run all the way back and then realize we've got the ice. Oh, yeah, that's all right. We came for the ice. <laughs> I mean, the flowers would be a nice bonus. Oh. Put a little bandage on. That'll help. Have you got a bandage? Yeah. I'm no, I don't have any bandages, but I'm starting to remember why I like the desert so much more. <laughs> Yeah, take these bandages. It was always hot and sunny, you know, no trouble with the rain. It wasn't freezing cold, you can just go out whenever you choose. And over here it's like a uh, completely different world. Are you saying you miss the you miss the sun down in Samaria? Yes, yes. I miss it a lot. Right. All right, yeah. let's, uh, let's... Are we going to try this again? <laughs> we, I don't know how long that spiced uh, meal is going to... Well, uh, one way of finding out, right? Yes. I mean, right now I'm not even cold. Yeah, I'm, I'm, fully, I'm feeling perfectly good currently. I did give you all of the, the remaining portions, so uh, keep that in mind. <laughs> Yeah, that's yeah, that's probably not the best move, but uh, we should probably get a move on it just in case. Yes. Oh, sugar. No, there's no way we're making it across the oh. bridge. That is that is not a is thing. We need some cool? warmer clothes. Either that, or I have to make us so many spicy rations that we can just nibble our way across. Nibble the old built yeah, on all the way across the bridge. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, we probably got so, so used to the, the warm weather that uh, our uh, tolerance for cold was uh, diminished. That'll be it, yeah. Mind your back. Marvelous. Well, that's more fangs. <sighs> right. Okay. Well, uh, I, I suppose that's a lesson learned, and we should, uh, we'll probably um, fare better next time around. Oh, yeah, I'm sure of it. What is this? This looks very familiar. It's like, um, is it God's, God's Way or something of the sort? Or is it. I yes, it's the big, big pair of claws. Yeah, that's, that seems about right. This is actually quite close to where we stay. Yeah, exactly. There's a path that runs through it. I'm sure it's perfectly safe, given such a beautiful structure that, that's certainly not in any way ominous with dead trees lining the sides. But it should curve around the bottom of Hazard. Oh, oh, go away, rock. No, no, I'm not interested. Go away. Yeah, he can just play with himself. Yeah. Exactly. Rock knows what he's up to. Maybe we can visit one of these northern towns and uh, try and uh, uh, acquire some armor that's more suited for the cold. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. I pr propose we do that after we warmed ourselves up and gotten through the night. Ah, better well. Quite a, quite, a, quite a following we are going here. Yes, exactly. 
I you know I always wondered what these newfangled uh, what the bards were talking about at Sepuwu. They said you should come to this rock concert we're going to hold. Now I'm not so sure I want to. <laughs> hey, look what look at this a new tactic for combat. Uh, chased by a rock and drill. Oh, combat yeah. room. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that might just catch on. Have you met? Look, the this guy. I met this guy the other day, dazed and confused. Why is he dazed? He's just lying on the ground. Oh, he's got something in his hand. Take that. He's holding something in his hand. It looks like. Let me put away the torch because I can't. <laughs> Let's see what is it? What is it? This is where is that? What is in his hand? Is it a bottle? Or it looks like what? a bottle of booze. Wait, ha hang on. Is, no. Oh, so he drank the booze and he passed out. Okay, fair yes, enough. Fair yes. enough. Why is there so many wells around there? Well, well, well. I don't know. They're nice huh. looking though. We should have one of those. If only we had a tower to live in. Why would we need a well if it's constantly raining? I mean, you have a point. Do you know the way down from here? Ah! Uh. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh. Okay, I think I it's think. It's very dark outside. Yeah, I think I know the way now. This, this. If we just follow the path. There's some of the watchtowers up there. There's a beam of light in the sky. I think those three wells represent that man's life. A water well, a wishing well, and an it didn't go very well. Ah, what is this light over here? I don't know, this is there's some sort of path. Ah, well we should always follow the light. Oh, hello. Hello, mister. Hello. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, oh. I think this might lead to the Asgardians. I was wondering if you could maybe help me out with the clothes here. It's very cold outside. You know, I'm asking for a friend. Asking for a very cold friend? Yeah, exactly. Thank you. Oh, why am I getting Oh, I'll take that bag of coins. Oh, here's another one. Oh, okay. I'll just, uh... Hello, I'm still busy looting over here, mister. Yeah, shield that, sunshine. Wow! Oh, my goodness, watch out, That scared you. the bejesus out of me. A, that was a yeah. large one. You know, they just sneak up behind you, try to pick a pick pickpocket your pocket. Is that the word, pickpocket? Yes, yes pick exactly. I don't think we should follow that path. I think that might. I think that leads us into trouble. Oh my goodness! Another one. Marvellous. There's so many of them out and about. It's quite strange. I don't normally see them so many. Yes, this must be a prime hunting location. Perhaps because of the ravine and that you're somewhat trapped. Oh, perhaps they're drawn by the light, you know? They're just trying to find their way. Could be, could be. Okay, I think this is the way. Luckily, yeah, we are guided by the fast. Clowns to my right. Here I am, stuck in the middle of the valley. Ah, the watchtowers. They are dim in this kind of weather. Yeah, I know exactly where we are currently.
Yeah, we travelled a lot, quite a, a lot further than I thought we had. Oh, good news also, I got us a couple of little baby horses. We just have to decide if we want to rear them or uh, eat them with lasagna sandwiches. Mm, that is a tough choice, a really tough... Um, mm. I'll, I'll leave that in your hands, Mr. Your, your Holy Jay. All right, well, I'm going to try and raise mine up and feed it... Uh, uh, all of the powders, so it becomes lovely and crystal white. What, uh, do, uh, do you have a preference of a, of a uh, four-legged champion? Uh, no, I, I think you just leave it in the hands of the gods, you know. Whatever it is, it is. I see. Oh, oh, this is that little place. There's, no, there's never anyone here. No, and yet it only popped up recently. After I had arrived, I believe. Oh. Well, this is the path I took to reach the place where I... Oh, no, it is not the path I took. Maybe I had overlooked it. I still haven't met whoever resides up in that uh, beautiful tower over there. Uh, nope, not me either. Nope. Ow! Oh, what was that? My torch broke. And it took my eardrums with it. And right up here, to tell you, to go back to the story of Beryl 2, right here is where the pack of wolves and their large white alpha attacked me. That was this close to being home, all the way from having gone halfway across the desert. I was this close. And this is where Beryl yeah. 2 perished at this point here. I should have just run for it. Uh, that's very peculiar. I've never seen any wolves here. Yeah, exactly. Neither had I until that one fateful moment. And I've never seen any since. What about since. our neighbors? Uh, our, our neighbors up here, do they, aren't they northerners? Don't they have anything wrong? I think so, yeah. They could be um, as a guardians. Maybe we can go and have a chat with them about some warmer clothing. Oh, so they're not northerners. Oh, okay. Damn it. No, but they're residents of here, yes. Uh, hello! Uh, oh, God, that was scary. Come, Shadow! Oh, Sugar, we got uh, all three at once. I will feast upon you! Stay <laughs> oh, this is very well. Yes, we should try and see if we could encourage him to join us, but I don't know if we would be able to. Uh, let me see. <laughs> Oh, heavens! Come on, stand still, you bugger! Stop moving! We trying I to get the way of the time. Ow, he got me! So I can carve it on your pyre! Sparks. That's it, that's it, that is, yes, you almost, almost, yes, we are just trying to enlighten your way. Ow! Alright, that's not fair throwing me into the palisade like that, how rude. We've got you cornered now. Yeah, what are you gonna do now? You have to surrender, otherwise you might just perish. Yes, you're stuck between a rock and a clubbing place. Do not struggle, mister. <laughs> this is not healthy. Just come to the light, that's all you have to oh do. Oh my god! What the he's, hell? He's, he's got a second breath. He's got, he's second got a second breath. wind. Don't let him escape. He's trying to get away. Come to our, come to our tower. It's it's going to be beautiful in two years when it's built. God damn it. What the? I can see you, exile. Oh, here he comes again. He's got a third wind. 
with the Oh, oh my god, he's a performer! Really? Well, he's performing very well with her. He is? I think this is performance art. Oh, he's he sucking us into like where his archer is waiting in the wings. Suddenly, archer stage left. This is really good. We've got we've got this top class performer here, and we've got some of the worst clubs possible. Oh my god, I'm gonna die! I'm gonna knock myself out anytime soon. I'm gonna go and cut the head off that archer. No! Oh my god! Okay, that archer's getting it. Okay. Right. I'm gonna catch you my Let's do this for the first time. Um, Ow! Get, get, stop, the why? I, look, I know you're cold and that, but do you have to lie down on top of the campfire? I decided to take a rest because this is ridiculous. You doing good, you doing good. Keep up, keep up the good climbing. You're never going to make Acolyte of the Week at this rate. I'm, I'm a distraction, you know. I'm holding him down. I've got his... Never mind, he's got away. Oh, my truncheon broke. Yeah. What? Now! I tell you what, this guy's gonna get kneecapped. Just you, you look distracted with your words or something. Yeah, it's right. It's just on my person. There is another truncheon for you. I see it here on the fire. Mr. Performer, please come over yonder and I will teach you the ways of the light. That's it, yes, 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 that's more like it. That's it, just calm down, have a breather. Oh and my let's god. Let's talk about it, like civilized people, you know? You're doing a great job, you, yes. Keep, keep, keep him busy. Oh god, I just mentioned the breaker in the light in your hands. He just, he's got your, he's got his eyes on you. Ah. Oh, you decided to return, is that, is that so? Hmm, hmm, I see how it is, I see what it is. So are you ready to take in the line? That's it, you stare into the fire, and you will see the wisdom that is the bringer in of light. And it will shine upon you and open the ways you have never seen before. Yes, yes. Uh, take a deep breath, deep. no, don't stand. You are, you are, I will teach you the ways eventually, but, um, never mind, the East are very persistent. Okay, I'll just tell you what, let's just, okay, never mind. I guess it's just back to beating the things into you because you don't you don't like to listen to what people have to say. Exactly. Oh, there you go. That's nice. uh, did your stick break? If it did, I'm going home. After, no, I've got another one. Okay. Okay, back to the beating. Uh, I, I hope you're ready for it because it's going to be enduring. You, you seem to be enduring quite a lot. Yet. I suppose maybe he got. Uh, I don't. I don't really understand how he's. The arm uh, performer's supposed to be enduring and not enduring. Yes, this is what I'm saying. Oh, but he to, broke uh, my shield. <laughs> we got this. You only just. You owe me a shield now and a club. Stop eating me! Oh my god! No, leave me alone! My next beat stick's about to break. 
until I can carve it on your pyre. Maybe ah! ah! have your heart out under. Stand still while I'm beating you, performer. I don't want. I can't. I, I, I like my heart. Don't. I don't want to stay right here. Don't take it, please. That, that's it, my stick side. You're on your own. A kick in the nuts, that'll do it. There you go. Look, I kicked him in the nuts and he fell. Ow! I don't think he liked that. Get him, get him while he's down. I'm gonna go and get a new stick. Keep him busy. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the most comedy ever. The most comedy takedown ever. What is that? What the? Where's the other one? There. Oh my god, that guy scared me. And I got I got no shield now, so Oh yeah, I, I, I know we're doing this the absolute worst way, but it's comedy gold. No, no, we've we've he's low. His grey bar was down to a quarter, I think. Otherwise I would have given up. Did you get him yet? No, I've got nothing. I'm just running here for my life. Oh, I've got more sticks. Okay, beat the crap out of him. We're definitely going to need a better stick. We're going to need a bigger stick. I'm going to put down this face in the nest because apparently he wants some. <laughs> you realize the sun's just come up. We've been fighting this guy all night. Don't let him hit Ow! you. Well, it's a bit late for that now. You've got this, Hubert. Give me some I've tactical instruction. Too. Tactical instructions is, you know, take him from the back because apparently the front is no good. And I then got you him. just whack him like that. I got Ooh, him. I got him. Your... What, what I did, the way Sorry. I did it is I entirely ignored your, your tactics, your, your instruction, and I got him. Well, you know, there's neither here nor there. At least we are uh, victorious in uh, today's uh, performance. Yes. <laughs> well played, sir. Oh, well played. Funny. Oh, I should probably pick that you up. That is very exhausting. Very exhausting. My goodness. I've never fought so hard in my life. Come on. Get up to get old man. Uh, oh. Oh, well uh, done. Okay. Good news is they had a load of raw meat and I stole it. Ah, nice. And we can put it in our cool box that doesn't work yet because we failed so miserably at getting the ice. I mean, it's still work in progress. You cannot fail. If oh, that's, you that's it, true. Uh, we were on the right? scouting. Yes, yeah, you're right. I swear, if this guy wakes up before, or if I get attacked by a bunch of wolves right now, I'm, 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 I'm moving back to the abbey. <laughs> no, I said, well, you should be fine. You think it appears to be... Oh, there's a shiny Oh, by the oh, way, when I when I came back here to repair my stick, the old uh, beryllium scared the absolute bejesus out of me, making loud noises. <laughs> oh, my God. This is exhausting. Ah, there we go. And I just realized that's going to take about 69 days with that, that, that fella. He's strong-willed. It's going to take a lot to break that guy. Oh, yes. 
I've never, I've never encountered a person that is so uh, attuned to their way, uh, way of life, you know? Yes. They're very stubborn, very stubborn indeed. Yes, yes. I, I tried to, you know, just talk to him in a, in a kind-hearted manner and uh, he just, he just wasn't hearing a, hearing a thing. I think that's what broke his will in the end, you know. I think it was your, your gentle cajoling and my cudgeling. Oh my god, that, that guy is gonna go <sighs> Oh my, yeah, that was, that was quite an adventure, my goodness. I need to repair so many things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, never mind. It's not here. It's down. It's down below. I think it. Wait, no. I didn't make any. Yeah, I think I need to repair probably my armor. My shield needs replacement. You said you had a, uh, a re enlightening table, but I, I don't see it anywhere. Oh, uh, a what? What? A, a re-enlightening table. Re-enlightening table? Yeah, yeah. So we can make the sticks of enlightening to... Uh, oh, uh, no, I, yeah, I know. I haven't put it uh, together yet, but I, I could. I should. I will. Okay, yeah, yeah. Shall we take a short recess to gather ourselves uh, before heading out once more? Yes, I the short recess that I, I I sort of felt like I needed a cup of tea about an hour ago, and then I I said you know I, I said to myself I'm going to have a cup of tea, and then I was like let's go and get ice and flowers, and now and then an hour later an all night fight, with a bloody performer nonetheless. Well, he, he definitely put up the show. Uh, <laughs> credit to him. Right, where's this bloody hey. Ben? It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll put it together if you want to take your, uh, you know, a warm cup of uh, refreshment. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to... Oh, there it is. Okay, so... Oh, what the? Oh, it sounds like... It sounds like Beryllium's oh. making new friends. Oh, uh, okay. I'll just go supervise. Okay. Okay, you're doing a good job. You just, just wheel that hammer. You just, you just smack it. Ooh, just like that. Wow. My goodness. You go, you go. You give Right, uh. I've got coffee. Everything yeah, else. I'm gonna go wait. take a quick break. There we go. Torturer's table. So that's 25 steel bars, 50 shaped woods, and 25 twine. Quick work of that one. Very nicely done, Berlin. I'll just chop it off, okay? You don't have to worry about that. Wait, I put the twine somewhere before, didn't I? Yeah. Steel bars, there we go. Uh, crafting stations, companions, torturers, bench. There we go. Right, I, I have the bench. I will put it down here by the Wheel of Enlightenment. Ah, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah. That would be a nice addition to, uh, you know, get new uh, followers to the Way of the Light. Exactly. And I can make a little th thing that goes, that adds a bit more bonk to the bink. Uh, but I'm going to have that cup of tea now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do that, you do that, and I'll be uh, uh, doing some things while, yeah. Yeah, you better push that wheel, you, 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 jeez, I've never fought so hard in my life. You gotta hand it to him, he did put up quite the performance. Yeah, exactly. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying he's. he's we will teach you the way of the light, and you can. Uh, I'll be I right back, know. gang. Just gonna stretch the legs. We so we'll do a cheeky little bit of overtime. No one was surprised. Yeah, of course. We'll get it. I think I'm gonna grab something to drink as well because that was quite tiring.
All right, I'm back. Is it a regular server restart or have I just dropped out for some reason? Hey, chum, how you doing? Golem is still alive because the golem's just been killing some wolves and bashing rocks. And we just had a hilarious overextended fight with a named performer. <laughs> with the worst, the low-level beat sticks that we've got in the game. So funny. Server went poof too? Oh, is it a Conan issue? Is it a Funcom? <laughs> you saw the chaos video. Uh... Uh-oh. Oh man! Oh, here we are. Let's see. Boop. You're being attacked by a puppy IRL. Oh. And now we just need some litter, and we're good to go. That was peculiar. Oh, hello, right. Hello, welcome back. Thank you. I have my cup of tea and then I I must have dozed off in the chair. Well, I mean, after that, <laughs> I didn't even know what to call it, but that was very tiring, so I can, I can quite understand. Yes, yes. Do you have all the bits and bobs you need? Uh, I'm just grabbing some leather and then I'm making some better enlightening tools. Wonderful, wonderful. If I make myself a, a, a make us a tinkering... Uh, there should be a ton of leather still in here. Uh, tinkering bench. I can also put an extra little uh, dimple on the end of it, make it extra extra bash worthy. But even those sticks will be a marked improvement on the ones we had. Oh yes, yes, <laughs> definitely. <laughs> are those ones? What are they made of steel? Yes, indeed. Or are you able to make the better ones, or is the steel the better, the be the best one currently? I, I think know. the steel is the best one we have. Uh, Unless we beat up that guy down in that tavern. Uh, I don't know which guy it is, but uh, maybe someday. Ah. I'm just going to make four, you know, so we'll have a backup each, just in case. Yeah, that's a good idea. Um, also, uh, let me get some thick leather. We can make those better bindings. Jake! Thank you for the 15 long months of subscribing, Kaza Jockey. What is best in life? To sub to the best streamers, see them thrive before you, and to read the lows of their chat. Hey, thank you, buddy. Thank you so much for the tier one and the 15 months of support. Let's go. Also, uh, mods note that's the first one since we turned the other alerts off. So we just got the pirate guy now for the subs. And no welcome to the underground uh, lair. I miss Daryl standing at the door. I think that's okay. Yeah, never gets a name wrong, pirate. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. But I think, in an, in a way, as much as I'd prefer oh, it to be oh, perfect, this is, this is not taking too long. You I kind of, of uh, food, so you be happy. also like the the comedy effect that we get. Yes, there should be a couple of bindings in there next to no time for you. Those uh, good, good thick leather ones. They should last a good while. Ah, yeah. Oh, yeah, the enlightenment's not as painfully long as I thought it might be.
Alright, well, what are we getting up to next? Hopefully it's not as, uh, <laughs> difficult How do you feel the about the cold? Time. How do I feel about it? How do you chilling. feel? It's very chilling. <laughs> oh, it's chilling, yes. I thought you were going to go None with numb. None of us said I'm testing Europe. Yeah, 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 I suppose that's a good one as well. We could, uh, I, I'm not really sure. I, I I don't need what it would. I don't know what you require to make better armor, but I suppose it's, uh, you need it. I, uh, you know, somebody that knows, you know, about these kind of stuff. Yeah, like I think exactly. I, I I don't think I have. Um, I don't think I have the wherewithal to make something that's padded in a way to make it warmer. Um, but one thing I could yeah. do is we could probably cook up. Uh, we could probably cook up some warm food. And that might help us to stave off the cold a little. But in order to do that, I got to, oh, don't forget you've got your booze in there, your, your gift. Yes, yes, yes. Well, I haven't really succeeded in anything here today, so I'm <laughs> uh, <laughs> holding off, holding off currently. Now, oh, I would love to make the Grand Master stove, but uh, honestly, it's quite expensive and there's not a lot of space in here, so I'll go for the little one. Uh, 50 of those and 150 rocks. Okay, coming right up. of those and a hundred rocks maybe I've still got some rocks up here I like that we can have the mod TTS command for you guys as well I, I do like that inspired by Mr. Tigorino uh, hello, Andre on YouTube. Anyone here on PS? You mean PlayStation? I don't know. I, I'm not. Oh, sugar. It's it's literally, it's done all... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Wait, it was rocks? Was it, it was just rocks I needed, right? Not bricks. You've probably got a whole bunch on you by now. Nice. 620. Cooking stuff. Uh, oh, there it is. Yes. Is. My goodness. I was just looking for our uh, acolyte number uh, 7 and I couldn't find him, but I see he's over yonder. Yes, he's over there just staring at rocks. Well, I mean, can't really argue with him. He's got a very, very big hammer. He might just mistake you for a rock. <laughs> that would be something. So, we just need some feral flesh. That's easy. Uh, salt. We've got a little bit of that. And uh, some spices. Spices. I believe we can make it in a grinder. It's yes. A grinder, right? So I have to put one of those underneath as well. Uh, 10 branches and 50 uh, bricks. Mm-hmm. 
Cook, my pretty cook. Can we get ice? That's the question. The new update ruined the toggle running on PS. Oh, uh, Andre, I did hear that the toggle for running was not working on PC either. I don't use the toggle setting, but I have heard... Yeah, there you go. So Chum on our Twitch chat says, confirms, the toggle running is broken. So there you go. No clue. I'm, I will have to keep an eye out for word from, uh, from FunCon as to... Uh, when they're going to sort that out. But yeah, that's... Uh, unfortunately, that is indeed a busted. Sorry, Bear Iliam, I'm taking your job away from you. Right, well, there we go, that should be the ingredients we need. Got you ready. Uh, PS5, if you're using any container or workstation, you can't take anything out since the update. Oh my goodness, that's awful. Uh, I'm sad to hear that. I hope they can sort that out really quickly because. Both of those things sound annoying, but not being able to get anything out of a container is kind of game-breaking. That sucks.
We need a hot fix for the hot fix stat. How would you believe it? There was two and a half thousand, nearly three thousand bricks in that one. I just didn't look in that one. Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, uh, I'm thinking we probably need even more than that. <laughs> well, it's a pity, yes, certainly. I mean, it's the whole process of cooking them twice. But I went to get yeah, some normal yeah, bricks yeah. from up top and the thing's so quick up there that it already cooked them, them all. <laughs> they had no more... Wow. The German flag in the left top corner, yeah. Well, uh, it always makes me chuckle hey, that. What was that? What was that? No, I just, you said just no more and then, then, then. Oh, and then, yeah, I, trail, I had my thought trailed off, I guess. Um. So. Yeah, so I, I'm probably going to use this one just for cooking basic stones uh, into bricks so that they don't become special bricks unless I want to and we use the big oven for everything everything else or the, the higher tier stuff I'll probably get rid of these two yeah yeah, yeah sounds, good. sounds good and we can always add another uh, big one I suppose probably probably at some point I'll do that but I don't think we need too many one's probably enough to speed that things especially if we get ourselves a little uh, somebody to whip the smelter oh yes we should definitely look into that it's kind of, ironically, that's kind of what I was doing when the whole Barrel 1, Barrel 2 incident all started to unfold. I was, I was just looking for somebody to come and work our smelter. <laughs> I, got, I got greedy and had such a, such a grand adventure. And then, you know, one thing led to another. Let's see if this spicy food's ready. We can try and get across that uh, water again. Hey. Right, that's going to be like five or so, five or six soups. Let's see if we can have like, I don't know, four each or something. Four each plus the daylight. Unfortunately, it's raining again, but we'll see. Uh, well, at least it's, it's bright outside, you know. I think the the cold, the the dark. Gee, this guy is scaring me every time. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 I think yes, if it's night time, it's definitely. I feel like it's colder at night. Yes. Yes, we don't have the brilliance of the bringer in of the lights, shiniest bauble to keep us extra cozy. Oh, that reminds me. I need to make a torch. Oh yes, we could probably make some uh, better ones. I wonder. Oh, no idea. We would even make it for this, but uh, it's not. There's not one of these. Oh my uh, goodness! Really? Oh, where is the uh, iron torch? I is there not an iron torch anymore? I thought there was an iron torch. Torch is handcrafted. It's not that. 
Hmm, I seem to have uh, forgotten. Oh, never mind. Perhaps the torch is all we can ma master. Oh, really? Thanks, yeah, chum. It appears to be the case. Thanks. I thought I was going nuts. I thought there was a better one. All right, bit of wood, bit oh, of fiber. Oh, There's some fiber inside if you need any. Fiber and wood. I guess it should be on the old uh, carpentry desk. Yeah, the wood is in the carpentry bench and the fiber in the uh, artisan table. Looks like I need to go and smack some more trees. Really? Yes, the wood in here is dried up. I, I've extracted the resin from it. I can use it for insulated wood. Oh, it's the dry up, my guy. What? <laughs> You're a little bit full of pocket right now. I can, I can grab some wood quickly. <laughs> No, uh oh, I, I try to keep those two. Uh, it will grow back. That's true. Yeah, you're right. I'm just I, a little bit tired. Uh. Well, these torches last okay anyway. They're like 40 minutes each, so. Marvellous, there we go. Okay, all torched up. Let's make some more soups and then we can uh, try our luck. Yeah. I'm feeling mildly confident this time around. Well, I think with the advantage of daylight, a little bit more warmth and, and a nice chilly desert style soup, I think we'll be good. Well, if we're going to take advantage of the daylight, we're going to have to hurry up. <laughs> Otherwise, we'll get there when it's dark again. You know, these things cook a lot better when you actually light the fire. Oh, you don't, you don't say. You know, I've never... I'm not I, really, uh, I, may, I may have... I think it finished cooking and then I just kind of forgot. I wonder what happens if you eat the little red plants, you know, just, just like by themselves. Mm-hmm. Oh, the spice, you mean? I don't know. Yeah, would, would that warm you up as well? I don't know. Give I it a try. Know. Give it a give it a kiss. Worth a try. Did did I just grab everything or was that you? No, no. It's uh, most of it's still there. Wait, let me get my stuff. <laughs> I have noticed that my eyes are tri playing a tri It's like I'm having an extended blink sometimes and, and I have to wait a moment and blink again and... Uh, or like close the drawer and open the drawer again. I, I've noticed that happening. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. It's, it's a bit strange, a bit strange, but we'll get used to it. I can uh, I can testify that just eating the spices gets you um, a mild tingle on the tongue, but uh, nothing else. Right. Doesn't doesn't warm the belly, belly whatsoever. All right. Well, uh, grab your portion of chili in there. There's a, uh, there be six or seven of them, and we'll uh, we'll give it a we'll, we'll give it a go. Round number two. Yes. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, tools. Uh, where was my uh, sickle? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to shoot off. Where is my sickle? Oh, it's right here. I don't have the knowledge for that. Oh, hard and steel, yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Just keep guard your beryllium while we're away, you know, keep, uh, if anyone comes around, just tell them we'll be back when we can you know, we're on target. 
Thank you for the long months of subscribing, Malvanius. Oh, it's a villa. Hey, Malvanius. Thank you so much. Uh, welcome back to the underground lair with the prime on the line. Two months. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Right. Okay. Well, uh, there's a iron sickle. I haven't upgraded all the tools to steel yet. We'll get around to that. Yeah, yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. I'm, not, I'm no hurry whatsoever. Oh, do you have any wraps, by the way, in case you get injured? Why would I need a rat for injury? Here, take this rat. Carry it with you wherever you go. Look after it better than that reckless rat we had around the Abbey before. I mean, uh, it was a bit on the reckless side. I can't, I can't take that's any... That's uh, it. Blade I mean, that's fair. That's fair. Wolf! Right, here we go again. At least living here, we're able to get a long way from uh, home before we engage in any combat. Yeah, 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 definitely. Just around the corner. Oh, maybe we can uh, go um, uh, speak with that ele elephant. Was it the mammoth or elephant? I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, the, the mammoth. Yeah, we could do. <laughs> maybe the, the mammoth has some tips for surviving the cold. Ooh, yeah. We do live we in one valley, yeah. We can skin, you know, the hairy, hairy skin. That'd be nice. Ah, there he is. Wow, he's quite punctual. Yes. Yes. There's he's also a little camp old, of uh, ne'er-do-wells up there. I, um... I went up there the other day and they were they, they were having a little battle nap so I borrowed some things from their pockets. It's where I got my nice shield, but it's broken now. Ah, oh, okay. So do we taking uh, mammoth one, two or three? Which one do you think's got the jackpot? No, just just this one lonely one over here. We can just ask him if he maybe you know do you perhaps know where we sorry, let me start again, that was a bit far away. I was wondering if you could like, wait, what are you doing with one? We just, we just, oh, oh, we, oh, we, was this a parlay? I thought we were just discussing the matter of whether we could... Oh, ow! Never mind, never mind. What's, I crazy. couldn't hear you above the sound of all my bones crunching. <laughs> ow! Uh, that's not, that doesn't seem like that. You know that you know that thing you said before about repairing all my armor and that. Yeah, yeah, I do remember quite. <laughs> do you remember not reminding you me to do it uh, half a dozen times until I did it? Oh, so you did it. You did. Oh no, I I didn't. I, following following a good sensible idea, that's that's out of my league. Well, you know, I'll keep assisting. You know, never, you never know. Maybe you'll listen to it one one day. What was that? Ah, marvelous it's floors. How is your armor holding up? You know, uh, I, I told you to repair it earlier. Um, let's just say my skirt's on this last feather. <laughs> That's no good. That's no good at all. Hopefully we can find some more um, apparel along the way. Apparel what? What's running parallel to the bridge? The causeway. Oh, we can we can buy some clothing along the way. Mm, oh, mm, okay. Some of this. I don't know if I want any clothing. I I quite fancy some apparel. Oh my god! You just keep going. Oh, I'm just collecting a few whips and bows. Never have too much uh, coal. I tell you what, you're you're. Oh, ow! Why? What? The? This is not how you're going to uh, oh, uh, do better on the weekly Accolade of the Week scale, you know, knocking me off. I thought I heard something, so I figured I should clear the way before oh, you we it. Was it that, any, uh, that elephant by any chance? I mean, uh, perhaps, yes. It sounded like an elephant from afar. Mm. Look, you see that place I was talking about there with the big glowy eyes? I want to go there. 
wonder who lives there. Uh, yes, I do see it. Well, I, maybe we can get there, but I, I'm not unsure. Well, I, I suppose we'll I'm pretty sure we'll die of the cold before we get there. Oh no, we've got oh, really? these these raffins again. I think it's you know many things are a lot further away than they first appear. Yeah, it seems like it's just around the corner. Yes. All right. What, what about this raffin? Here he comes. Maybe he's got some clothing for us. Let's see. Do you have any clothes, oh. Mister Barbarian, sir? Yeah, he definitely seems to be wearing some nice furs right there. What's, oh my god. Oh my god. You won't believe this. This guy must Did be he have in, a pair of No, this guy must be in leagues with the with the hyenas. For uh, some people are so unscrupulous, they'll buy from anyone. They don't care what kind of trade uh, they do. Uh, will you believe uh, you're not going to believe this? But it's going to make your day. Uh, does he have? Okay, we have, you've mentioned Ahina, so I'm leaning towards Ahina, something or other. So maybe they had trinket. Over. What? They had trinket what? all along. Ah. You're reunited with your pet. Oh my God! Fortune is smiling upon us. On this Absolutely, day. I've got a good feeling about this now. We're definitely not going to die of the cold when we swim across to that iceberg. Wow, All right. It's so good to see you again, Trinket. Oh, don't look, at, look he looks so happy. Drink. Look how happy he is to see you. Reunited once more, yeah. Ah, it's beautiful, beautiful. I tell you what, he's been, he's been howling mad since you went. All right, come on, bring your dog with you. Trinket! Come along, Trinket. We're going for his little swim. Okay, here we go. So we're going to swim, and then... It's bloody it's just started Dang. snowing. Are you kidding me? <laughs> we can do this. We can do this. Deep breath. Deep breath. You know, swimming across might be the worst bloody idea. Okay. Oh. Okay, eat some food. Eat some food. Oh, the food. Smack. Why is nothing smacking? Oh my god! Oh, no, no, no. What the bloop? <laughs> I got some ice! What the? You don't have to get the ice that's underneath me, man, rather than bloody freezing again! Well, I gotta help you. You were standing on the one that I wanted to hit. You know, you, I thought you were just you know, reading my inner mind. Yeah, yes. Look, go to the edge. I'm sure you can get more if you hit the edge. No, I'm good. I'm good. I've got quite a quite a few. Oh, you're, of you're, you're something. Oh, help me! Help me! Help me! Help me oh. Uh. And in front of the other one. Yes, there yeah. we go. That's perfect. You yeah, know, I'm actually quite warm right here. Ah! <laughs> you know, you're gonna get it one day. Uh, <laughs> Look, okay. You show me if you think you're so clever. How's it done? Okay, yes, yes, there we go. Just hit it and then it's going. Yes, yes. I, don't, I didn't see it. Do it again. Okay, so you, you just stand on. there, right? Oh, yes. I, was, I wasn't hitting okay, you. Okay, okay. All right, go, go on then. Okay, so I'm going to stand here, right? You swing your act too. There we go. Ah! Oi! <laughs> what? What? What are you? Right. What the bloody hell are you playing at? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How do you like those apples? How do you like those frozen apples? Yes. Yes. Consider that lesson number sixty-nine for the day. Oh, it's cold. I've got frostbite. Uh, how much ice do we need? Because I've got quite a few on me currently. Actually, we, we, I think we have enough. Let's uh, look for flowers. Flower. Look for flowers. Flower, if you were a flower, where would you be? I think I would. I would grow near the trolls under that bridge. Oh, okay, okay. Let's head towards the bridge. Then. This ice that we're walking across makes me very nervous. It looks highly yeah. suspicious. 
It's like the creaking and cracking noise. Yeah, yeah, I love this big cracks in it and everything. It's, uh... Oh, well, we made it in one piece. There Ooh, they are. Flower. Yes. Oh, it's perfect. Ah. Frost Lotus Bloom, okay. I don't think I need too many. Let's get some here and then run for it. Why do we need flowers just by the way? Do you need it for a gift for the two ladies that you met earlier today? I mean, yes. And also, um, uh, Beryl Beryllium likes to snack on some flowers from time to time. I'm told that the untold magical treasures will await us. Who's What's this fella? This oh, he's, uh, this guy looks like he's, he's chilled to the bone. Oh, he's doing the work right there. Wow. Oh, he had fancy stuff on him. He's good. Fancy's good, yes. Warm clothing is even better, if that's the case. Yes, he didn't have that, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure that's what did him in. Oh, my goodness. I'm getting cold again. This is. He this did. Really look, really he's got something for you, though. Forest. Oh, really? What is it? Skull? He's... Oh, my God. Yes. He's... What the hell? Why did you keep that on your face? Are you a smuggler or some sort? A bootlegger? Uh, don't forget your chili. It's... Wow, that's a real difference maker. Yes, yes. It's helping a, a, a tremendous amount. So it looks like the northerners on the other side were in cahoots with some sort of skeletal... Uh, uh, nasty. Oh, look, there's one of those um, obby or uh, ob obby or odd oh, jobs. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. One of the corruption stones. When that uh, skeleton was, was striking at me, I felt I felt a corruptive, corrosive, corruptive source around me. Ah, huh, maybe it's leaking from the stone here. Could be. Still, we'll have a performer oh. soon. Look at that place. Look, that looks amazing. I, you know what? We're not that far away from uh, from that uh, tower. I, uh, yes, I don't know if I'm. Oh, you you wanna you you wanna go investigate or? I mean, I do and I don't. Let's let, let's go. No risk, no fun. Just because we've got all the things we came here for, and we're gonna not have enough food to make it back. Why? Why would we let that stop us? Yeah, I mean, I'm just basically looking for Amara. Maybe they're hiding here. You never know. I think you're onto something, though. We should go and talk to those uh, Asgardians. What's that? Oh, he uh, saw us I and he went more and yeah. then ran away. I think it's the smell of the food, you know. <laughs> uh, it could be. Uh, perhaps skeletons don't like chili. Ow! Who's uh, mind your back that? there. No, it's okay. He doesn't like me. Uh, oh dear. Oh, um, no. This, okay, this might be another one of those good idea, bad idea moments. Uh, that's a dead end, isn't it? Let's just, um, yeah, run up these stairs and see what's the worst that could happen. You know they're going to slaughter us when we have to stop and eat. Never. They would give us a break, you know. They would be quite hospitable once you get to talk to them, you know. They mean, uh... Sure. You know, it's not as cold up here for some strange reason. Um, this, 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 really this looks like a, a this looks like a really bad idea. Uh, oh my god, there's a lot of that. Um, uh, uh, tactical repositioning. Yes, 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 let's do that. That sounds like a great idea. Silly buffoons, we just lured you into a corner. Aha, yes. Take that, you buffoons. I definitely want to go in that place, but but not today. Not today. I've seen enough death and destruction today, what with barrel one and barrel two. I tell you what, though, the the the, the safe return of the trinket, that, that is a real highlight. Yes, yes, I definitely made my day. My goodness. Combat roll. 
Well, definitely not uh, the friendliest temple I've been to. Uh, yeah, no, we should definitely visit I, I would temple. say I would say that it's a bit of a bit of a, a bit of a dead atmosphere in there. Hello, goodbye. Thanks. By the way, your souvenir shop sucks. Yeah, I couldn't find anything I'm interested. Just selling a whole bunch oh, of bones. I'd say, I'd say it's pretty cold right about now. I wish I could stop for a meal. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to freeze a little bit. I have to run. I have to definitely run a lot right there. Run away! Oh my goodness! I I snuck in a little bit of chili on the the mid portion of the of the bridge, and uh, it, it only just worked in my favour. Let's go the the short way round. But yes, oh, I think uh, yeah. I think soon, <laughs> TM the. the Next time we adventure, I think we should go and pay those uh, new as a guardians a visit and see if, see what they've got on in terms of tailoring expertise. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. If we can't find something that's going to keep the chill off our bones. Tell you what, that chili did the trick, but we'd need so much of it. <laughs> that looks like a nice spot there. Look at that. I wonder if they're friendly. Uh, uh, there seems to be an uh, altar or some sort. There's somebody dancing in front of it. Yes. Hello. Oh, my, no, oh, they're not friendly. Why? Oh, wow. Okay. Well, he's got nice clothing. Rude. Maybe we should uh, investigate. Ah. Yeah, investigate this. Got a dancer. Oh, he's a weird dancer. He's wearing black. It's probably not the bring It's not the very. No. Is it a sorcerer? I don't know. Perhaps we should uh, enlighten Ooh. her. There's a guy. There's a guy walking, working at a bench. He seems to have a mallet of some sort. All right, he could maybe be handy. He's a, maybe he's maybe a blacksmith. He's armor. Yeah. What's oh, in oh, this yeah, hut? Yeah. Oh. oh my goodness! There's actually two of them. Never mind. Uh, Ha! I got one of their totems, lovely. Okay, so this one's a carpenter. Do we really have one of those? Is he a good carpenter? No, he's a, a ne'er do well. Oh, blacksmith. Holy moly! Don't let them hit you! Oh, that's a, okay. oh, that's a cheap shot. I was bandaging myself. Oh god, here we go. Get that stuff. Why down there? Alright. Oh! Ow, 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 ow. He's almost, he's almost knocked out. Oh, thank goodness. Here we are. Nicely done. Nicely, oh, he, he, nicely he, he, evasive maneuvers. Yeah, he obviously failed basic medical school. Okay, I've got this one. Shall we All go right. see if the other one is a... Uh, yes, uh, let's see. Maybe uh, we'll see what the... the, the, the the dancing lady is up to. I need another bandage. Wow, they really are. 
When they hit, they hit. <laughs> well, I mean, he's a blacksmith, right? He's probably has got the best weapon ever. It probably is, keeping it all to himself. Hello, oh, we're here to talk to you about a golden opportunity to join the Brigger Inn of the Light. Oh. You, you, you are an entertainer. I'm very pleased. No, oh, don't hit my, my black smoke. Go away. Just, just knock him out. Oh, I mean, just chop his head over there. <laughs> yeah, I think I don't think we need another uh, one of these. No, 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 no. no, no. How about this, sir? Ah. Oh, that was yes. Oh, we've got a little box of trinkets. Ah. Well, there's another one here. Oh, potions! What? And a steel sickle. Oh my goodness, that's great. Uh, it seems to be some sort of bear cottage over there. There's like a pool of blood, and that doesn't look very friendly at all. Oh my goodness, now that looks terrifying. That's a this lot of like bears. like a ritual thing. What the? What is it like? A gathering of bears I where they discuss how they slaughter humans? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I. I'd what do exactly do you call a, a group of, of bears? A, 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 a murder of bears, I suppose. Uh, a very bad time, I imagine. <laughs> yes. Well, it's three bears. Three, well, they're not little at all. They're quite big. Oh, I see. That's just a decoration. I'm going to have to look, uh, look, in, look into that at some stage, because that looks rather odd. I agree with you. Let's see what else we can uh, uh, borrow. Oh, there's some iron and steel and lots of goodies. Uh, yep, yoik. I like to keep an eye out for any uh, recipes, but uh, no such luck in here. I think we'll have to raid the town proper another time. Oh, like the, the, the big town? Yeah. Yeah, what could possibly go wrong? Um, not many things, not many, not many. Just one or two things. Good news and bad news. I'm heading towards the bad news first. Okay, uh, it's a repair hammer. The good news being I found a star metal hammer. The not so helpful news oh. being it's a repair hammer. Which I rarely, if ever, use. I think I checked yeah, in here. Yeah, definitely a bit weird. Right. Okay, well, perhaps we can break it down and get some star metal from it. Okay, let us return Ooh. triumphant. Combat <sighs> round. Yeah, we've got a blacksmith, which is... <laughs> We're not really blacksmiths, but I mean, anything else, right? I mean, yeah, it's going to save us from, uh, save us a little bit on the on the old uh, crafting. Uh, at least we do need to make a lot of those uh, steel uh, bits and bobs oh, that go in the yeah. buildings. Oh, yeah, for the so, crafting, uh, that, yes, 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 yes. Yes. yeah. I don't think the blacksmith can work the, the smelter, but uh, we can always try. And if nothing else, they no. can hang out in the tavern once I've built your brewery. Ah. Yeah, I should probably... I definitely need a brewery. That's gonna... Uh, ooh, I can even warm the tummy as well. Yes, yes. Well, anyway, you'd be warm from all over head to toe. <laughs> Wow, what a lovely way to end off a great adventurous day with uh, the return of Trinket. New, uh... Wait, who are these folks? Uh... 
Ah. Uh, huh? Um. What the hell? Hello? Um. So? What? Why? Why do? You... Oh. No, I'm in a different. Oh, let them fight the, the, the their locals. The name is set. Identify yourself. Oh, I'm so. Oh, I'm yeah, gonna I'm murder this blacksmith. I, I'm dropping. I'm dropping off the guy. Might be better before I cut his head off. Fatality. Huzzah! Oh, that's a, that's that's that, pretty cool homecoming. That guy literally just had one piece of compost in his pocket. Pretty wow. pretty shitty equipment they they give them. Well, they probably raid us. They ran out of uh, you know some hard times. That's they true. Decided to raid us. There's another one over there. We well, can. Oh. Goodness, we don't have place for this guy, do we? We only have <laughs> <laughs> we only have the, 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 the baby enlightenment wheel. <laughs> well, we can, we can we can let's stuff him in a box until you can you can put him in a can, can you? I, I don't I, I see I, I don't I have no idea. He might he might can we put you, him in the, in the freezer for the time. Oh yeah, but let's put him in the uh, let's put the ice in the in the wool box. Yeah. He can cool off. Yeah, yeah, we just, you need to be re reanimated at a later day. Uh, no, no, I can't, he, he, do he doesn't fit in here at all. Yeah, oh. He's quite, no, mm -mm, fit big. Oh dear. What, I, I was looking at right here. I tell, you, I tell you, I'll um, I'll let me have a look and see if I can't uh, rustle up a, 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 a slightly uh, an another little little wheel to and, and we'll as soon as the the, the performer's done, we'll uh, we'll throw that one into the water. Okay, yeah, yeah, sounds like a plan. Because I can make the bigger I'll ones, but I. Uh, can, uh, that would be multiples, right? So, is, uh, 200 uh, rocks and 200 uh, stones. And we'll, we will get rid of that, I, even if I have to log on later to do it. Looks like that guy's halfway cooked, so... We just need a couple of hours, I guess. Then to finish cooking. How is your training going, Mr. A very tenacious performer? Are you starting to feel the ways of the light? Thanks, chum. I was gonna make a bigger wheel. I don't really want the big, big wheel, but just so that we can park multiples in there at least. Just you, you are. You've pretty much seen everything we've been doing today. It's been chaos. I thought we could deposit him somewhere, but you can only deposit them once they're cooked, right? You have to, you have to cook it. That's a pity. Steel sickle. That's so cool that I got that upgrade for free. Nice. Wow. Good behavior. Oh, thank you for getting rid of the wolves. <laughs> yeah, we really are uh, in wo absolutely in Wolf Valley for sure. And now having done no building today at all really i'm now at that point where i'm like itching to build a bit but <laughs> i'm gonna go get some rest and for sure uh as a reminder folks we got world of warships uh tomorrow on schedule for friday um grumpy is gonna do is 
utmost to uh, go live and be there with us. He's having still an incredibly rough time of it with the with the cancer kicking his butt. Um, but he's gonna push the button, and we'll we'll play as much ships together as we can. Um, if that uh, is curtailed, if that is cut short significantly, then uh, we might do a cheeky little bit extra here. Just some casual building stuff, or we might do something else. Um, but failing that, then the next Conan session will on stream will be next Wednesday, I think. Oh, um, right, wheel. I didn't get distracted. Uh, what did I forget? I... Oh, I didn't get enough stone, really? Oh really? Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I mean, you like you can literally see where it's just kind of a coincidence and uh, just bad timing. I, I honestly, I thought that the other little, oh, I forgot that the little wheel can only take one. It can't hold more and only process one. I thought, okay, we can park it in there. But uh, yeah. Right. Um, I guess we put it next to the other one. to go uh, here. <clears throat> I see there's somebody fighting wolf over there. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, oh, I think that might be the other radio chap. Oh, well, he definitely beat that wolf. He did. Well, I can't stand these raiders. Okay, the other wheel is there. Even the wolves don't like you. Is that guy from like just another part of Age of War? Is he just another... Because <clears throat> I've not played much Age of War. As previously mentioned. <clears throat> Marvelous. Right, so that's that mess taken care of. Excellent. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Ah, look at you trinket so happy back in your place. Glorious. Right, I am going to go and uh, get a little bit of rest. Uh, and uh, yes, I will, I will, uh, I'll leave a note for you. Uh, I might have to travel for a, uh, a good few days, but I'll leave you some extra chilies in the, uh, in the now working icebox. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, it was definitely uh, uh, a trying day, if, if I can put it like that. Yes, yes, but, but rest assured, you have done uh, marvellous deeds in my eyes. And uh, if I should know, because, you know, they, they don't work. Anyway, you, you've definitely gone up in the, uh, in the running. I'd say you're probably ah. pretty much neck and neck with uh, Beryllium right now. You mean you mean the guy that's not he's, he's not even around he's like running around uh, looking he, he's, he's just over there ignoring us he's fine uh but yeah. uh yes 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 of course you've got new competition now because trinkets uh back 
So, uh... Oh, that's a bit unfair. He's uh, cute and cuddly. I mean, who doesn't like wolf? Well, exactly. That's that's why he got stolen by those those blasted hyena people in the first place. But you know that like, you know what? Uh, life's not fair. You know. Hmm. Yeah, that's uh, I suppose yeah, that's very true. It's another lesson I had to learn. So I'm very, I'm very thankful for your uh, wisdom, uh, Una, your your holy jay. Yes. Yes. What the? Oh my God! I was like, who the hell's running at the house to attack it? And it was it was. <laughs> It was bloody beryllium. What did it don't do that, man? What's 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 your deal? So spooky, creepy. I like it. Right. Yes, I'm going to go and rest my weary uh, head uh, a little, and uh, uh, yeah, look after the place. Don't burn it down. I will. I will definitely try my utmost, but I cannot promise uh, that that will not be the case. All right. Well, as long as you're not eaten or by or swallowed or, or torn apart by anything that I wouldn't be, then everything's fine. Okay. Okay. I will definitely try my earnest to uh, achieve this goal. Wonderful. And I will do my utmost to get you somewhere where you can brew as soon as possible. Well, I might just surprise you and uh, create a brewery of my own special Ooh. nature in kind. Oh, I, I like the sound of that. Yeah, all right, wonderful. Okay, then, then it's on you. I, I, I await this, this brewery, this brew surprise, the brew prize. So, so, so brew, <laughs> so, anyway. This reminds me of yes. Sapu now. I hope you have good travels, your, your early Jess. What's that? I, I couldn't hear you because of the horn. What? Well, that's unfortunate. I hope to see you again soon. Okay. Yes. Don't forget tomorrow's Friday, bath time. Ah, got it, got it. Mm. Well, it's a good thing you went there, right? Because I can skip bath there. <laughs> How would you even know? <laughs> no, <laughs> stop sneaking up on me. That's, no, that's... Alright. Mm. Boom. I'll see, probably tomorrow night I'll sneak on and do a little bit of building work or something. Uh, uh, but yeah, we'll stream some more uh, Conan next week. Thank you, everybody, uh, for uh, the subs and uh, the good cheer and good spirits. Thank you for the new followers. Welcome aboard. Thanks for hanging out on YouTube. If you're over there with us, of course, you can watch all this back on your VOD platform of choice. As long as one that is either Twitch or or YouTube, I suppose. Uh, let's go on a little raidy raid, shall we? We had a wonderful raid yesterday. We went over and we met Alien Sun, who was super energetic and full of fun and bounce and positive energy. And I really enjoyed it. Uh, also playing some more, uh, some more Conan today. So I'm very tempted to go back there again twice in a row but let's see if any of our friends are about any of our other friends are around about doing stuff that we could go and support too uh, that firebane guy is playing once human he's just getting over an operation and stuff as well so that's tempting uh, we've got Icelandic ice with some world of warships we've got uh, Drax playing some planet crafter which just had its 1.0 release uh, Ravon's playing some Robocop do, do, do. Mitachi's doing some eco. Love me some eco with the new release there as well, the recent release. Yeah, should we go and uh, go and take you over to some eco? It's another product that I love supporting. If you want some more Conan goodness, uh, check out and look for anybody that might be streaming on Nordheim. Uh, and uh, if you don't find anybody on Nordheim. Uh, then go check out, uh, or, or you just enjoyed yesterday's visit, um, go check out Alien Sun, because she really was tons and tons of fun. I really appreciated that energy uh, bump yesterday. We went over there. I don't see anybody at a glance over there. Oh, also, Chum, before I forget, if you're still here, um, I tried to do the bot thing where I applied for membership of the streamer group or whatever role on the discord um but i've tried that twice in a couple of years and i keep forgetting every time it 
the mod mail goes to the wrong mod mail. It goes to Twitch RP for every time, even when I do the link from that server. Uh, so I don't know. I keep me. I forgot yesterday, but I was wondering if you could, because uh, I forget to post that I'm live, so that people can come and hang out on on this server when we're doing it. So I don't know if that's a thing. Hey, Finn. Mama goat was lurking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So no stress though. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm not trying to be cheeky or anything. I. It's just a thought. That occurred to me. All right, let's go and see uh, Mitachi. Take you over for some uh, some eco love. Love me some eco. All right, go go hang out with uh, Mitachi. He's a good source, good fun. He's uh, really enjoyed his roleplay adventure since coming into it through uh, Atlas and others. And as I said, if you're looking for some Conan, uh, you've got Alien Son. I can recommend wholeheartedly. Uh, and if you're looking for some other stuff, uh, check out some of those other names that I mentioned just before. That cringer guy's playing RoomWorld and the new DLC. <laughs> so you can check that out too. All right, take care of yourselves, folks. Thanks for hanging out all day. I wish you sincerely nothing but peace and love in your hearts. I send more good vibes your way, and I'll see you tomorrow morning, 10 a.m. Central European time for some World of Warships. Myself and the Grumpy Beard playing uh, World of Warships in the Grumbling uh, F Cancer Edition, as always. I'll see you then. See you in the next one. Cheers, everybody. Really, really appreciate it. I had a ton of fun yesterday and today. Really, really enjoying this little uh, bit of Conan. And we'll do some more Conan next week. So if you're here just for the Conan, do not fear. We're not running away from it. We'll be back with some more of that next week. All right. Take care, everybody. Thanks, moderators. Another awesome day. Really, really fun. Really enjoying it. Let's go.